Welcome in. I've got a little countdown timer. Uh, if you're joining us in the future, watching the VOD, you may wish to skip ahead. However, if you're here live, welcome in! <laughs> I'm very, very, very excited uh, today to be finally sitting down live on stream playing some Victoria 3. The game releases tomorrow, uh, or today, depending on where you are in the world. <laughs> it's uh, the 25th of October for me, although I, the game isn't officially out. I think it comes out on a global release time of 6 p.m. on the 25th of October, CEST, that time zone is. Uh, good luck. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much for all the kind messages as well. And there are, by the way, so many fantastic ideas in chat, both from singing Happy Birthday, which I appreciate. Um, thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, it's really weird to have so many people say Happy Birthday at the same time. Um, overwhelming. And I'm really grateful, so thanks. Also, the idea of playing as Egypt and then colonizing Australia and New Zealand. That sounds really fun. Uh, this game is one of the best historical sandboxes in terms of just sort of playing about and mucking about uh, that I've played in in a very long time. Now, that's not necessarily to say it's going to be the best game ever, but I do think it's really fun to muck around in. And that's going to be the theme of today's stream as well. I'll talk about that once we actually start, but that, that should be it. Um, I'm assuming... Time travel, insert time travel joke here. Um, I'm assuming you can hear me all right? Hopefully. I'm going to guess it's a big old yes. Um, and because otherwise I've been talking to myself. Uh, and you should also maybe be able to hear some Victoria 3 music in the background now as well. If you could let me know that you could hear that, that would also be super helpful. Uh, the Orange Badge Gang! Hey, Aaron! Oh, thank you so much! That's awesome! 14 freaking months! Sheesh! <laughs> Loud and clear. Thanks, Huck. Nice to see you, too. Jeepers, it has really been a while. Um, uh, well, it, depending. The streams have been sort of slightly fewer and further between. Um, over recent times. King of Toto, thank you so much for 11 months in a row over on Twitch as well. We are, of course, live on um, on YouTube and Twitch. And it looks like both streams are fairly healthy and active and titled correctly, which is also a great relief. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, chat rules. Hilarious that I'm getting chat rules from my own chat. Come on, people. Please, what am I going to do? Ban myself? <laughs> I mean, oh lord. Oh lord. Hey, Shakira and Price, nice to see you too. Oh, alright. Um, yeah, so maybe we should just get started then. I'll skip ahead on this countdown timer. Uh, <laughs> I just feel bad for the person that's, you know, just gone to get their cup of coffee and it's all over. The Victoria 3 music is awesome. It is so good. I was listening through the soundtrack the other day. Uh, yesterday, actually. In fact, it was, it was this morning. It was like 2 a.m. Um, because what else would you be doing? And uh, it was really fantastic. Yeah. Just listening to the audio files isolated as well so that I could focus on them. Because sometimes, you know, in a game, especially a game like this one, you can be <laughs> so intensely focused on something daft like an like a iron export trade route or something, you know, stupid like that. And, um, and completely miss the fact that there was this fantastic score playing in the background. Uh, at least that's me, anyway. <laughs> Who are we playing? So, that is a very good question. Let's kick it off, shall we? Thank you, by the way, also to everybody who's already liked the video. We usually set a like target of 100 likes, triple digits. Uh, we have over 100 people watching at the minute. So, yeah. Uh, I reckon we can hit that. <laughs> British Soil's the best song I've heard in ages. Ooh, we'll have to hear that one. Hey, Tubert, thanks so much. And thanks for reaching out, too. I really appreciate that kind of thing. Even if it's just, you know, uh, relatively small and in passing. And what is a very busy and excited t exciting time. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, let's kick it off. I'm going to swap us over our screens. Oh, actually. Uh... Hello there. Ah, yes. Hello there. Great. Okay, my soundboard is working as well. That's fun. We'll do some dumb voice impressions later. All right, let's swap over to the gameplay and begin. Kia ora, everybody, and welcome. This is slight early access to Victoria 3. If you haven't joined us as part of the early birds on the live stream, uh, the game releases at 6 p.m. CEST on the 25th of October. Good luck converting those time zones. 
Thank you very much for logging your likes. Welcome in if you are just tuning in. Uh, let's have a look. So I posted a poll on the channel page uh, recently, a couple of days ago, saying, who should we start as? Uh, also, thank you to Tricky Lunt and Chaotic, Chaotic for subscribing over on Twitch, number 17 and 18 respectively. Thank you. Um, so I posted a poll and you said I should play as Japan to start with. The cool thing about Victoria 3 is you can live swap your nation, like you can in, uh, I assume, um, previous titles, at any time. So we also have some flexibility where we can bounce out of the nation that we're playing and then bounce into another one, play them for a bit, and then come back. I thought that might be a fun thing to do on this stream in particular because of its early access nature, right? This is an early access look, so maybe it might be fun to zoom around and have a look at a few different countries. And so that's, um, that's what I'll try and focus on. Uh, the starting point was determined to be Japan, the Japanese shogunate, as it is. Uh, but oh my god, like just take a look at this. <laughs> there are so many options. Uh, there are so many options. We can't start as... I always get the, the terminology slight wrong. I, I usually say decentralized, uh, unincorporated nations, but it's not. It's decentralized powers. We can't play as any of these decentralized powers, uh, but we can play as any nations even if they are unrecognized and relatively obscure. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Kane. Nice to see you. And devilish. Thank you. I will uh, preview that in just a minute. Uh, we also, of course, have like loads of colonial powers, right? So Portugal here, the year is 1836. If you're unfamiliar, that's the year Victoria 3 starts. Uh, so some colonial powers have territories overseas, naturally. I mean, Here's New Zealand, if anybody was curious. This is why I didn't play New Zealand in the sponsored video. Um, it's not an incorporated, like a, a unified state yet. Um, it's controlled a bit by Australia. Then we have Naitahu. Oh, I feel like Naititoa gets taken over really fast here. And then the United Tribes in the north. Their economy, very small. Uh, and in fact... Owned, of course, by the Brits, <laughs> which if you've watched Smithing Brits uh, or Potato Bit Whiskey stream today, you've probably seen a little bit of that gameplay already. Uh, <laughs> then we have the Americas over here. Uh, looks like quite a few decentralized powers. You will see, of course, these larger states eat away at them. Then we have the South America down here. My Brazil uh, video, super fun. These guys start at war, so if you're feeling hungry, you can just jump straight on in. <laughs> uh, would would maybe recommend. It is kind of fun. And then where else do we have? I guess Asia is the uh, final place that I haven't zoomed in on, which is actually quite a good place for me to finish because we're going to probably start, wham, as Japan is our stats. And we're all saying thank you for 12 months and the happy birthday messages. I feel like I say this every time, but where the heck's the last 12 months gone? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Um, and I've got a poll going at the moment for the next one. Donors, chat suggestions. We'll try and incorporate it all in together. And um, and hopefully have a good time. And we have 250 people watching. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, I'll jump in as Japan to start with. Because that's what we've agreed. And then, um, and then we can go from there. I like the idea of a New Zealand. I really do. Uh, I'm not sure if it's unified of enough state to actually provide a lot of quality gameplay. It might be more of one that I might delve into in a video or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> As always, uh, control is slightly over to you. Uh, and I'm ready to roll now. So let's go. Thank you. Be patience. All right. So what have we got here? 14.8 million. We are 15th in the world. This is kind of like a recognition of sort of GDP and military and, and all these different things combined into one. A, a relative power. Uh, standard of living impoverished. Literacy relatively low. Okay. Let's jump in and take a look. And like I say, I'll show you, actually, because the jump around thing is really fun, especially if you're someone like me who maybe accidentally screws up a country but doesn't want to entirely give up on a game, we can, at any time we like, go switch country. It'll put us into observer mode like we were before, and then we can just jump straight in and play a different one, right? So we could just jump in and play as um, France, for example. Um, but anyway, let's head back to the Japanese shogunate and take a look at what we've got on offer. Devilish, thank you for the $5 super chat. I have returned. Behold and herald my arrival. Kia ora, mate. Happy birthday, my friend. Glad to support and be here for the stream for the science. Oh, yes. Speaking of the science, we should probably start by chucking any old thing into our research tree. Uh, we're not a massively agrarian nature. Let's get distillation. Um, the research tree is fairly involved. Three different branches to it. 
we're going to play that fairly fast and loose at the minute. Although here's our science up the top here. And we can build some universities to build more nerds. Uh, we have quite the army. And we're currently sharing this with... Oh dear. Oh, I think you're going to have a bad time. Okay. <laughs> we should probably take the rest of Hokkaido fairly quick smart. Um, just looking at that <laughs> over the board. And then as I look across the top here, it looks like all of our territories don't have enough government administration to be collecting their taxes. So we're going to have to do something about that. Uh, we also have more interests we could declare. Uh, this is kind of like the diplomatic system in Victoria 3 and in how you can reach out to different places. So if we don't have a diplomatic interest, we simply can't reach out. I heard they are set to easiest by default. Yes, they are, Dr. Kane, and that's what we'll be playing on today. Uh, thank you for the biddies, though. Appreciated. Um... It, there's only three settings as well, uh, just to let you know, um, in case anybody was curious. Uh, thank you for the biddies. I'll be playing on easy today. Don't judge me. Please don't judge me. How many hours does the game release? Uh, 6 p.m. CEST. I, I don't entirely know, but it'll be less than 24 hours. It'll be like sort of 17 hours or something. Um, so at the moment, okay, we literally have no declared interests outside of Japan and this territory here i reckon we declare an interest on either down here in the pacific or here let's declare an interest on the korean peninsula and this part of china for now manchuria or what have you uh just to get that ball rolling in case i forget and then let's have a look at our military because it looks like we've got three generals with 35 dudes that is freaking fantastic by the way off! <laughs> it has indeed been a year! Thank you so much for the happy birthday wishes and for 13 months of moderating the channel with kindness and consideration. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, so we have some dudes. I reckon we, we probably relatively aggressively um, want to colonize this place. To do that, let's have a look at our politics and government. So at the moment we have a shogun, of course, as our ruler. And inside of our government, we have the landowners, the shogunate, and the samurai, who are the militarists. That's quite cool, actually. They change depending on who you play, and they're very different uh, here in Japan. Hey, Blockachog YT! YT! Thank you so much. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to Stream Man Jumbo Pixel. It's his birthday. Happy birthday. And we're at triple digit likes already. Thank you, Block, for the five New Zealand dollars. Um. <laughs> 400 votes already, jeepers. And you guys are voting really heavily for Spain. Keen to hear what you'd like me to put in the next poll. Uh, all right, so Japan's set up fairly strong. The one thing that I want to check is, do we or can we colonize? No colonizing affairs. However, we can pass this law really easily. <laughs> That's a really high enactment chance. I'm used to seeing things much lower than that. That's because the interest groups in government are really keen to see that passed. Uh, naturally, as you would be. I might just have this ticking away, um, because I don't need to probably keep it paused for the whole time, especially if we're thinking about bouncing around a few different countries. Thank you for the birthday wishes, Zess1, Sniper Boy. We reached 100 likes already. I know. Let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. Hey, Big Captain... <laughs> Big Captain Reese. Thank you so much for subscribing on Twitch. Oh, Jesus, Huck. What the... F what the f <laughs> Huck! Do it, do it. Thank you for the $50 donation! Huck Houston says happy birthday to my good buddy. Can't wait for the next year. Holy crap. <laughs> Bro <it's> broken? <laughs> Huck, that is insanely generous. Thank you for your kindness. You are... You, you are, you, you've been such a pivotal part of the community. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew! <laughs> okay. Um, we don't have any tech consumption taxes at the moment, and we have a lot of authority. We can use authority to raise money. Uh, we won't probably go for a tax on something like grain. We might look to, you know, let's tax liquor. You don't need to drink. Uh, tea, very British. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> what else don't they need? Luxury clothes. No, we might just leave it at that for now. Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll slap a porcelain tax on as well. Nobody needs porcelain. We can probably keep everything else pretty even. 
we'll just try and fundraise a little bit of extra cash for the Japanese state. Uh, and we're not producing anything. Seen as we're looking to go relatively billet. Holy cow, we have 105 barracks. I'm not used to playing a nation this big. I'm used to playing minor powers because I like to meme around. <laughs> okay. Uh, what we then want to do, or what I like to do, is go to the market screen and filter by market price. And this will, can't wait for it to release tomorrow. Oh, a little less slug. I know. It's really fun. Honestly, it is very fun. Um, Alan, welcome. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And could one of our kind moderators please get rid of that tinder.hot dash xyz best adult dating site in chat too? <laughs> Thank you for the birthday wishes. No, oh, nice catch, Huck. Okay, um, so what we can do here is get a feel for which good is uh, undersupplied or maybe there's too much demand. So at the moment, they're playing, paying a little bit too much for things like clothes, but it's actually opium. <laughs> it's always opium. We don't need to worry about that, though. There are a few, there are very few orders. So actually, actually, this is really quite perfectly balanced, weirdly. I think we'll recruit one more general probably from the samurai class this guy is cruel <laughs> my kind of general <laughs> get the f in here <laughs> best adult dating site my channel yeah yeah i and I also echo um huck's comment there about the regulars totally agree all right, so what I want to do first is pass this law that will let me um, colonize other places. What do we need to do to do this? Um, Japanese shogunate has invented colonization. Okay, so we, 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 we haven't invented colonization. Let's start researching how to colonize. That's our first move. That'll let us colonize this territory, which I think is not a unified country. Either that or we currently have a peace treaty. That'd be the only two things that would stop you from taking something. Japanese tension currently calm. We could always fight the Russians, then we have the Chinese. Okay, great. Otherwise, I think this is probably going all right. We have a boatload of influence. We definitely need to get constructing. Let's um, build the construction center in Kanto and maybe down around like Hiroshima or Osaka way. <laughs> Knowledge is limited. Let's just build up this construction center a little bit in the center. Uh, I don't think you need to go OTT on building this sector up. In fact, that's probably too much. Um, but I do like to just get a couple of other little <laughs> sectors online first, especially if we're planning on industrializing this puppy. Let's crank it up to four speed. We're not mucking around. How does China function this game? It was one hell. Yeah, Miss K, from what I've seen, I haven't played China, full disclosure, but from what I've seen, uh, it, it does get a little bit messy in this market. <laughs> At the moment, they're very unified. I tend to see them. I tend to see this landmass split into about four pieces, um, and then th there tends to be tension up on this border. Uh, <laughs> the Brits do some crazy things. Uh, a couple of nations that I have seen that I, I think are quite cool that we could put in the next poll. I've seen some calls for polling Poland, which I think is a great idea. Uh, the Sikh Empire are very fun. Uh, should we start improving relations with them because they're just that fun? Probably not. Um, so we could put them in. Uh, Australia could be fun, like trying to unify Australia, break away from the UK. I like that idea. While, while Japan just ticks away here on its construction sector, let me gas bag about some other things. <laughs> uh, what do we have as our big decisions? Hold a grand exhibition, adopt state Shinto. Okay, so we could become more of a religious state kind of fun there's the standard entries like path to liberalism these all seem fairly normal um and then we could take it a slightly different direction as well and very interesting to most no they're not they're not jasmine people tend to be interested in in where they're from and and less interested in where everyone else is from you're right <laughs> unfortunate um however we're playing as japan so take that <laughs> Um, Alright, construction sector done. Let's quickly pause and then slam out. We really need government administration, I think, across the board, right? One of our major issues. Yes. Especially in... Okay, Kansai. Alright. Let's get some government admin. Probably just all over the show. We'll start with... One, two, three, four... We'll start with five. <laughs> Go! Alright. 
that will fix our, even though we're not really suffering, that will help to fix our bureaucracy a little bit. Thanks, Red Wolf. <laughs> um, when are we going <laughs> to see Portuguese New Zealand? I don't know. Uh, other small and or large fun places to, ooh, to play would be Egypt. Egypt, super fun. You might have seen the developer live streams around here. This area gets hot fast too. Um, and then I also thought, I played as... Oh my god, look at them go. Are they losing? Oh no, they're winning. Okay. Um, I also thought it might be fun to try and do either Peru or Chile. Um, these guys have some fun storylines or sandbox uh, storylines <laughs> that we could play through as well. Uh, but for the time being, let's focus back in on the motherland. I want to get our army mobilized if possible. I'm also a little bit hesitant about what our navy is up to. Um, currently, there are very few laws we can pass, so let's pass something. We've got... Okay, we could move from peasant levies to a professional army. That seems like a really good move. Uh, other options are the National Guard. Again, another good move. Local police force becomes dedicated police force. Okay, so get a feel for maybe the direction we're heading at the moment. Let's change our peasant levies to a professional army. This should pass with no trouble because everybody loves a professional army. <laughs> Apparently. The crew looks super fun. Excited for tomorrow morning. Might call in sick for work. That's a great idea. I don't condone that. That's a great idea. <laughs> Being sandwiched between India and the Ottomans. What a lovely start location. Yeah, Miss K, you're right. You're right. Oh my God. Aaron. Aaron! Whoa, whoa. Aaron. If we're giving gifts, remind me of Super Gen Trains last year. Holy. Aaron, thank you so much for a 50 freaking dollar Super Chat. Aaron says, if we're giving gifts, reminds me of the Super Chat Trains last year. Super, super, super love heart face. Hug face? I think that's actually a hug face. <laughs> Either way, Aaron, that is mind-blowingly do it, do it good. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. That is far too kind, and I, I really appreciate that a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. Um. Yeah, that professional army is no trouble at all. Do we have any other deficits? Uh, it's actually just our taxation capacity. Damn, Japan starts in a somewhat powerful spot. Holy cow, we are in a huge deficit here, though. Missing out on 66.9% of revenue collection in Kansai, for example. Sheesh. <laughs> the state here <laughs> is not good enough. <laughs> okay. I mean, we'll just have to work away on these. They're very slow to build, but thats I think that's totally fine. Just realized since getting mods are easier now. Yeah, the mod the mod function at the start looks to be really smooth. Of course, there isn't really anything out, so I haven't been able to test it, but looks really good. Watching on both Twitch and YouTube, Alan and Rage. Oh, gee, oh, gee. Argentina, please. Yeah. Yeah, another cool one. I agree. All right. What I would have liked to do, bef at least before we leave Japan, is fight someone. Let's, um, let's have a look at Korea. There's our professional army enacted. Let's also upgrade the National Guard. Again, this is a super easy pass. We're just going to slowly militarize Japan and then bounce out of them. <laughs> Awful. Um, all right. And then back to Korea. Let's get... Actually, first things first. Let's have a look at the diplomatic lens. So Korea's actually our friends. Ooh, oh. And there is a conflict brewing between the Brits and the Chinese. This is probably the o over the opium, is it? Unfortunately, we can't jump in here because we don't quite have our interest. I mean, we... <laughs> That's a shame because they're our enemy. Over here, open diplomacy, zoom in, open diplomacy, zoom in. Eh. Yeah. What would this war goal look like if Japan immediately went to war? There's the National Guard. Like I say, these things are no trouble for us to pass at all. Our government is very unified on it. Let's upgrade war. Oh, this this is actually really difficult because the landowners don't want it. Okay. They don't want the dedicated police force. That is interesting. 
could move towards the state religious route. That's quite, that's quite a step. Um, back to this war goal, though. Hmm. The Russians might like to partner up. Let's align Japan with the Russians. What could possibly go wrong? Marco, thank you for the one Australian dollar. Uh, and also, oh, and 2.99. Arge I assumed it was Australian. Might not be. Uh, can you check the Assyrian's homeland? Absolutely. Let's have a look. I would love to. Ooh. I actually haven't seen um, early games. These early game. I haven't had a chance to have a look at these early game states over here either before. Moldova. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Unrecognized power rank 211. This could be a really fascinating play in future too. Persia. Hello. What do you look like? 6.9 million, 4.3 GDP, rank 39th in the world. And then we're... We're sort of squeezing a little bit up against British and in well, <laughs> British India. Um, it, it does get a little squished around here, doesn't it? Take a look at this population: sixteen million. That is fantastic, compared to six million here. Wicked, wicked. Opium addiction. Great. <sighs> we should probably do something about that. We could put a tax on it. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. What should we do? I don't know. Tax it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, and our government is basically hand-tied at passing more laws here. We're really limited, unless we want to try and pass the state religion one. I feel like that's a little hardcore, and it, and it may not work. But at an 18% success rate, we might just be able to do it, actually. Um, let's have a look and see what a damaged relations with Korea might look like. Might make a, a move for that peninsula. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, and then we have the massive Ottoman Empire over here, of course. Um, and what would be probably one of the better larger nations to play. Maybe. Uh, if you wanted to start with a bit more power. You'd probably look to either Persia or the Ottoman Empire. Um, but of course the choice is yours. You've got a lot of options to play around here, actually. A lot of options to play. Um, smaller ones. Tiny. Tiny! Hmm. Um, minus 20% enactment time, but we have a 5% increase on the islands with radicalists. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. <laughs> I think that's worth the push. Um, okay, I think I got everybody. Alright, who's next? <laughs> you know who's next. Let's pop into the military screen and have a look. So we've got four generals. I feel like not really any admirals. Um, could be one of the weaknesses here. We'll just grab you. You're fine. Oh, and we did it. State religion. Fantastic. The Buddhist monks are overjoyed. <laughs> uh, and we're stockpiling way too much gold because we're not constructing anything. Let's maybe... Hmm, actually... Before I forget... More taxes. <laughs> the opium tax literally raises no money. Zero dollars. Go to Scotty! Assyria or we riot? I started a riot over Assyria. Why are we rioting over Assyria? What, what's wrong? What? 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 What's wrong? <laughs> okay. Bring back biomocracy. Biomocracy is alive and well. Games look like Clash <laughs> Yeah, I see those mobile ones. I'm like, no. <laughs> Anarcho Assyria. Sell more opium. We need the... We're probably going to need to get the fields, actually. Let's um have a look. If we go into the market tab, and then we navigate to opium, and then we navigate to 
show production and consumption on map. <laughs> Look at these guys. Look at these guys! <laughs> okay, um, anyway, what we want to look at, potentials, production, okay, right, so you see, you get a clear feel. This is the hot zone right here, uh, but also over here a little bit too. Let's begin damaging relations with them as well. Just to really put the pressure on. Uh, back to the construction sector. While we're producing nothing, I guess we'll just do a couple of construction sectors. The economy is super healthy, even while we're building things. Which is very exciting to see. Spent gold, devilish. A wonderful reminder! <laughs> uh, you want me to look at the specific state of Assyria in Ottoman Iraq? Alright. We're diving in. Diving in deep. Ottoman. <laughs> I'm gonna just, <laughs> you just want me to like, have a really close look through all of the Ottoman territories? We can. Baghdad. Huh? You can come around through, what is this? Per at the minute it's Persia. This will change. This will change hands a few times. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, man. I don't think we'll swap to the Ottomans next, but we might. We'll see. It depends on what kicks off here. This, this, um, what is the state of Syria, uh, will kick off fairly hot. At least from what I saw on the, um, on the developer's screen. Uh, on the developer's stream. Here you go. Are you happy? <laughs> Is this the zoom in you wanted? <laughs> you want the cultural map? I, mean, I assume you're going to refer to lenses? Or would you like to see more of the information screen here? The statistics and these wonderful charts. Here you go. Here's all the info you'll need. Woof. Look at that. Chart porn right there. Wow. In Kliab. Woof. Take your screenshots, everybody. There you go, chat. Don't say I don't do anything for you. Holy cow. He's too good. Alright, back to the task at hand. <laughs> uh, our relations should be damaged enough. Oh, I want to get a little bit of a navy built probably as well, actually. Um, before we forget... Yeah, look at this. We've only got three ports. Naval base-wise, nout. Alright. I'm gonna get six. <laughs> Let's get six naval bases. Because we have none. And I feel like having a few would be a good idea. Uh, we're also probably gonna need ships for them to sail in as well. Which is another thing that we'll consider down the line. Uh, and if you're just tuning in, thank you so much. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We have over 300 live viewers across YouTube and Twitch. It's insane to see. Um, and thanks for all the happy birthday wishes as well. I know I haven't responded to each and every single one, but th I, th they're cool. And they mean a lot. Uh, <laughs> and Marco, you didn't need to donate again, but I really appreciate that too. Palpatine would say. Do it, do it. And I agree. <laughs> Jacob, welcome back. Yeah, this week is going to be a Victoria 3 week, I would say. Maybe not streaming every day, but... Um, but I will be bouncing between videos and streams fairly regularly. Okay, we're stockpiling gold. Devilish, I'm sorry, I know. Let's keep building. Uh, this economy is so strong. Let's get some naval bases somewhere else as well. Um, I think our infrastructure is okay here and here. So we'll just build up like 10 naval bases. That should be good enough. I feel like we probably have enough barracks as well. However... Also, you could argue, you can never have too many. So let's just militarize the huck out of Japan. Neat. <laughs> so Japan is taking sort of a, a militaristic and religious route in this world. And then we'll bounce out and bounce over to our next country that we're going to take a look at. Which by your vote is Spain. At 51%. It did pretty well. It did pretty well. Just have the flag. Let me have a look actually. Let's have a look. 
What are your politics? Ooh, against the odds. Despite not enjoying full rights under Japanese law, some wealthier Ainu people have began moving into neighborhoods and frequenting establishments they would normally be excluded from. Who are you? Who are you? Turmoil. <laughs> okay. Uh, what should we do with them? What would the state do? Enforced segregation, increased radicals. They've earned it. Uh, hmm. This would weaken the interest group approval in our key interest groups. So I think we'll lean into that. Into that. Uh, yike. Uh, to briefly remind ourselves. Let's have a look. The Shogunate has 44% clout. Wow. Amazing. Uh, Samurai, very loyal as well. Buddhist monks, great. Intelligentsia, furious. Fuming. Fuming. Okay, maybe we should bolster a group here. The Samurai actually don't have quite as much support as I would like, but I think it's probably the Buddhist monks who we want to be the strongest of all. So let's bolster them. And we could consider suppressing another group to push them aside. But most of these other groups are fairly weak. Intelligentsia are really unhappy with us. Um, <laughs> as are these guys. Look, it's fine. They're fine. It's fine. They're fine. <laughs> Everything's okay. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let the monks in government? Yeah. I think that's the route we're going to take, actually. I think that's the route we're going to take. We're going to try and get the monks into power. Uh, militaristic monks. Yep. That, that's the route we're going to go for here. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, there are currently a couple of economic issues here by the looks as well. Man of Wars on the Japanese market are ludicrously expensive. And we have nobody to trade with to get them in. Is that because our trade laws are dicky? Uh, well, yeah, okay. Of course, we're an isolationist state. All right, so we're going to need to fix that another way. Our economic system is currently traditionalism as well. This is providing a minus 25% penalty to our taxation capacity. That is what's really tanking it, rather than my lack of government um, administration buildings, probably. How can we get this passed? Oh, geez. Even agrarianism might be all right. We need to... Okay, romanticism. We could probably get romanticism. I feel that would be fairly easy. Right? Right? Or we could go the interventionalist route as well. Uh, that would require us to not have serfdom. Okay, let's go for... Even agrarianism's not that much better, to be fair. <laughs> but let's be hopelessly Japanese romantic and start researching that for them. It'll take two years to get their economy out of a traditionalist one. <laughs> Sorry, Japan. Look, I'm trying to help you, all right? But I also promised chat that I'd only do each country for about half an hour. So <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> Holy crap, that spammer got aggressive. Oh my god. I can grab that. <laughs> uh, just a friendly reminder. Please don't head to tinder-hot.xyz best adult dating site. I firstly doubt it's the best adult dating site. So if you're looking for one of those, it's probably not the place you go. And secondly, it's spam. Total spam. Don't do it. Uh, okay, the Brits. <laughs> uh, they did it. They did it. They got their opium, I think. Okay, uh, back to the task at hand. There were a couple of pretty simple goods that we can fix. So at the moment, it's slightly more expensive to get paper in Japan than it is everywhere else. And it's slightly more expensive to get wood. <laughs> um, although this price is actually coming down. So we're probably... Or this price is coming way down. Fantastic. I didn't even step in and do that. It just did itself. <laughs> paper, however, still priced fairly high. Um... <laughs> the temptation to tax. No, obviously that's a terrible idea. That would do the opposite thing of what we want to do. So it's currently being produced by paper mills and it's being used by all of our nerds, right? Government administration, universities, skyscraper, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Scotty! Hey there, mate. <laughs> Welcome to the Gigapixels, you absolute Giga Chad. Insane. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For what must be... <sighs> I'm going to just go out on a whim and say probably like 14 months. Probably 14 months. All right. So what we need, probably need to do is build some more paper mills. Um, oh. 
four might be overkill, but let's just build a whole load of paper mills in Kanto because we're not building anything else. Um, speaking of, let's check in on our market again. Man of Wars, shipyards. Let's get some shipyards. We'll get four of those as well. We'll get four shipyards and four paper mills and we'll try and get on top of those uh, little oversights in the economy. Otherwise, it's looking fine. Loads of battalions in the reserve. Good to see. <laughs> Good to see. Um, I think we're also probably going to need to free up some extra powers for us. Our legal system is almost completely... Ha ah, ha ha ha! Yes. Okay. This is good. Now we can change our colonial laws because we got that um, technology unlocked. So we can do colonial exploitation or colonial resettlement. Okay. Uh, generation plus point one. Generation plus point one. This one gives plus 100% migration attraction in unincorporated states. This one gives subsistence output, starting wages, tension decay. Okay, so this is this is more aggressive. Let's do it. <laughs> it's such a yike. It's such a yike. Okay, a bureaucratic shortfall. This is not true. You lie. <laughs> you lie. Uh, all right, let's get those colonial fears unhinged. And that way, what we could actually do is stop damaging relations just for the minute. And then focus on actually grabbing these. Because these are kind of free territories. They haven't been colonized yet. They're not part of uh, Unified. Or, again, I've made that mistake. Uh, the word escapes me. Apologies. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> Revolution is brewing. The following states would cede. I mean, that wouldn't be ideal. Uh, they probably don't like the fact that we just passed colonial exploitation, I would say. Um, what we could do actually is delve just slightly into the detail there and see who it is and why. So it's the industrialists and the peasants. All right. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> we could use some of our excessive authority to squish that, uh, a little bit. We could look to try and woo them over, improve their lives. The peasants really don't like us. Hmm. Shogunate is rising in popularity. Whoa, 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 Damn, we're bolstering them and they're still falling. The mo the, the, the Shogunate is just... <laughs> searching all the way to the top. That's outstanding. Oh my god. Okay, well, look, we've got this colonial territory done. So let's colonize... 60 days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is great. Okay, cool. So we'll colonize that quick smart. The threat of revolution is sort of simmering a little bit. Interest group groups actively trying to overthrow the government. How dare you? <laughs> it's all of these guys. Look, they have almost no power. They have almost no power. Let's just suppress them even further into the ground. Just to really let them know who's boss. Um, Hokkaido's gold mines are depleted. Or we could try and bolster them. Well, that's fine. We'll just let people move away from Hokkaido. And we do need to still slightly increase our government bureaucracy. Seeing as our economy is pumping pretty hard. Working pretty hard. <laughs> I think we'll just leave that be for now. There's romanticism unlocked. Neat. Um... We could look to push that. Anything else I would like to do? No, I think these guys are, are probably all right. We could strengthen the police force a bit more. That's a little hard. Yeah, that's a bit of a yike. Um, and then Buddhist monks are on the right. The peasants would actually probably be a, another good one that we should suppress. Let's get them down. Down you go. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Just some peasants being stupid. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, let's get mechanical tools. Threat of revolution is somewhat high. Uh, another thing we could do is... And I think it's under the... Hold on. Bear with. <laughs> he knows where he's going. He really does. <laughs> oh, dear. 
I was looking to decree a um, diplomatic action. There we go. Scroll through like a thousand times. <laughs> oh, we can't actually even do them because we're just slightly hang tied. All right, what's my timer? Okay, what we're going to do is temporarily jump out of Japan. We're going to put it in control of the AI and bounce over to your next choice, which was... Ooh, it's hot in Europe, uh, which was Spain. Let's have a look at what a European major power looks like temporarily as we jump over into the hands of Queen Isabel the Bourbon, age 13. Neat. <laughs> All right. What that also means is that it's probably time for another poll. Who would you like me to put in the next one? Uh, that last one, by the way, had nearly 1,000 votes. It's some kind of record, everybody. Thank you for your kindness and for voting. We love a bit of biomocracy around here too. Uh, generous gifters, if you'd like to make a recommendation, you're most welcome as well. Um, who would you like to see me put in the poll is what I'm asking. I think there was a little bit of a call earlier for a couple of different states. Mexico is one that comes up a little bit again and again, so we could jump to them. Uh, other options? Well, I don't really mind. Could zoom out as well, just in case you're not super familiar with what the world looks like. <laughs> just a reminder in case you need a bit of source material. Uh, there's less sort of source material over here. Big heart, but unfortunately not super playable. Uh, at least not super interesting to play right now. Europe is hot. We're jumping in on Spain at the minute. Um, where we're seeing... Okay. A much weaker economy. We can fix that. <laughs> and look at this. Way lower authority as well. Uh, much less authoritarian, I'm guessing. You'll notice the... Probably the overview for our laws looks really different. Yeah, look. We have way more control over what we can do here. Um, but of course, that comes at a cost. Look at all these evenly ranked interest groups. Holy hell. Spain is way more divided. Um, <laughs> in Japan, the power was, was very centralized in the hands of a few. Here, we're seeing... Uh, a much less centralization of power. Militaristically, we're also a little bit weaker, although this general's controlling like 60 dudes. So that's kind of fun. Uh, and then we have the, uh, the United States over here, which looks to have almost completely mopped up all of those colonial territories <laughs> that it had on offer. Sheesh. Uh, but yeah, over overwhelming success for Spain, which got 48% victory there. Uh, Mexico, Australia down in and around the mid-twenties. Central American Federation, Banana Republic, USA, America, Argentina, Indian Territories. Persia would be interesting. Kia ora, let lucky. Thank you, Oscar. One of the German kingdoms. It might be swallowed by the time we get there, but we could try. <laughs> it's official. We had 1,000 votes on that last poll. Jeez, that is overwhelming. Uh, and insane. Okay, so it looks to me like common ones that are coming up a little bit are USA would be fun to look at I agree um, loads of probably American viewers in chat as well so you might like to see that um, Argentina yep I would like to put a South American one in there uh, although of course you can watch my video on Brazil if you'd like to see it, some what I think is particularly spicy <laughs> uh, and then we should probably reach maybe invade divided japan <laughs> yeah well that's the fun if in a game like victoria 3 if you really stuff a country you can just bounce out next door and take it over if you wish um ooh. who do we want for our third one i feel it probably could or should be someone over this way somewhere maybe greece maybe oh that is a cluster f of a position <laughs> <laughs> Iran who had a thousand votes why do we only have 200 likes Scott asking the most important questions uh, Persia yeah alright I am your walls why did you barely ever build in the Bra Brazil video uh, I was using my economy largely to fund the military a lot of the time although uh, you know there's not really a lot to watch while you build so there were points of course that I was editing out like people were like you didn't even do the markets it was like no I, I did I just you know didn't add five minutes worth of footage of me staring at a screen going so if I if I if I add that trade route that'll oh no oh now that's taken you know 
<laughs> is a different style. Um, and then we'll go Persia is the last one. All right. Or Greece. Who next? Greece it is. Boom. Uh, and then... Uh, in case you're just tuning in and you're not quite sure what's going on, thank you for logging the likes. We'll swap around about every half an hour to try and get a feel for different places in Victoria 3, because this is an early access look before it releases to the general public. So I figure we should take a look at a few different places. It just makes sense. And now we're going to take a look at Spain. Uh, the way we're deciding it is through polls, live, uh, suggestions in chat, and also donors. If you'd like to make suggestions, please do. It's one of the small things that I can do to give back to your generosity. Your insane generosity, Huck, Aaron. Thank you. Uh, okay. Let's have a look at Spain. I'll probably maybe pass through on four. No, I'll pass through on three speed while we're having a look. So our economy is in the in the red and we're not even building anything. Uh, one thing you can do in Victoria 3 if you find your economy is in the red is to stop building things because building things, of course, uses a lot of, a lot of your resources. At the moment, we're actually like bankrupt so we're gonna need to go <laughs> and do some uh <laughs> emergency governing action here what is causing us to to go so broke market price for a lot of luxury goods is insane uh insanely over and our uh, yeah okay okay We've got too much wood. This, there's nothing really outstandingly stupid here, except for the fact that they all want luxury clothes and luxury furniture. Okay. We can't really enact a whole load of trade routes just yet. Um, I guess we could import some luxury furniture from America. Bureaucracy cost 15. Convoys needed 11. Okay, fine. We'll get these people the luxury furniture they so desperately apparently need. <laughs> uh, small arms might be a good idea as well services we'll have to fix internally tools will be a really basic one we might be able to upkit that ourselves um, I'm surprised actually that these basic goods are not in insane demand although some of these prices are pretty inflated we could temporarily lower the price of clothes by just enacting a quick, another quick trade route here too and then we'll look to of course build up our own supply <laughs> Let's get some Russian clothes. That's kind of fun. Okay, great. Hey, thank you, Tink! <laughs> and thank you for 13 months as well! Yeesh! Do you like the warfare? Uh, yes, I do actually. I think it's quite good. It, it's, um... I can see the controversy and the, the sort of frustrations that people have in it, though. I, I do, uh, sense... I do get a sense of that, but... I don't mind it. I think there are a few things that they could improve, like how it looks visually on the map. Um, it could be one big improvement, but no, I think it's pretty good. We'll probably see some of that soon. Um, back to saving our economy, what we could do... <sighs> this is a little rough on the people, but... <sighs> we could pull back military wages. That's fairly easy. Pulling back government wages will hurt the intelligentsia support. Let's have a look at the different interest groups. Okay, so the intelligentsia are already kind of unhappy with us. And they are currently in government. That's not ideal because they're applying this negative multiplier to us because there are less than five unhappiness or more than five. <laughs> uh, so we're losing a bit of prestige because of that. But, um, hmm. I think that's probably fine. Let's get passing a law as well. Something to try and shape this place towards the way that we want to go. Also, maybe something that increases our money would be nice as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure if we want to move towards an agrarian economy and out of the interventionism or not. Hmm. Unlocks go- Nah. I, I don't think those unlocks are especially spicy. I could be swayed, but I, I don't especially think they are. We currently have legacy slavery. Difficult to change that for us, but not impossible. Uh... Police force we could up. This is generally a, a, a fairly good move. Intelligentsia will support this as well. We'll get some... We'll get a lot of increased support from them. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's pass a dedicated police force and that'll just sweeten them up. <laughs> oh no. Another best dating site. Oh, that was a strange looking one. 
Very strange. Yeah, Kyle, let's go. Is Spain as unstable in three as it was in two? Let's find out. Uh, paper is the only other thing on the Spanish market that's a little overpriced. It's coming down a smidge. We do have the bureaucracy to pull in more trade routes. Let's get some papal paper. <laughs> I love it. Okay, great. All right. Hopefully we've fixed some of those deficits. The, we're slightly in the green, but we're not building anything. So we're not actually making a lot of money. Um, let's have a look next at Spain's diplomatic lens. Who do we hate? Sa Sardinia! <laughs> oh man, we really hate them. Should we just should we just smash in and start a world war? Um, hmm. We would have Cuba and the Spanish Philippines as our ally. And other states may look to intervene. Okay. We could go for a fast land grab there though, probably, I reckon. Go on to the military screen. Um, let's recruit another general. I like to have another one online. Probably in the Iberian HQ. Looks like there's a few dudes waiting there. Um, landowner or armed forces. Let's get the cruel armed forces rather than this wounded guy. Great. <laughs> Welcome in, chief. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to have you here. Um, and then, okay, so we do have what? Okay, we have one. Hmm. That's probably fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. We can also upgrade their equipment here, but I doubt that we have any upgrades available <laughs> just right now. <laughs> Pulls out pie chart. Big oh! <laughs> I've got you. <laughs> Save up some money before you invade someone. Yes, you should. It does cost money. It does cost money. And we are so very dirt poor. That would be the sensible thing to do. At the moment, we're not even able to build anything, though. A little tricky. Um, we'll try and leverage... Jeez, we barely even have any influence. <laughs> Economy is in dire straits. Could temporarily raise taxes. I don't love it. But man, that is a great boost to the coffers. <laughs> Alright, we'll put a little bit of extra pressure on the people. Um, how can I alleviate this a little bit for them? Consumption tax on tobacco and the consumption tax on liquor are pulling in so much money as well. Um, <laughs> woof. These guys are taxed up the wazoo. The consumption tax on luxury clothes we could probably remove, helping the rich. Um, I'm sure that's fine. Uh, <laughs> that'll also lower the price a little bit of luxury clothes, of course, which were a pretty overpriced good. Uh, porcelain was a bit overpriced as well. We could probably take the tax off that while we have overall increased taxes. God, what a terrible way to run that. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. We're building a police force. Uh, we have some institutions already enacted. Landowners' political strength is increased by law enforcement. The health system is increasing the church's strength. And then we have a little bit of educational access as well. Okay. All right. This is interesting. Just discovered me through my Civ 5 content. Making your isolation more bearable. Oh, that's so great to hear. I'm glad. I'm glad. I really like that Civ 5 stuff. I'm proud of, I'm proud of that content. Likewise with, the, with humankind. Um, obligatory war taxes. Yeah, yeah, it must be done. <laughs> we could cut government wages as well, temporarily. And maybe bring the luxury furniture tax back, because it is actually pretty profitable. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spend my personal authority <laughs> to introduce more taxes. These people are gonna hate me absolutely hate me <laughs> these poor impoverished people um let's have a look so most of these states are impoverished impoverished we tend to find though that the capital state might have either different cultures or maybe different um you know professional makeup to some of the others so take a look huge increase in peasantry of course as we become more rural so we need to keep that in mind not just their jobs, but probably also interest group as well. You'll notice a big shift. Yeah, look at that. Industrialists, nothing in Madrid, but out here in Aragon? Woof, daddy. So, so there are little things that we could do in terms of maybe the diplomatic lens, the military lens. Um, 
different diplomatic actions we can take as well. State actions, these can be quite good. Uh, state decrees. So we could, for example, encourage people to migrate to the center or to another area uh, <laughs> and then try and shift the population dynamics that way. Uh, this is a very detailed and rich simulator and there are different levers that you can pull. In my Brazil video, I leaned heavily on military and sort of using the economy to leverage my militarist power. So like high taxes, building militarist buildings, conscripting my people. But you could completely pull these market levers instead and achieve a very similar thing, if not the same. Where's the jumbo AI though? Bumble <laughs> well, the uh, bourgeois pixel always looking out for the rich. That bougie pixel, honestly. Have you finished all the way up to 1936 here? Um, not very well. No, I wouldn't say I've I've finished a game happily through to nine to, to the end. No, no, I wouldn't. We should do that live. 24 hour vic <laughs> streaming until Victoria 3 releases. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Um, who owns Sardinia? Because, so if you're unfamiliar, which you might, you might very well be up the top here on this money screen. Firstly, you can see our cash reserves just go through the roof. Uh, our, our balance is surging thanks to all those taxes and lowering everybody's wages, which is great. Uh, you'll also note that our gold reserves are increasing now too. Uh, this is important. We don't want to have our reserves completely depleted and our income in the red, right? We could maybe choose one, especially in war times, but ideally we don't want to have both. That would be a terrible idea. Um, great stream so far. Oh, thank you, Wonder Productions. I hope you're enjoying it. You'd stay in the stream though. <laughs> Yeah, what's another 18 hours between friends? Um, we should also have a look at the Spanish interests. What's also really fun about doing this thing is after we've played about four nation states, we'll be able to have a look and see how they've all progressed after we've mucked around with them. It's quite fun. Uh, well, at least I hope it'll be fun. <laughs> I haven't tried it myself. Um, we're fairly resource rich here too, actually. Like, we've got a lot of coal and iron potential. Let's do a little bit of building. Um, where are our greatest needs? I might check the market screen first. Small arms. Glass. Which is coming out of glass works. Would be nice to have some extra glass. The 17th most productive glassworks in the world, casual flex. <laughs> okay, um, let's build a glassworks, just one. Let's see how that goes. Uh, I'd like to get some construction sectors online first. Any other good super jumping out at me? Um, yeah, actually, really basic things like furniture. Furniture manufacturers. Um, so we could build them in these more profitable places or we could try and centralize it a little bit i see no no issue in maybe doing a little bit of that and then oh my god we have so many subsistence farmers we need jobs like there's no tomorrow um something else tools yeah sure let's get some tool tool workshops in here as well <sighs> peasantry probably don't need those tool jobs there actually but you know what that'll do all right, there's a couple of buildings that seem to be in high demand. Um, outside of the more luxury goods, is looking at you, Opium. <laughs> Drew says 17 hours. <laughs> ah, another boss! That time it's a Tinder hot. I got you. I got you. Thanks, Iron. Um, ooh, percussion caps unlocked. Great. Uh, let's have a look at the tech tree. Hmm. What way does Spain want to go here? I kind of always just grab mechanized tools because it leads to railways. And I feel like that's the infrastructure that we need. That has tended to be my don't look at anything else, just click that move. <laughs> but we also have a, a fairly deep and detailed military tree here. Triage seems like a good idea. And then we have a society tree as well with things like romanticism that we unlocked when we were playing as Japan. Um, hmm. Ooh, 
We do need a buff to our authority. Nationalism will give us plus 10%. Taxation capacity, plus one health system investment. Man, I, the detail in this game is so good. It's so good. <laughs> like, once you get a feel, you know, and it, it, depending on who you are, it might take five hours, or it might take 50 hours, but once you start to get a feel for the systems, I am in no way an expert, obviously, uh, not even close, but once you start to get a feel for it, it, it really starts to sort of come into a pacing of its own. Um, what vessels can you release as Spain? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually forgot to look if we um how we were doing. <laughs> so we know that the Cubans were gonna come in were gonna come in and fight with us. And then we also had was it Spanish Philippines who were gonna be our other main ally, I think. Yeah. And then we have the Spanish Philippines as well. I forgot about you guys. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> could, should, we could grant them independence. Before we move out of Spain, we'll just, like, let Spain burn and grant everybody independence. <laughs> <laughs> Taxation without representation? Ah! Psh, 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 psh. Where are my other mods here? <laughs> yeah, you're fighting the fire, Huck. <laughs> you're fighting the fire. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we could release some of them. We could release Cuba. Oh, look at this! What's going on? Looks like the US and Mexico are going at it. We lean toward US and away from Mexico. Interesting. Interesting. And the dedicated police force, by the way, has tanked at 0%. Why? What went so wrong there? Huh. Okay. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Landowners and rural folk buffed. Industrialists and trade unionists marginalized. Um, sure. Agrarian Spain. <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> I love it. America is burning. Oh. Oh, yeah, look. So they're pushing... Okay. Interesting. So they're pushing to north... But then, a little bit of fracturing going on down here in Texas. Austin, no! <laughs> the five people who live in these buildings are terrified. They're going to have to run down the street and over this bridge and get the huck out of here. Oh, jeez. 317 watching on YouTube alone. I know, that's insane. Please let me know. Which flag? Spam humankind game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I cannot condone this. The war in this game sucks. We will declare a war and we'll, and I'll, I'll, um, try and demonstrate how it plays out in practice. Oh yes. Peru, Bolivia formed. I love that. I think they always do maybe, or, you know, most often. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Um, we're losing a bit of authority. We can quickly patch that by getting rid of one of these taxes because they cost a hundred each. Um, so you know what? Porcelain! <laughs> it's... Go nuts! <laughs> Porcelain for all! Uh, and then our bureaucratic deficit is coming from... Pops in incorporated states for the most part. Law enforcement, health system, trade routes. Yeah, the trade routes are a little heavy. Some of them will, will start to become inefficient though as we build up what we're doing. Like, notice we're not really short on a lot of goods now. That we're starting to build our furniture manufactories and our glassworks. Like, we are actually sort of stabilizing this economy a little bit. France is fighting. Going at it with Prussia? Oh, man. Hey, someone should have let me know, guys. <laughs> Look at the diplomatic lens. Uh, actually, I don't really care about any of you, do I? I love Austria, though. Austria is like my best friend. Let's improve relations with the Austrians. We've got a lot of influence to spare. Um, we could also probably look to maybe cast some sneaky diplomatic actions out there. Or, where are you? State actions? Oh, I don't really want to change my capital. Uh, we have some unincorporated states. Where are they? Oh, Puerto Rico and Spanish South Cameroon. 
Well, that's interesting. <sighs> It'll cost me a little bureaucracy that I don't have. Let's build some bureaucracy, shall we? <laughs> if we pop to the urban screen, yes, we have our government administration. Um, we could also upgrade them, but it looks like they're already using filing cabinets. So, <laughs> I mean, what is a boy to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any territories in particular where tax is real bad? Let's have a look. Taxation capacity. It's uh, Taxation capacity itself is actually fine. Even in the center. It's maybe slightly weaker out on this coastline. Yeah, okay. Valenciaga? You're mine. <laughs> Let's get two more government administration buildings out here. <laughs> There'll be this intelligentsia hub and they live out on the coastline and they drink cocktails and, and read books and talk about Shakespeare and Aristotle and I don't know. <laughs> Whatever the Spanish intelligentsia are up to these days, I don't know. It's, a, it's 1846. What can I say? It's 1846. Are you allowed to play? No, there's, there's no time limit by Paradox. The rules where I could start streaming from a certain time. Uh, it was actually yesterday, um, my time. And then you can just go nuts. And then we're allowed to upload when the game releases. So I can't upload any more videos outside of that one sponsored one. The one and only uh, piece of sponsored content on my channel that there will be, by the way, if anybody is curious. Um, just to let you know, opinions are mine, uh, as always. Um, <laughs> just have to put that disclaimer out there. Because there's always one or two who are confused. Um, but yeah, that, that's their rules, basically. We could start streaming from, from yesterday. And as soon as the game releases, we can upload videos because of course it's open to the general public so at that point it's 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 open season everybody ah <laughs> uh, beautiful right off texas is playable and they are fantastic they're playable right at the start um they seem to have been swallowed this time however i have seen them seed their uh no i've seen them rebel against the states years later <laughs> and revitalize themselves so there are always options um we like we could maybe if we took over as the states or mexico even try and make that happen and then play as texas because of course we'll be swapping live at any time looks like greece is winning the poll on youtube at the moment kind of spicy um what's this people in spanish south cameroon are being blocked from entering certain businesses by some fang people oh jeez. um <sighs> really taxation 0k gross domestic product 0% I mean what are we actually dealing with here what? Uh, <laughs> this this is it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, we could incorporate it and make it become part of us. Th that could be fun. Uh, what have we got? Logging, bananas, coffee, population, Spanish, fang. Yeah, loads of fangs here. Um, there's like nothing here. I don't, is this worth my time? What do you think? <laughs> I feel like we could kind of just let them go. Oklahomies? Hmm. We'll just we'll just rest on our laurels knowing that we have this tiny little island over here should we ever wish to use it. Neat. And we've also got the Philippines over there. We'll think about them in a little bit too. Okay, Europe is at war. It looks like Prussia's being swallowed. Yike. Um, <laughs> I'd love to get involved in that, but not quite yet. Not quite yet. We've got more building to do. Get some plantations running. We, we do actually need plantations like everywhere. Um, <laughs> probably. Uh, if you have a look, oh, it's actually kind of tragic if we have a look at our, how many subsistence farms we have going. Take a look at this. It's only 759. 
Where are you? There's so many. It's insane. Um, we just don't really have anywhere for them to work. Like, we should probably expand livestock, tobacco, wheat, iron. <laughs> I want it all. Our economy is doing fine. Like, we are actually able to produce things at the minute. Before we do all of that, um, let's get construction center a sector rather just like one or two because we're building a lot in this territory i think it makes sense that we might be line in a little bit of construction sector first <laughs> um and then we'll build up castile and provide some jobs and plantations for people <laughs> seven years war part two france getting wrecked a -roo. are they colonel oh it's okay everybody they've decided to stop fighting what happened Initiator goals. Okay. Take that Prussia. Take that Prussia. War reparations. Target war goals. Prussia war reparations. And returned this territory. Okay. Neat. Prussia is such a border gore, isn't it? Like, <laughs> look at it. You can unite it fairly handily, but man, look at it. That is insane. Um, I think we need to start damaging relations with the Italians. That just seems like a thing that we would do. Uh, prejudiced employers. Workers for everyone minus five authority. Or it's up to bosses to decide who they hire. Um, they're having a hard time getting employed in null state. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's a press preview build. Vita. Vita, Vita, Vita. Um, Ike. What's our relationship with the Portuguese? Pretty nice. Austria. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering why I can't improve relations with them. Oh, oh, because we're already, like, the best of friends? No, we're just amicable. Maintenance cost 300. Totally fine. Oh, oh. I think it could be... Oh. Maybe if we... <laughs> Stop that. No. It's fine. Puppet Portugal? You reckon? Okay, I'll start damaging relations with them too. Just to really... Just to really rub that in. <laughs> uh, bureaucracy in Spain is still a little bit of an issue. We're stockpiling gold like there's no tomorrow. That means that we can probably start to reduce taxation. Yeah. This will increase people's quality of life. Although, now we're just slightly operating in there. Oh, the green! <laughs> and our coffers are full. So let's spend some of this cash. We're actually const constructing things and still making money that is a great way to be man we've really strengthened the spanish economy here over um a few years we've left we're actually going to leave them in a really good state as we move on to our next country <laughs> we're going to leave them in a really good state conquer iberia okay fine let's not leave them in a really good state stockpiling gold like there's low tomorrow Government legitimacy is low. How low is it? 26%. Let's reform. Um, who do we want to put in power? Oh! War goals! Return Utah! Open the Mexican market! Return American Texas! Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, okay, look, we need to put someone in government. Central banking's been unlocked. Let's put the landowners... Okay, sorry. Can we just... Just one thing at a time, please. <laughs> Let's put the landowners. Rural folk makes it worse. Industrialists makes it worse. Armed forces makes it marginally better. Oh, the intelligentsia really want to be in power. Who are you? Ah, I see. Isabel of Bourbon is one of them. I don't think we want to let them govern alone. 
Land owning armed forces feels bad. Probably not quite what we want. Land owning intelligentsia. Land owning armed forces. Intelligent rural folk. <laughs> there are lots of options, and this will impact what laws we can pass or not pass. Um, I think maybe we ditch the rural folk. Chuck in the unhappy intelligentsia with the landowners and get our legitimacy up. That will help us pass laws faster and maybe actually get them across the line. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right, now these events. Um, any good buffs for me? Prestige. Yeah, let's do that. We've got our tools. You're a tool. Uh, and there's been also an accident that the die works. Um, we shall all die sooner or later, D-Y-E. Oh, oh, <laughs> they did it. You promised you'd release the Philippines and Cuba when you left Spain. I did, and I will. The people will have freedom. The people will have their freedom. <laughs> but first, I think we should go to war. Um, let's maybe get something quickly that could be useful. Unlocks first aid barracks leads to nursing. It do that doesn't actually give any immediate buff. Maybe we shift to just a production -y one instead. Yeah, let's do that. You can have distillation. What's mine is distill yours. <laughs> and then, um... We need to declare probably a strategic interest if we don't already have one. I mean, obviously, I'm, a, I'm guessing that we do. Right? How could we not? Yeah, we do. We don't have one over Italy, though. We're currently at six. What? Oh, no! Okay, let's ditch the Baltic... Anyone we want to grab instead? The Brits? Hmm. It is probably actually just that. <laughs> we'll keep Spain in there. <laughs> Chuck the Brits in as well. <laughs> um, or we could look to our colonial territories as well, of course. Nah. I think that's fine. We'll keep the Benelux in our sight. Hello, what's this? Diplomatic play in North Germany. Who is it? Oh my god. I don't even know. Oh, block a jock! Hello there. Hello there. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for the birthday boy. <laughs> Thank you for the $5 donation. You don't need to do that, but I'm grateful that you do. I'm really grateful that you do. Let's open our diplomatic interactions here and see what we can do. Violate their sovereignty. Sounds like a bit of fun. <laughs> Start bankrolling. No. Make into protectorate. Invite to customs union. Hmm. Interesting. Um, do we have a... Yeah, we do. We have a professional army, appointed bureaucrats... A monarchical oligarchy. Huh. Neat. Okay. Let's just before we leave Spain and move on to what looks to be Greece. By the way, taking suggestions for the next, maybe the last poll. Um, let's check and see. One, two, three generals. This guy actually has nobody, but we should be able to rally some conscripts behind him. Um... War in Europe. Yep, they're going at it. That's fine. Uh, let's... Increase some support for that. Very good. Okay. You want me to puppet Portugal? Let's see if, let's see if we can do a cheeky puppet Portugal on our way out of Spain. Um... Let's do it. So at the start of the play, we'll face Portugal per... Ooh. I 
I don't like the poo. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. Um, I don't like the... I don't like that. But you know what? It's Spain's problem, not ours. So let's do that. We've got plenty of money in the coffers, so we can afford to mobilize. There are two countries that could be swayed in our favor. One of them being the Russians. Interesting. Okay. So what will happen here? This is the diplomatic play system. And it could lead to war, or it may not. Basically, countries will start to take sides. You can see that the Persians have immediately declared for not my side. Uh, I can sway the Russians. Your attitude is protective. Help me Russian daddy? I don't know. We'll improve relations with them anyway. It's <laughs> the worst that could happen. Um, and also I reckon we, because we've got so much money in the coffers, what we should probably do is jump into our military screen, activate every single conscript in the land. Um, bad for the economy, but good for a short-term burst. I used it with Brazil as well. Um, pretty fun. Are you the new voice actor for Mario? Get out of here. <laughs> Did you play this pressure? No, I have not, Michael. T. Kiwis represent. Subbed. My man. Um, alright, let's mobilize all of our generals. Yes. There's an idle general. Well, of course. They've just been mobilized. Chillax. Um... I've got 400 messages, flotillas in reserve. Oh, yeah, we should also not forget about our navy. Uh, these guys matter a lot. Hey! <laughs> Scott, thank you so much for five gifted memberships. Gifted out to Brian, to Pete. Kia ora, Pete. To uh, Mr. Bobinski, Diz Mental, and finally, son of Hilkiah. Welcome. Welcome! <laughs> Do join the Discord as well. You should automatically receive an invite. And thank you to the Sugar <laughs> Da, Scott, da. I will help you in your fight. Uh, thank you, Scott. Much, much, much appreciated. You're awesome. Uh, and welcome as well to everybody who was gifted a membership. Look, you get a cool change in your name and an invite to a Discord and access to some lame emojis that I designed all by myself. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, okay, quickly pause the game, because while I was distracted with those memberships, uh, this conflict has escalated pretty heavily. Um, unfortunately, our Russian... Oh. Nikolai. Romanov. What are you doing, chief? You let me down immediately. <laughs> like, straight away. <laughs> oh, let's improve relations. They're like, nah. Um, okay, is there anybody else who we could quickly coerce into joining this conflict? Potentially the Brits. We could offer to ban slavery. And offer ban slavery in Persia. Okay, so now we can pull the Brits into this conflict. And the way that we can do it is by saying, you know what, if you come in and help us, we will enforce a ban on slavery in Persia. Together. It'll cost us a little bit, but we can try and get that in. And we're probably going to need it, because actually the Russians have sided uh, hilariously against us uh, and now mobilized some 45 of their battalions. <laughs> Neat. Uh, Austria? No. No. Not so much. They're not so keen, really. They're not really so keen. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that the Brits will take up that offer. There they did! <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right. Okay. We have some slight success. We've managed to sway Spain. I've been saying the Brits the whole time. Uh, we've been able to sway Great Britain as Spain to pull, at the moment, 38 battalions. 70, 84, 95, 117. We've got more likes on the video than British battalions, but... That is a credit to you tuning in and liking the video. Not so much a credit to the British battalions. Okay, this is good. This is good. Are we kind of accidentally kicking off a global conflict in 1850? Maybe. All to puppet Portugal. Who would have thought? Um, let's quickly check in on our generals. We want to send them to 
this front line probably about two weeks ago. Uh, with our generals, they command our battalions. Our battalions' strength is determined by a lot of things, um, namely where they're fighting. Are they supplied? Do they have infrastructure? What's the terrain, conditions, attrition, morale like? And then secondly, what they actually have. What gear do they have and who's at the helm? In this case, you know, we have different generals with different abilities. This one can um, command more regular battalions, conscript battalions. And in exchange for that, their interest group is uh, increased. So there are loads of ways that we can tilt it, but we don't directly control a unit by unit. So if you're coming from a game like Civilization or Humankind, then you'll need to shift to that more sort of grand strategy paradox kind of vibe. Really hoping to do more today. Maybe not as good as last year. Oh, no, no, honestly. Just having people here and having fun is just the best. And being able to share Victoria 3 a little early, also very cool. Um, Scott, you've done so much. Don't you dare downplay yourself. Um, okay, these guys are going to take literally only four days to get there. We are in the final stage now. You'll notice there are three rings to a, a diplomatic play. Sometimes during the escalation phase, they might just say, actually, you know what, we don't want to fight, and they'll just give you what you want or, or what have you. Uh, in this case, they haven't done that. They have pushed the goal to liberate the Philippines. Those idiots don't realize I was going to do that anyway. Um, they'd also like to liberate Catalonia, not ideal, and also a Cuban treaty port <laughs> for the Russians. <laughs> the Russians were like, Oh, a port in Cuba? Yeah! And chucked in like a thousand battalions. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, but that's okay. Uh, we, we can't really add any more war goals. We're at the final stage. What I was going to say, though, is that during this phase, they could cede territory or give up. They could do all sorts of different things. But now that we're in this last phase swaying people too difficult um the brits have committed four okay so my armies have made it to the front lines the brits are committing 145 mobilized battalions behind us that is incredible um that is really good the russians though 166 russian battalions on their way missile crisis in 1850 <laughs> yeah miss k you're right it's the cuban it's the cuban um treaty port crisis of 1850 yep yep okay oh yes and we'll get our next poll going because after this conflict ends we're going to move through to greece and then there'll be another poll argentina i'm hearing calls for america calls for still uh they're losing the current one are they losing by much let me have a look Oh, actually, the US... Wow, that's a really close poll. Holy crap. It could still be swayed, although it would be a little difficult. Either way, I'll start a new poll after this war is done. Um, but first, yeah, bad boy's been talking for a little while, and he just needs to quickly go and grab a glass of water. I'm sorry. Um, thank you so much for tuning in so far. We've just crossed over 300 likes. Uh, that is insane. Um, I will be right back and put you onto the greatest Scott Rich and Friendship BRB screen you've ever seen. I will see you in probably two minutes.
Alrighty. Jump scare. <laughs> Boo! Oh. <laughs> what an ass. Okay. Um, thank you for your patience. Um, let me just... Just grabbing a drink. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, Argentina. Still calls for Argentina. Huge calls for Argentina still. Make a glorious oceanic empire. I really would love to. I really would love to. Uh, releases in 16 hours. Okay, so I've got to stream for another 16. <laughs> it's the mega stream. Nah, but we will continue to check out some more places. Because this is pretty fun. And it, um, I hope you're enjoying the format. To be honest, just before we switch back to the gameplay, I was a little hesitant. I was like, I wasn't really sure if this would um, go down especially well, changing around places. Like, it might be a bit fractured or frustrating. Um, but it seems to be pretty fun. You seem seem to be enjoying the format of bouncing around a little bit. Um, and I'm really enjoying it too. So hopefully it's working. Let me know if it does become frustrating, though, and you don't like me changing around. Because I'm happy to play it by ear. Um, all right, let's go back to the gameplay screen and kick off the Spanish <laughs> World War. <laughs> uh, oh, that's the wrong one. There we... Andreas! Holy cow! Knock? Ooh! Andreas! Let me play some magical chords and thank you so much! Holy cow! Thank you, Andreas, for the happy birthday wishes and the 109! That's right, let me step into a cave. 109 knocks! That is amazing. Thank you for your kindness. Really appreciate the dono. Uh, and you know what? You're literally directly funding this war effort because it's about to kick off. Um, let's get back to the hot zone. Currently on this front line, my side, 190 battalions. The six Cubans, the 80 Brits, and 104 of me, they have 16. We've been able to mobilize fairly quickly. It'll take the Russians a long time to get over here compared to our British friends. Uh, I'm feeling optimistic. It's costing us a pretty penny. Look at the crap! <laughs> oh my god. Nobody look at the books. The economy's worse than Liz Trust's England. Ew! Um, shots fired from an, an unknowing source. Um, Alright. I think we're ready. Let's just turn it down to maybe like a three or a two. Just so that it's not, you know, completely speeding us by. A diplomatic play has been started. <sighs> A revolution against the Danes has just started. <laughs> Getting on that action. Uh, no, look, we've got bigger fish to fry. Let's roll. Hold on. Now let's roll. <laughs> okay, war's broken out with Portugal. Here are the sides. We are trying to puppet Portugal. The Brits want to ban slavery in Persia. Uh, and in defense is the Persians, who are maybe about half the strength of us. The Portuguese are weak F. They're going straight down to Chinatown. Uh, and it's actually just the Russians who are the bigger threat because they outnumber all of us combined. Mmm. However, take a look at that notoriously fantastic British Navy. Thank God you're here. All right, two arms, men. Let's mobilize our, uh, our navy as well, speaking of which. I'm helping! <laughs> hey, I'm helping too! Uh, or we could navally invade. Nah. Let's just, um... Raid their supply convoys. <laughs> sure. We'll raid their supply convoys and then we'll kick in. So... What I've done here is I've got my generals who have been assigned to my battalions. We could move them around or promote or, or fire certain ones if we didn't like their characters, but I'm fine with who they are. And we've just assigned them all to this one front line because it is literally our only front line. Oh, of course. Yeah, the Brits are also down here in our rock. Neat. Um, and now what will happen is we can watch the individual battles play out and also get a feel for all of those uh, number go up elements as well. Offense, defense, generals, supply, all that sort of stuff. 
uh, all that sort of, dare I say, wonderful stuff. First battle. It's... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> to be fair, it's... <laughs> It's kind of just the Brits taking on the Russians, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> um, fine. Keep up the great work. It's really going in their favor. Projection damage, casualties taken up 20%, devastation, supply. I'm pretending like I'm looking at these things, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> what I am keen on is this. Yeah. They're going really well. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just completely cracked that. I say we. Yeah, it's we. Look, we're pushing. Go! <laughs> this is actually a huge front line. Um, we have agrarianism. That's great. We're just making big pushes here. We've won that first fight. We're actually about to lose this next one, though. This push is a little more difficult. Damn, we are taking huge casualties there. Yike. Our offense is much lower than their defense. What, is you, what do you do? Plus 15% KIA rate. Hmm. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it is still leaning in our favor, but man alive, this is a stacked conflict. We have to hope like Huck that the Brits don't um, get themselves involved in any other conflicts just yet. Ah, uh, yes, the big three charts and graphs. Uh, we are winning. Yeah. We won the first fight. Defending army losses took 13. In the second fight, we only actually took one loss. And then it looks like we've come back through in the third fight. Um, I tell a lie, actually. Was it a little more than that? Uh, coming through in the third fight, we did okay. There's currently another active battle on where we are kicking their blinding backside. Oh, uh, and thank you, Hoff, swapping over to Twitch for a little fun. Thank you for six months with your uh, Bezos bucks. Much appreciated. Thanks for the Twitch Prime subscription, Hoff. Yeah, this is going great. This is going really great. Um, but another failed defense by the Russian army. Another fantastic attack by us. You can see we must be... Okay, so... We're winning this, but war support-wise, there's still a way to go. Um, if I hover over this, if you're interested in the numbers and the detail, you can get a feel for why the war support is decreasing or increasing on either side. Because they are occupied is where a lot of that pressure is coming from. It's that slow occupation. What? Are, how are we losing it? Exhaustion, mainly. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, and so this is effectively how warfare is demonstrated on the, like, the widest... Oh! My dude! Sunk 65 Russian convoys! <laughs> yes! We're cutting off their supply, the Russian supply with our navy. And starving them out, or hopefully starving them out. Um, Portugal won their first fight, that last fight. Damn, Daniel. They are now in the negative war support, though. This is good for us. We need to get them down to negative 100. Um, Overview-wise, front line still looks fine. We have 273. They have 227. We have an average offense of 56 to their 49. So what we should see is, over time, a general push in our favor. The Brits, again, coming in trumps, taking out 23 Russian battalions and losing zero in the process. <laughs> Fantastic. Yikes. Yeah. This is, um, it looks like now they've just completely falling over. We're raiding their supply lines again and again and again. Our frontline pushes, thanks to the reinforcements of the Brits, not going to lie, um, going very well. We should be able to puppet Portugal. <laughs> the likes are doing very well, Major King Kong. Welcome in. Portugal won a war against Spain with an army of 20k versus 100k. Not when the Brits are here. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
I mean, in a way, it's Spain versus Portugal. And then in another way, it's Great Britain versus Russia. And those two conflicts. Ayo! Are playing out uh, at the exact same time. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Um, the following war goals have been enforced on Portugal. Puppet Portugal. Neat. Now, <laughs> we've completed our war goal. However, the conflict rages on, right? <laughs> because the Brits still want to remove slavery and yada yada yada. But good news for us, Portugal is now part of Spain. <laughs> okay, great. All right, I think that's enough love on Spain. Let's move on to our next one, which you voted for as Greece. <laughs> Hilariously close to some existing conflict. I like it. Um, yeah, it's a good question. Um, I started playing through Paradox's Hoff. I started playing through Paradox's um, tutorials first. They guide you through, you know, give you sort of objectives to do. Um, but for me, I find it actually easiest to work in a relatively minor power, um, at least to begin with, so that I have fewer relationships to manage and stuff like that. Um, couple of goodies off the top of my head that might be fun. You want to jump straight into war? I had a good time with Brazil. Um, there are a couple of European ones that are probably quite good too, but um, I go slightly against the grain in recommending a, a sort of a smaller power. And just just take it easy. Your tutorial modes, like I say though, are pretty good at guiding you through uh, each of the different sections. I also have a beginner's guide video launching tomorrow. Um, shameless self plug at the end. Okay, we've got one more thing to do. I made a promise. I made a promise. And I intend to keep it. Oh dear. Okay, we're just a little bit committed to a diplomatic play at the moment. Okay, let's go help out the Brits. They helped us, we should go help them. Do we... anywhere? Oh, here. Okay, let's send an army over there. We're gonna send 78 battalions. To go... <laughs> to go over there. Uh, and then, do we have another front line anywhere else? No, these aren't actually ours. <laughs> it is literally just that. Okay, that should be fine. And then, as soon as the diplomatic play is over, I think I'll be able to grant it. I think, see that box down the bottom there is not, com is not a committed participant in any diplomatic play. I think. Oh, hold on. We've actually been invited to help out in Indonesia. We're going to decline that and declare our neutrality. That should free us up. I thought we were being held up by the existing war. Oh no, we, yeah, we still are. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, whoops, I'm fighting Portugal. <laughs> this is a rough conflict down here. The Russians and the Brits are now fighting it out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do this. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. Something came on without me realizing it had come on. Oh, sorry guys, I was just doing a bit of caving. Um, sometimes during my live streams, I like to go and climb through caves. Ah, uh, yike. Okay. Moving swiftly along. <laughs> sorry. This man's literally living underground. <laughs> I love just looking at the map. You know what? So do I. It's pretty cool, eh? Uh, so what have we got? A battle in the Liberian desert. A battle between Egypt. And then the battle for St. Petersburg. Okay, that's it. I want to... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? 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 Okay, we're going to be a bit peace locked. We're going to have to let these colonies go another time. <laughs> I've put just slightly too long into Spain. 
I will free them if I remember at the end of the stream, but I'm locked in a diplomatic play at the minute. So we're going to bounce out of Spain and bounce into the one that you voted for next. Again, super chat donors, if you also have suggestions, you're welcome to mention them, uh, which is Greece. Let's be Greek and have a look. 42% uh, of you voted. He's free. He made it out of his cave. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, decided to go underground. <laughs> All right, now we're going to have a look at Greece, which is, um, I'm imagining, a bit of a weaker power in Spain. I will also, um, while I remember, set up the next poll. Uh, for those wondering, we had, again, nearly 1,000 votes. 42% uh, for Greece, 32% for the US, and 27% for Argentina. Argentina, unfortunately losing. You will be kicked out. Um... I'm willing to put the second place one in again, because people might want to see it. Uh, but if I do the third place one again, then we're just kind of running the same poll, so there's no point. Any new suggestions? Uh, if we have a look around the world at what's changed since last time, Lower Canada is now a big bad boy. Uh, so that's a thing. The US... Yeah, I mean, there's some issues. Mexico really reaching out and grabbing Texas. Look at that. Mexican Texas, baby. Uh, <laughs> Peru, Bolivia, Argentina, Brazil. All through Africa, we have a lot of... If you want to see a, a very small nation gameplay, we maybe wouldn't spend quite as long on it, but we could look in here. Likewise, Oceania. Uh, Australia slowly federalizing. There's now just two parts of it. <sighs> too, too many. <laughs> um, and the... <laughs> also, a little bit of border gore in Southeast Asia as well. Texas. Texas is not a playable country. Uh, neither is Iran. Try again. Uh, Russia. China. China. Yeah, I mean, we could we could pop over here and do this this great unrecognized major power. New Zealand. <laughs> Look at it. It's half. It's owned by Australia and, and various Ma United Tribes. Naitahu, Natitoa. <laughs> yeah, with an eleven thousand dollar GDP, we're um, we're not up to much. <laughs> we're not up to much. <gasps> All right, I think we'll go for. Looks like. is what Iran is. I'll use the states as they are in 1851. Um, try and keep it within the the names that are assigned here because, you know, to, to a lot of people that won't make sense. They won't quite be able to place that. Um, so we'll refer Ottoman Empire, Persia, um, etc. rather than who might control it in modern day or what it might be called in the modern day. Um, just so that it's easier to understand for the average viewer. Um, yeah, my king. All right, okay. <laughs> This will be an interesting one. Let's go USA. Oh, I'm starting a Q&A. Love that. Uh, let's go USA. They got second last time. We'll give them another, one more chance. Then we'll go for um, my great Chinese king. And then lastly, Persia. Cool. All right. Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> Vote away, my pretties. And uh, Major King Kong. Oh, my God, he did. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so kind. Thanks for the $19.99 super chat. Major King Kong, you're awesome. Thanks for being here as well. Um, okay, there are your three votes. Probably have some more after that. The, I'm not going to lie. The idea of doing a mega stream until Victoria 3 or, you know, for more of the day does appeal to me. What better way to spend a birthday, I reckon. Um, all right. Let's have a look at what Greece have to offer, though. Let's focus in on the task at hand. There's currently a war just raging on five speed as I completely ignore the Greek state. Um, all right. What have we got? Economy. Weak, but in the green. All these other resources look fine. We've got a shortage of engines, which is unfortunate. 
uh, and artillery is a little bit expensive. Politically, we have a king, King Otto of the landowners in charge with his bald heir apparent 16 year old son. And uh, a similar story to many other places. We've got the landowners and the armed forces in charge and buffing us. Interesting. Man, these guys are loyal to me. Legally, monarch, oligarch, racial segregation, state religion, bureaucrats, professional army. Okay, similar to Spain here. Similar to Spain. The Greek state. Own at least seven Greek homeland states. Triggers the Megali idea. Hmm. Ah. Interesting. Okay, so who do we have as friends playing as the Greeks? Let's go diplomatic lens. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody loves me. The French, like, slightly less, but... Okay. What is this? Revolution. <laughs> and then what's this? The Ottoman... Ah, it's, it's the Ottoman versus Egypt. And the Egyptian side is winning. Improves relations. <laughs> we'll, we'll get that working. Uh, we should also probably check... Um, uh, decrease would be tempting. Trade-wise, I don't think we need trade routes. Military... Looking a little sad. I might just give the Greeks an extra five units. I feel like that's not a bad idea for them. You know what I mean? Grab Austria, Russians, Istanbul, Constantinople again. Oh my god, look at this world! The Egyptians and the Ottomans are really going at it. And then it looks like the Austrians are also bagging them up here too. In a major way. <laughs> Sheesh. Down here, though, a little closer. Although, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think so. <laughs> Look at all of these. Each of these flags is a battle. Look at this. Disaster zone. Meanwhile, in Greece, <laughs> la 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 la, <laughs> we're just building sulfur mines and having a great time. <laughs> just having a great old time. Um... Down here, it looks like no one's even fighting. And I mean, can you blame them? It's just like a desert on fire. <laughs> Invade the Ottomans while you can. Hmm. An opportunistic mission. M m message. And you know what? Maybe that's not a bad shout. Hundred thousand peasants, hundred and fifty thousand peasants, one thousand unemployed, one unemployed, <laughs> one, a single man unemployed and looking for a job. <laughs> mm. We don't really have a lot of muscle here. Ottoman Empire, <sighs> fairly <laughs> under pressure. Escalation is continuing. What is this? The East India Company Peasant Revolt versus Great Britain. <laughs> Go you. Go you. Oh my god, this place is a hot keg. Which is insane. Secondary Nation and pun Puppet a bunch of miners. You should check out my Brazil video, Sebastian. I think you'll like it. No spoilers. <laughs> Greece and Egypt. Yeah, not so hot. Yep. Uh, let's expel the Ottoman Empire's 
diplomats as a showing of um <laughs> of diplomatic force <laughs> i guess i don't know um and then diplomatic plays what oh my god diplomatic plays wise we have one declared interest and it's in the andes huh did is that a thing the greek andes why do we have a declared interest in the andes <laughs> i'm gonna get rid of that um i think we don't need that i'm gonna declare an interest here instead I think that's a, a probably a better interest for us to have declared. No? <laughs> Just me? <laughs> Maybe the Greek Andes is the play. I don't know. I could be a noob. I could be. Um, disappearing interests in the Andes. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's fine. <laughs> Release subjects. I could release a subject. <laughs> no, you're mine. Uh, we want to ideally also take these core states from them, right? So this one here kind of feels like a no-brainer. Currently in revolt. Population is Greek. Massively. Chemical bleaching's been unlocked. Mood. Um, mm, we're a little short on engines. We can afford a trade route, so let's get some engines from the British market. Uh, buildings wise, what are we doing now? Sulfur mines. My god, they are slow. They are so slow. <gasps> Speed that up a little bit because the economy is actually in the green. Oh, one thing we haven't done is tried to. What the hell? These taxes are terrible. We're making like no money. <laughs> I'm not used to having such a small economy. <laughs> oh, look, and we've actually got taxation already up at a relatively high um, warlike level. So the economy here is pretty weak. Um, we'll probably need to expand to help improve it, though, to be fair. AI being AI. Yeah. Probably. Try so hard to defeat the Turks. I am. I am currently building. Uh, we're expanding our barracks. We're going to get some extra dudes. <sighs> Mm, um, do I just want to get logistics for extra cons conscriptable battalions? Probably. And then we'll go after the barracks are done. Nah, actually, probably just the barracks, to be fair. Maybe a cheeky um, construction sector. Or two first. Always a good idea. Forgot to do that. Yeah. That should be fine. Um, uh, there's also probably... Okay. 60 subsistence farms. Yeah. A little bit of work to do there as well. Potentially. Um... Could upgrade their productions and start to increase the quality of life here. But I don't think that's quite the, the, the play at hand. Somehow. Could also look to improve our troops, although I doubt we have any upgrades that we're not already utilizing. Oh, skirmish infantry. What would this change? We'd need ammunition. Let's do it. I'm going to upgrade all these guys. <laughs> they're going to be the best. <laughs> well, I mean, they're going to be pretty average. Oops. Get those construction sectors built first, otherwise they're entirely useless. What did I expect? I'm playing Greece. It's true. It's true. Can you ally the UK and try and take some places? Yeah, the UK will be, again, probably our big mate. Um, let's have a look. Uh, genial, cordial, reputable. <laughs> okay. Ask them to take on our debt. 
Violate sovereignty. Form an alliance. Have at least 400 influence. Yeah, it is our influence kind of actually that's stuffing us over a bit. Let's stop improving relations with the Turks. That frees up just a little bit of influence for us. <laughs> just the tiniest little fraction. Um, we also probably don't really want to improve relations with them, I guess. Um, they're currently at war with the French. They're just going to be at war permanently, so I think that's fine. Let's um, improve relations with the Brits. Oh, Tunisia. Taking a big old grab out of that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and some stability seems to have been restored here. Unhealthy economy. I know! <laughs> We've got gold in the reserve though, it's fine. Um, let's try and fix a couple of market woes just quickly. Coffee. Coal. Crap. Okay. We don't have any coal potential, and the price is way too high. Let's start importing some British coal. <laughs> we'll buddy up to the Brits. We'll start to get some of their coal in here. Um, what else is going up the gargler? Hardwood. We can probably get some of our own logging camps. Let's get two logging camps. That might fix the hardwood problem. Um, or at least, you know, help it out a little bit. Uh, and again, glass, clothes, yada yada yada. <laughs> um, could get one more glass works. Yep. Okay. That, that's probably pretty good. Um, getting that stuff online might help to bolster our economy a little bit. I don't like the fact that we're already kind of bludging people a bit. Um, but let's drop the military wages because we're expanding them and we can't afford to both expand them and pay them more. So we're going to opt for more people. <laughs> uh, and we'll lower those as well. And this will allow us to keep constructing and just say, hopefully just slightly in the red, burn through our coffers and then have an army strong enough to push. Um, I'm just going to take a, a lightning fast break uh, this time. And um, I'll see you in just a minute. And also, I'll ban that bot. <laughs>
I am back. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Always appreciate it. I believe he's from New Zealand. That he is. Yes. Three hours behind me. Usually ahead of me. Uh, I'm not behind. There's no way I'm in a time zone behind you. <laughs> uh, that would be pretty difficult. Um, Alright. Thank you for bearing with me. I've taken the gloves off. We're getting serious. <laughs> Victoria 3! Uh, a proud Kiwi. A little too proud, some might say, Scott. Alright, let's continue. We do kind of need to get these... Look at all this turmoil. <laughs> the world revolts. <laughs> oh, man. 38%. 35%. These people really want to be part of us. Although, these yeah, these ones really do. They <laughs> hate Ottoman rule. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's fine. Um, so we've got those extra five battalions online. They're hurting us a lot. Greek economy, not in a great place. But man, we're going to build some logging camps. <laughs> hmm. Ottoman Sultanate. Battalions. Oh, you know, just 330. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> currently actively fighting the French. Still. Yeah, they're a bit of a yikes. They're a bit of a yikes. The Balkans are balkaning. <laughs> Balkans balkaning, what can I say? <laughs> Balkans balkaning. Our lack of influence is difficult. We're losing 850 due to a defensive pact with Montenegro, an alliance with Italy, and improving relations with Britain. So we do have an Italian alliance. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Buddy old pal. Shall we fight someone? <laughs> Would you like to take land from the Ottomans? <laughs> or what? Should we, should we do, what is this? Oh, right, this is our other ally. Yeah, I wonder if, um, wonder if that's a bit of a waste of our influence. It probably is. It'll be to do with the big alliance, but uh, it doesn't mega excite me. I don't know. I don't know. We're kind of sinking a lot. Almost 400 likes. That is unreal. Just go for a colony instead. Where? <laughs> Unused construction. Okay, so we oh, crap. Constructing nothing, we're still in the red. This economy is in absolute tatters. Um, lowering wages any further is a silly idea. We can make a, a small amount of cash back by taxing something like luxury furniture. But even then, it's not ideal. <laughs> this is probably, if you've joined me through the whole stream, firstly, thanks. Secondly, this is probably the worst um, starting position that we've picked up. To be fair, of course, we're now 20 years into the game. So it's hard to say exactly what the Greeks would have started as. But I do feel a little bit... Ooh. Uh, we're in the Italian market as well. Okay. I was like, ooh, someone to take? Hmm. No, not as such. I mean... No. What a beautiful map zoomed in as an EU4 player. Like to take the lands from the Ottomans. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, isn't it? Take a minute to appreciate it. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Oh, there's a peace treaty. Tunisia. <laughs> Yike. 
The French got a treaty port, I think. Didn't they? Yeah, they did. <laughs> Go them. You know what? Go them. Seize Anatolia. Seize it! <laughs> Let's see. It's a it's a tight economy. Um, let's have a look and see if we can make some legal change to help free something up. Mm. Nice to have the professional army. Lack of home affairs is a little meh. Hmm. Maybe we look to our economic laws instead. We could unlock colonization. Um, we could change how we tax people. Current level, very high. <laughs> but per capita seems to be the best. Yeah. it's Well, it's producing us the most money, anyway. Put it that way. Um, trade policy we can't really mess with. Schools are really good, but we don't seem to have anybody in power who really particularly likes education, which is fine. You know, each to their own. Um, let's get colonial affairs unlocked, just in case. You never know. <laughs> It could be an option. If we want a hungry, hungry hippo as Greece, we're going to need to hungry hippo a little faster uh, and a little harder. Uh, this law could push us into revolution. I'll stop it if it goes that far. It is going to go that far. Oh, no, it's teetering. Easy. Easy. It's the rural folk. <laughs> it's the damn rural folk. <gasps> Yeah, viewers don't stay in the stream for hours and hours. The average, excuse me, viewer will stay for around 10 minutes. So people will vote and leave. Tax needs to be high. <laughs> it's the only way. <laughs> nah, it's actually pretty unfortunate. This is not ideal. I think we should bounce out of Greece fast. Oh crap, there's been a mining accident. Like we could try and mobilize some stuff. It's not that minor nations aren't playable. Don't get the wrong idea. It's just that we're a little... In this specific situation, we're a little bit ring fenced to do anything in to do anything outstanding in sort of thirty minutes. Um, I am limited a bit in what I can do with the Ottomans. <laughs> Their attitude map, neat. Hmm. <laughs> tax the poor <laughs> we are taxing the poor so hard right now it's insane you should not have very high taxes that is terrible <laughs> expensive government goods wood yeah it is actually kind of expensive let's get another logging camp there you go <laughs> get a couple of logging camps up in here Revolution, yeah, still a little bit. The king is intervening in the political process. This is good. Let's push through that colonization using the king's decree. I'm watching that revolution bar up there and just playing it a little, uh, much more aggressively than I would normally, perhaps. 38% chance to push that through. Trouble is, we, of course, don't have anybody we could latch onto immediately. Hmm. Hmm. That could be a play, too. Tax grain and liquor. <laughs> Look at my taxes. <laughs> Dude, I'm taxing liquor, wine, luxury clothes, and luxury furniture. You ready for this? The worst tax ever? Grain. Oh, God. Services. I really don't like to use these ones. They're so nasty. But l these taxes are just producing sweet nothing. So, all right, let's do a services tax. <laughs> Terrible, but it'll do. Colonial exploitation unlocked. Police brutality. Thank you. 
Uh, states in turmoil, expensive goods, low market access. That's not a problem. Uh, the Brits aren't really giving us good coal anymore. That's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> but outside of that, we're doing fine. We're taxing the wazoo out of these people. <laughs> yeah, can I get a goods and services tax in here, please? Please? I know everybody loves those. <laughs> Ooh, Northern Serbia. Interesting. The one from my thumbnail, which we will not play or even probably look at. Yeah, I'm kind of ringtied for diplomatic actions here and I'd like to explore some more of those. So, a relatively quick look at Greece and now we're going to bounce over to, it looks like a big boy. You have voted 42% of you for us to become China, the great, how do I, how do I properly pronounce Q-I-N-G? King? Is that correct? I hope so. My king. Uh, USA 29%, Persia 29%, you both failed, America failed yet again. See ya. Um, let me know who you'd like me to add next. Let's do Victoria 3's wonderful switch country, find someone new and explore this path. Also, by the way, we're coming back over to the neck of the woods in the world where we started at the beginning of the stream, before we had 300 and something likes. Thanks again. Uh, let's explore. Ching. Ching, ching. Okay. Great Ching. It's a CH. Like China. We should spell China Q-I-N-A. We should definitely spell China with a Q. Q's are way cool. All right. Thank you. Let's have a look at the greatest Ching. Man, this is the best Ching I've ever seen. Um... <laughs> Ah! Uh, so a couple of things that are interesting to note at first. This is the difference between playing a minor power and a major power. Important to note, of course, the Greeks, not the most minor. Um, we could do more minor than that. <laughs> oh, look, the Australians have seized the North Island. Of course they have. It's like some dystopian world. Oh, Scotty. Um, <laughs> anyway, back to China. Let's have a look. We should see something quite different here as well. Greek, Greece was very similar to Spain in most everything. China, a little different. We have an autocracy. First time we've played uh, aut autocratic power structure. Uh, plus 50% power for the aristocrats. Extra legitimacy from including the head of state in our government. So, okay, good to note. And a whole load of extra authority, which is just keeping us in line. We're still a monarchy, though. Could look to maybe ditch that have a council republic instead that'd be pretty cool um can't really change a lot except for police it's luckily for us it's a really good one to change um scholar officials states in turmoil let's get a dedicated police force here in the great ching yes okay and we're currently so what's the ai been doing it's boosting relations with cambodia and cockend Unfortunate. Um, hello, the people of Cockend. I bring great news. I will take you. And you are mine. Let's have a look. Are they Chinese? Who are you? Who are you? Kurgs in Uzbek. Oh, interesting. Okay. Tibet is already ours. Then we have... What direction do we want to take this? Got a lot of ways we could play. We have you, the unrecognized regional power. If we build off existing, maybe historically accurate, although 25 years into the game, uh, who's to say? Uh, <laughs> diplomatic lens. Huh. Interesting. Uh, the information is in the description about how I'm playing and when it's releasing. This is a press preview build. Um, which I'm allowed to stream one day earlier. Switzerland would be interesting. I've heard good things about them, actually, Cams. I've heard good things. Um, hmm. Budget-wise. Oh, look at how much healthier this economy is. Oh, boy. Debt opium tax, though. <laughs> <laughs> porcelain 
T. We've got a T tax. Take that, Brits. Uh, and a liquor tax. And holy cow, are we making big bucks off that? Sheesh. <laughs> um, I wonder if any of these are inefficient. Hundred. Actually, the opium one's pretty inefficient. I'm going to get rid of that. The people can have their opium. Let's tax luxury furniture instead. This one's only going to cost 100 authority. We have 120. Uh, it's going to make us 6k. That is much better than taxing opium. Let the people have their opium. <laughs> Let us have it, actually. And we know that a lot of it is buried down and around in here. So maybe Burma becomes my target out to the seaboard. <laughs> immediately declares war. No. No, 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 no. What do you have? A defensive pact with the Dutch East Indies. Interesting. Okay, in terms of our declared interests, a reminder, if you're just tuning in, these will be the um, areas where we can uh, have our skin in the game. Currently have... Oops. I always do that. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> okay. Back. <laughs> uh, declare interests. So we definitely need to keep that one. We have declared interests all the way through sort of northern British India there. And Japan as well. Okay. That's actually exactly where I want them to be. So that's fine. What the hell's going on here? What? Oh, right. Okay. Uh. I mean. Go and fight! <laughs> We're just gonna see 96 battalions down here. Uh. Because apparently, there is currently a revolution going on. At country dot get definition dot get name. Again. Press preview build. Uh, ignore. Let the people have, let the people have their opioids. Whew. Bureaucratic shortfall feels unlikely. The following war goals were enforced. Okay. You know I, I don't really mind. Uh, so this system, which we haven't talked about too much, is in a way kind of like not a tutorial, but. A way that Victoria 3 can sort of guide you through where there's a lack of victory conditions. Um, it's journal entries. They are somewhat historically accurate, but not all of them, of course, because this is a historical sandbox game. But what they do is provide a nice little storyline based on the country you're playing and how you're playing it. This one has various local military powers within Great Ching may tear the country apart if given the opportunity. Okay. So... Losing the Opium Wars, failing to stop the appearance of the Heavenly Kingdom, failing to retake the Heavenly Kingdom, failing the Boxer Rebellion. So you can see there's a whole load of um, somewhat scripted events here. Each of the following will detract 20%, winning the Opium Wars, ceasing to be an unrecognized power, and finishing the stamp out monarchism. Yeah, we should try and do that. Um, with a country like um, the Great Qing, it looks like we have a lot. And so we could choose different ones of these to follow or pursue. We're actually making really good progress on religion, autocracy, nationality. Hmm. We go for an urbanized play, philosophy, atmospheric engine. Triggers official nationality. All we need to do is enact theocracy and have it there for 30 years. Would that be difficult for us to do, I wonder? Yes. <laughs> Incredibly. <laughs> Literally nobody wants it. <laughs> I love it. It will radicalize everyone. Yep, okay. Well, interesting to see nonetheless. Trade routes need convoys. Military goods are expensive. Tax capacity is the most disgusting thing you've ever seen in your life. Uh, and, and also paper's a bit expensive. <laughs> okay. 
Um, let's just quickly fix that by getting some Egyptian books in here. We need convoys, which means we're going to need probably maybe some ports. Um, let's get some up here in Shandong. Neat. Got plenty of cash, so we should just be building, 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 growing this economy. Uh, and taxing the people like there's no tomorrow. Monarch or theocracy? I wonder if... Um, oh, then uh, is it just the hold it for 30 years that I'm missing? Did I misread that? Oh, yeah, good call. Yeah, 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 you're right. So it must just be the 30-year timer then that is the only thing that's actually holding this off. Oh, great. Um, it's weird that there's not a active timer unless this is it. Yeah, it is. It's moving. It's moving in real time. Okay, great. That's just going to happen. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, popular playwright. This is this playwright event again. I don't think we need the extra support to pass this law, but you know what? Sharing it through. 60, nearly two thirds of a chance. Um, and there's a little bit of radicalism from the rural folk. <laughs> oh, please. A revolution is praying. <laughs> a revolution in China? I, I never, <laughs> not going to happen. Not going to happen. How's Japan doing? We played them at the very start. The Shogun are now the only, only ones governing. Okay. Okay. They haven't really expanded too much, although their colonial ter territorizing went well. We set them up well there. The Russians and the Prussians are going at it over in Europe. Uh, bit of a yike. They're protector uh, protective of us, though, which is nice. Game is easier or harder to learn to hoi for. Um, hmm. I reckon it's probably easier. Yeah. I reckon it is probably slightly easier. Oh god, this bureaucratic shortfall is going to do my head in. We need to up our taxation. If we have a look at... Um, hmm, what would be the best way to do it? Maybe the trade lens. What are you revolting about? Oh, you are revolting. Hold that thought. If we go politics and then interest groups. It's these rural folk. Huh, they are fairly strong. We'd need some extra authority to be able to really crush them directly. Um, our economy is looking really good, though. We could maybe leverage a bit of extra authority. Oh my god, 375 million pops in incorporated states. That bureaucratic deficit is nothing short of a disaster. Let me build some buildings to fix it, first and foremost, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of things I want to do in this economy, but the good thing is, it's actually in... Oh my god. We can build 800. We can get it to level 881. Opium. What? <laughs> I want to expand it so bad. <laughs> Maybe we should just get some people some food. Yeah, there you go. Have a couple of extra jobs. If we build or maybe focus, um, we can use tools to railroads. If we build and focus jobs in certain areas, we can also get populations to move into them or out of them. Uh, hmm. Do we want our intelligentsia to be stronger? We don't really want a lot of extra radicalism at the moment, so I think we'll just leave them be. Fragile unity. Yeah, it is a bit of a powder keg. Fair. Maybe consider decentralizing China a bit more? Hmm. Hmm. Also potentially an option. We don't have to just build our way out of it. 
But we could. Because we sometimes have the money. I sure the port's going to cost us a few bob, though. Government wages. Cost of government buildings. Ugh. I'm just going to slash that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's slash those government wages down. The AI had them on high, which was boosting the intelligentsia. I don't think we need to do that. I'm going to lower the military wages as well. <laughs> we're going to slash wages across the board. Neat. Now we're producing and making money. That's a better place to be. Um, maybe to be safe, I will just queue up to help our government admin a little bit. They're already using filing cabinets. Damn it. Guys, guys, I've got this great invention. You can put books in it. Oh, you've already got them. Earnings per week ain't terrible. <laughs> okay. Twelve, level four. I didn't mean to build that. That first one was terrible. Um, let's put them where there's a lot. Beijing, three point eight. Currently level one. Might up that one a little bit as well. We'll just get a few of those online so that they can be built in the background after our ports are done. That's fixing our convoy problem. Paper, a little bit of a problem. Um. Can't really even afford to do much about that. And we also have uh, a lot of influence just kind of mucking about. Ooh, should we conquer Burma? What do you reckon? Would unlock a bit of extra opium and maybe stop this East India Trading Company from splurging out too far. We'll have Tibet as an ally. We'll have a million people as our enemy. Potentially, but not necessarily. Um, East India Company. <laughs> Overlord, Great Britain. Yeah, uh, that is a bit of a yike on that border. It's got to be said. Just tuned in. Welcome, 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 welcome. My audio is coming through okay? Yeah, I hope the audio is coming through okay. Audio went all weird about 40 minutes ago. Um, hopefully it's all right. Hmm. Oh, look at those pop numbers. That is crazy. 1859. Insane. I've removed the ban on opium. I think that's a good thing that we should definitely remove. <laughs> Give the people what they want. Uh, due a promotion, the armed forces demand the promotion of Major General Yunfei. Uh... Yeah, you've earned it, mate. You've earned it. Uh, and then we've got... <laughs> Oh, the Intelligentsia, who are really making inroads. Uh, we could choose to snuff that out. Yeah, let's give them, let's get that approval out of them, I reckon. A nice little bit of approval for us as we teeter on the edge of revolution with those rural folk still a little bit pissy. It's got to be said. Uh, but you know what? I think that's fine. We've got a, a pretty large standing army, although arguably maybe not the strongest. Um, let's have a quick check in on the market details screen. Yeah, actually we're doing pretty good. Paper. Opium. Mmm. Mmm. Now that I've removed the ban. Huh? Huh? <laughs> let's get producing a bit more of that stuff, I reckon. Just a few. Okay? Just a few. 
We'll start with just a couple and we'll see how we go. Hey, we just crossed over 400 likes. Thank you for the like birthday presents and all the kind wishes. Thanks, VOD. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, there's a peace treaty that has literally nothing to do with us. Let's get that opium online. It can only but be a good thing for us. Inactive trade routes. Okay. A couple of bad ones. Clear those out. Paper is still overpriced. Um, I don't want to get it from the Brits, ideally. <sighs> we'll make it ourselves. Let's make it ourselves. We have the power! <laughs> get two paper mills online in a couple of different territories there. Neat. And now let's have a look at who's our friend and who's our enemy. Interesting. Dai Nam, Vietnam. Could be a goer. And of course, the Japanese. There's a diplomatic plan in the Himalayas between the Sikh Empire and the revolutionary Punjab. Hmm. Do I care about this? Because we could sway this. Like, we have quite the power. I probably don't. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck ourselves in on the side just for no reason. I think we'll stay clear. Yeah, we'll leave that. You, on the other hand. I like you, I think. <laughs> um, I'll declare neutrality. I don't want that. So if we declare neutrality, we can just kind of say, hey, you know what? Not part of us. We don't want to be part of that diplomatic play. And that will free us up to do more of our own thing. What have you got going on? Form an alliance? No. <laughs> it's just a hard no across the board, I think. <laughs> hmm. Portuguese have a little port there that I don't love. Armed forces, patriotic fervor deactivated. That's good. Revolution still at 50%. Hold. Hold. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I missed that one. Thanks for catching that, Huck. Yeah, we don't need that. Um, okay. It's interesting to me that um, we could <laughs> force the Burmese market open. <laughs> like, there are some really neat plays here. To bet as well, we could free up some of our bureaucracy by granting it independence. It could be kind of just a fun thing to do. I haven't really played around with that much. Maintenance cost 12.5. Relations amicable ongoing efforts. Vassal plus 1%. To be as part of our customs union. Maintains vassal subject. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Should we free Tibet? I've done it. I've done it. For no real reason other than I just kind of wanted to play around with it and see what would happen. <laughs> Cause a, a little bit, just throw a little spanner in the works. Just grant everybody independence. You could have independence. You could have independence. Hmm, no, and then I think what I'll do is make you into a tributary. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> they would not accept. You will be my tributary. <laughs> Oh, there are some really fascinating diplomatic plays here. My god, we've got so much money. These places really suck at the government admin, don't they? Goodness gracious. We could add some extra industry, universities, start to level up the people, provide some additional jobs for them as well. Subjugation refused. Dainam has refused our subjugation. You will do what? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Switching countries is glitch with the flags. Mm. Yep. Big old glitcheroo. <laughs> it's okay though. Press preview. It's fine. Hmm. Legally, are we a little bit hand-tied still? We have dedicated police force that we can pass, but yeah, outside of that we kind of are. Let's reform the government. So we have the scholar officials who have 51%. We could also get the Confucian scholars in. What I'd like to try and do is get laws with government or movement support. Really? We could outlaw dissent. That would be a good idea. <laughs> I'll wait. Uh, okay, no, that's fine. I'm gonna try and... I don't think we can kick out them. I think that will just cause everything to turn to absolute carnage. Yeah, it will. The, the scholar officials are too powerful. They basically own this place. Um, and even sneaking in other interests is hard. If we put the armed forces in, we can militarize a little bit with their support. Maybe. The rural folk are a little bit angry at us at the minute. Adding these scholars seems to add literally nothing to change. So there's maybe no need to put them in, but we could. Um, I think we need to get the armed forces in here just to have some extra things to pass. Let's do it. Welcome. A new government has been formed. This will let us stretch our stretch ourselves a little bit. Move towards democracy or constitutional monarchy. Is it like the basic combat system? Even though there aren't any units on the ground. Yeah, yeah, the units on the ground I think would be a nice touch, or at least just some more visualization. But but yeah, I, I tend to agree. Uh, peasant levies is awful. We could move towards a professional army. All of these things are a little bit difficult to push through. Because of the insane power of the nerds who are in charge. Um, try and get some colonial affairs. If it's possible. Colonial resettlement. I mean, it's a fairly weak one for us, to be fair. But it's something. <laughs> Free to bet, you bet. What's this? Diplomatic play in Indonesia. It's another revolt. Revolting. Should we go to war with Japan? Should we go... <laughs> These guys independence and then take them. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's see if our starting Japan can come up against China. I'm playing the world against itself. Can we get to 500 likes this stream? Isn't that insane, Scott? Who would have thought? Nuts. Um, yeah, okay. Let's start stirring up some tensions here. Concerned about all of that interference, though. We might need a friend. How, how are we with the Russians? Protective. We could have a defensive pact with them. Not quite an alliance. Let's do it. 
China and Russia are signing a defensive pact. I like it. Nationalism has been unlocked. A little bit of extra authority for us. You know what that means. More taxes. <laughs> but actually also we can have a play around with the politics of China now a bit more too. So if we want to try and bolster a different interest group. Or maybe reduce the power of the scholar officials. Which kind of do want to do. Um, we can maybe slide that through. Who do we want to lift up or push down? I really think we need to be suppressing that. Let's stop suppressing that. Let's maybe bolster the... Go the religious route. Or just pump it into the armed forces. Which is always somewhat of a safe move, I feel. Uh, let's, push the, let's push the religion. They're the next closest interest group. We'll try and lift them up on par with the scholars. Scott F, thank you so much. Scott with a five dollar donation says happy birthday. Here's something to add to the Victoria 3 DLC fund. <laughs> yeah. Mood. <laughs> thank you. Oh, and thanks for the happy birthday uh, over on Twitch as well. Cheers. <laughs> um Okay. The colonial resettlement doesn't really matter, to be fair. Like we could we could stop this if it's causing problems, which it isn't but is uh it's a little bit of a on the fencer yeah yeah let's can that i think get something a little more powerful <laughs> nothing on the human rights side peasant levies can go although difficult to get the professional army in it would be really nice if we could but the scholars don't like it those nerds National Guard. Give it a go. Give it a go. See, here you go. Bureaucratic shortfall still. Yeah, we're aware. We're aware. Um, we could get an institution to try and help mop that up, as well as some technologies too. We have different options. Bring the industrialists in. Throw the trade unionists into government. Yeah? Get some industrial power up in here, you reckon? <laughs> we're just <laughs> we're just throwing people around uh good luck it's not really much of an opposition is it god i'd love to just throw those scholars out they're so annoying why are they so annoying for me because they're blocking a lot of the change that i want to push through it's difficult not impossible but difficult i'd also really like to push through here let's see if we can conquer burma it's going to create some difficulties. But we are really actually at a point here, I think, with China, where I don't know about you, chat, but at least for me, I kind of feel like I've got a reasonable feel for their position in the game. Let's now see what would happen if we were to try uh, and change that position. First, though, there's a diplomatic plan in Indonesia. I'm going to declare neutrality and get out of that. And then we're going to try and conquer... Burma. Neat. Okay. So we're trying to conquer... The, conquer. We're trying to take the Shan states. We'd also probably like Pigu. So that we can get out to the sea. Let's grab Pigu as well. <laughs> just stretch out here and cut off this expansion and then leave Burma to have a couple of isolated states up there. Yeah, that's kind of fun. And now we just have to hope that other people don't join the war. And if they do, then we'll see how China goes because we're probably going to change states soon. Speaking of which, my goodness, we need a poll. Octo! Video party, pre-release party, stream, press like everyone. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Have a good sleep. Likewise to any other Europeans who might be Nodding off to the land of Morpheus. Um, let's start a poll for who we're going to join next. Because maybe after this conflict or future expansion, depending on how it goes, we'll shift along. Uh, from memory, I think there was call to take a look at... <laughs> Roll the dice! Who's it gonna be? <laughs> um, let's put... What the? The Marina Kingdom? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, a call for Persia. 
Persia it shall be. Another call for the USA. Thank you for your donation, Major King Kong. We'll put the USA in. Much appreciated. That one goes out to you. And then I'm looking for a third pick. Anybody in chat got anything you'd like to see? Persia into theocracy. Okay, good to note. Australia. Oh my god, look, it has actually... Wow, Australia's doing work. Yeah, that would that would be pretty interesting as well, actually. We are, in case you don't know, around 25 years into the game now. Uh, it started in 1836. And um, so some of the countries, of course, because the AI is playing them all, have changed quite a bit since we started. Russia, another call. Four. Yeah, that would be that would be a pretty interesting one too. Calls for India as well. Very fragmented. You're going to have to choose a part. <laughs> Scotland. Scotland's part of the UK, of course. But we could play as Great Britain. Scotland forever. New Zealand. Sokoto. <laughs> You know you want to. All right, for this one, we'll go Australia, seeing as they've changed quite a bit. So we've got Persia, USA, and Australia. Next time, I'd like to put in one from Africa, South America, and another. I see suggestions for somewhere around Ethiopia. Oh, Switzerland and or a Baltic state as well. We've got a lot to look at. There's a poll. Place your votes. Next time, we'll go with three that we haven't chosen before. I think. Seems like probably a good idea. Okay. Back to this diplomatic play. Seeing as we've got so much cash in the bag, let's, um, let's flex our great Ching muscles just a little bit. And let's recruit an additional admiral in the south. China Sea, I think. And let's recruit maybe an additional general. Could upgrade this guy's army to skirmish infantry as well. That's oh crap, I'm, I'm playing. I'm actually actively playing this while I'm trying to mobilize my troops. <laughs> I love it. If nobody joins on their side. It won't matter, actually. We are currently in the second phase. The East India Company has been swayed to their side. 97. I'm not afraid of that. I think it's only actually the, the Great Britain itself that scares me slightly here. Um, let's activate our... Oh my god. We have so many conscripts! Oh my god! Whew. Okay. Four, five, <laughs> what? Let's just do it. I've never clicked so many times. <laughs> okay, that should be enough conscripts. 776. Yeah, I think that's fine. This is a <laughs> stupid idea. I'm mobilizing the generals. All right, men. You, you, uh, uh, the bald brigade is in town. Power to you. All righty. It's going to cost us 64,000 bucks a week to mobilize all of these guys, though. So maybe, um, maybe I'll just wait a bit longer. You'll notice we still have quite a bit of time here. We could sway Cambodia. Offer them independence. <laughs> if you fight for us... We will free you. No. It's a hard no. Little bit of militarization building up on these two fronts. You can see I have overwhelming power though. No need to fear. Uh, another allies join the cause. It's of course uh, Da Nam, Vietnam. That's that second front line appearing. So now we're going to get to juggle multiple front lines. That'll be fun. Uh... Do something that will bring down this government. <laughs> yeah, we haven't really taken a burn the world as you go approach. Uh, although I would like to free some people and that kind of thing before I leave. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. It does allow me to play a little more aggressively than you might, perhaps. That is also true. Speed running to request troops. <laughs> yeah, like, I need everybody. Okay. Um, so these guys have got 113 units mobilized. So it's absolutely time to start mobilizing now. Probably a little bit earlier in this countdown, actually. But let's give it a dang good go. 
So we'll pop into our military screen and we will... Okay, so we've got a hundred, a hundred of these conscripts are ready. Um, we could act, get a few more activating. Chuck in another hundred. That balances out their new partner. And let's mobilize all these bad boys. Oh my god, it's going to cost us so much money. War is expensive. War is expensive! <laughs> oh, and thank you, Sap! 10p for my V-Day! Happy birthday! Thank you, Sap! Uh, Sap says you're a cosmetic star of the strategy world. <laughs> oh, that is uh, very humbling. Um... And I always love your first looks and insight. Sleep time now for the mighty as it was. Great Britain. Grab a cup of tea on us. <laughs> Go you. Thank you. And thanks to 50th Cal as well for the $4.99. Burn it down. Burn it down. All right, let's do it. This is for you. Whew. Okay. So. 71 on that front line and 102 there. Let's get... Let's get some generals deployed. Um... Stalwart Defender. Interesting. What we could do is hold one front line, push the other. These are our war goals. So maybe we want to hold this one for a little bit. This guy is a defender. So let's get him defending that front. And so that there are a few extra numbers there. Maybe we also chuck him uh, someone else who's maybe a little bit defensive. This cautious dude. He can go down there and defend that. That'll give us 150 battalions defending that front line. And then we'll probably go hard with like, I guess just everyone else. What does that give us? 160, 240, about 350. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so it's going to be 392 there and then 152 here. That seems pretty good to me. Huh? No? Just me? <laughs> I think that'll do. Bureaucratic shortfall, we're not going to fix that. The economy, oh my god, the economy. Let's put it into more of an emergency wartime economy. Um, so to do that, we'll pause all construction. That should take what? a lot but then we mobilized all of our units and so it sent us surging into poverty let's increase taxation levels up let's reduce government wages down holy cow we actually all we need to do is increase taxation and we're back in the green i can even continue const <laughs> my construction <laughs> neat we're constructing things in wartime and we're still in the green i love to see it uh this conflict now is reaching the final stage of escalation and war with Burma has broken out. Uh, there's a 69.com. Only Putin didn't find girls with us. <laughs> oh, there was a bot in chat, by the way. Only Putin didn't find girls with us. 69mega.com. Fire emoji. Wow. Sorry. Um, I don't usually get that distracted by the bots, but... What a selling point. <laughs> what a freaking selling point that is. <laughs> okay, so we've got our two war goals to conquer the two states. They want to humiliate me and make me pay war reparations. We've got nearly 600 battalions. Oh boy. The Great Ching looks like a bit of fun. All right, let's unpause this. We're on four speed. That's probably good enough. Um, the other thing that we might want to do is our navy, although I feel like they're maybe not the best. Um, and also, there's not really a lot for them to do. We'll leave them be. Let's have a look at these front lines. Probably the most pressing of issues. Nice. 3v2, casualties around the same. Offense score weaker, but we're managing to push that fight. Down here, our 175 are on their way, but you can see they're not all quite there to defend. I reckon we sw swap them onto offense, actually. And maybe we just push that as well. Because this push is going really well. Hmm. Yeah. 
what we can also do, and you might have seen the developers do this in their live stream if you watch them, is just kind of do a war of attrition down here where we'll just starve them off. Like, look at that. They just lost 14 battalions from just, like, punching in at me. <laughs> Great. Um, okay, we've got overwhelming firepower now. Let's switch these defenders to advance this front. And we should see them successfully push that. These guys, as you recall, are all just advancing the front. <laughs> uh, and our budget's looking a little bit sad. So I'll cut government wages to save the coffers from going completely bankrupt. Although as our conscripts leave and come over here to fight, it's going to cost us more and more. <laughs> but we do have a strong enough economy to probably at least push through this one. Hmm. It's kind of only like two versus four battalions down there. I think we'll be all right. We just need time to get all of our dudes, right? Because we're a big ass place. Like we are huge. <laughs> so I think it just takes us a little while to mobilize and get over here. <gasps> How are you liking the game so far with the buy and release? Um, I think for a lot of players, Victoria 3 will absolutely be worth a buy on release. Yeah. Uh, I would buy it straight away on release if I haven't hadn't bought it already. Uh, and I think if you like grand strategy games or history simulators or uh, anything like that, you're going to really like Victoria 3. I have a review coming out as soon as it goes live because that's as soon as I can publish it, um, which will be in like sort of 16 hours. But generally speaking, yes, big recommend. The only, the only sort of people that I wouldn't recommend it to are people who are a little less interested in the genre. Maybe they're, they haven't played Vic before. They don't really so much uh, mind if they play something like Vic 3 or Solaris or Hazard. You know, like maybe you're a bit more diversified as a player. To those players, I would say maybe just wait at first. Watch some gameplay. Watch some live streams. If money's not a problem, it doesn't matter to you. But if it is, you might want to just wait a little bit at first and just sort of see how it releases and plays out. Uh, but I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty good launch. This build has been really good. I've had a lot of fun with the game. So far. And it's so early days. The replayability of it is is probably pretty outstanding. Like if you're watching it and you find you find that you're interested, I reckon you could stay interested for a really long time. The other question that I talk about a little bit in my review is, of course, you know, this is a grand strategy game, and like any other from Paradox or any other place, it will almost certainly receive a lot of updates and DLC and all that kind of stuff, I would I would guess. So um, there's also that to think about. That was a really long-winded answer. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Persia, currently winning our poll. There's been lots of calls for Persia throughout the stream, actually. <laughs> so yeah that would be cool to see i i reckon that'd actually be a really fun nation to start with too oh my god look at our economy what the huck is going on man no matter how many dudes you throw at a front line you may still lose it we're winning but losing let's throw more bodies at it Oh. <laughs> it's our offense that is proving the bad thing here. Hmm. All right, new plan. So if we have a look at this front, let's swap these people from attacking to defending. And then let's pull these guys over to advance this front. So what I'm going to do is, okay, this one's working all right, but it's, a, you know, it's a little bit tricky. Um, oh yeah, let's improve their standard of living. 
Oh, decreases. Yike. Um, <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll hold this line for the minute. It's a difficult push. And then we'll focus attention over here where it is where I'm proving to be, obviously we outnumber them, but also proving to have greater offense. The defense is a bit weaker here. So I think we can smash through. Over here. Yeah, a bit more tricky. You can see a flag I don't like the look of forming. <laughs> um, we, oh God, look at this. Look at this. Money just pouring out of the economy to try and support this war. I think we'll have to pause our construction. That will free us up a fraction. We're just grinding money at this front line. So interesting. War support wise though, we're actually winning. So, huh. Again, we could try and stall them for a bit longer here. Ah, nah, let's keep pushing that. We have the advantage. And allegedly we have the advantage here. Let's have a look at the losses. Maybe they're just flailing all over the place. Oh my god, no, they're actually not. This is a very close and a very small fight as well. We're getting defeats, but they're pretty insignificant in terms of losses. Like, we're talking a couple of hundred people. We won a battle for a change, taking out 26. And then losing 25. <laughs> no chance for National Guard. Oh, it completely died. You're right. Thanks for pointing that out. I hadn't looked over there. Um, pretty unfortunate. Let's push a local police force instead. We should be able to achieve that. Um, focusing in on the economy, it's just all of these territories. Look at that, Beijing. We, we need government admin here, sir, so bad. I can't build it right now. I'm busy fighting a war that's useless. Local police force, much more likely than the National Guard. Let's do it. Uh, the flags are bugged out because I'm changing countries during the game. And there's currently a bug where the flags don't change uh, correctly. Ooh, there's a bot. I can grab that one very quickly. Oh, hello. I've seen you before. Oh, look, and these guys are going to war. Let's have a quick check in with the rest of the world while, while our units um, throw themselves at a hopeless front line. <laughs> the North German Federation has been formed out of Prussia. Uh, not taking maybe quite as many states as they might have liked, but taking a few. We have a defensive pact proposal from Kokkend. Um, no. <laughs> We're down 140,000. <laughs> Goods for military buildings, 240k. Woof. I love it. Let's get some of this stuff imported. We really need ammunition. I'm going to try and import as much as we can. Because <laughs> look at that price is insane. Take a look at this. The cost of war in Victoria 3. If you're curious, this is the cost of war. Market price over 75%. So many buy orders. So few sell. Large numbers of Tata people have begun migrating to New South Wales. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, these are bad. <laughs> these are so bad. Also, tools. Um, really basic one. Let's import some of them from Russia. I'm just going to have to go for the import route because I can't afford to construct anything at the minute. So we'll have to go for sort of a, a emergency help us out. We also need fertilizer really bad. Let's get some Russian, some Tibetan fertilizer up in here. Nice. Try and plug a few of those gaps. There are some diplomatic plays that we could consider joining Indochina. We're a little busy at the minute, okay? Just a fraction. 
<laughs> yeah, we're switching countries. Chat is deciding who to play. We're taking a quick sort of early access look across uh, a few different ones throughout the stream. But staying in the same game, so the ones that we've played will continue to play on as AI nations, like the Japanese shogunate, who we sort of stretched up and colonized the rest of Hokkaido uh, and these islands. Are they the Krill Islands? I'm not sure. Hey, the following war goals were enforced. All right, so uh, these guys capitulated. We didn't have any war goals to take any of their territory, though. But Vietnam did decide to join in and fight against us because we've had, you know, a little bit of animosity between ourselves in the past. Let's declare a rivalry, rivalry with them. <laughs> and we'll expel their diplomats. Yeah. We hate you. We hate you. Uh, there's a revolution being plotted. That's fine. So what's happened now is the AI has taken all of my units and shuffled them over to the only remaining front line. A good move, obviously. Let's raid these Burmese convoys. Why not? It worked a little bit for us last time to cut their supply. It is one of the only ways they can get through, except, of course, through their ally, the East India Company. <laughs> Yike. We're 52 likes away from 500, and we have 170 people watching at the minute. Can we make the push? 500 likes in a little over three hours would be insane. We've not seen that, that in like a year. The Kuril Islands are the little ones north. Ah, wrong one. The big one is Sakhalin. Thank you, Christopher. Appreciate it. Uh, hey, and we have local police. <laughs> this feels really necessary oh crap there's a revolution interest groups are trying to overthrow the government rural folk the literati <laughs> like the illuminati literally uh and the pbs okay maybe we could just put one of them in just to shut that up you know what i mean like what if we just chuck you in chuck you out Will that make you happy? Could promote this guy as well. Really let him know. Maybe we just retire him. <laughs> Would have been nice a little earlier on, but we missed that. Um, uh, yeah, let's get the armed forces out. They're not doing anything for us anyway. Yeah, okay. Let's chuck him in. And then we'll um, suppress the rural folk. <laughs> oh, or do we want them? Agriculture is their buff. Infrastructure? Nah, we'll suppress them. Alright, so we'll suppress the rural folk and then we'll put the... Literati in when we can oh we can't because they're angry right okay well stuff you then <laughs> you're done we're just gonna kick the armed forces out of government yeah cool all right <laughs> that is bad that is bad but we are suppressing them a little bit hopefully we can hold them there we're not trying to pass any critical laws at the minute we need to get this conflict tidied up they're down at zero percent war support we have a thousand dudes on the border. <laughs> it's the terrain is just going to absolutely kill us as well, isn't it? Um, obviously, we we sort of didn't, you know, quite go in with the construction sector and some railways first. One point two million losses to their eighty three thousand. <laughs> Dreadful. Let's go on the defensive resupply for a bit. Having all these troops mobilized, by the way, is what's costing us so much money. So maybe we go for one last hoorah. 
<laughs> the Big Bang. Send as many of these bodies as we can to the stupid front line. <laughs> All right. Go. And then we'll recruit a general in South China. A new one, right? Some fresh blood. We'll get this poor guy mobilized as well. <laughs> okay. Go! <laughs> this is it. This is our push. Our pathetic push through the mountains. The Burmese mountains and out to the East India Trading Company coastline. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. Oh my god. Supplies killing us. Okay, new plan. <laughs> oh, oh, this is very interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh, Hot Girls is here. Oh dear. <laughs> so many bots! YouTube. Who's next? <laughs> I lit China on fire and then I ran away. Persia, congratulations! Persia won the poll. 47% of people voted for Persia. 31% for the US. And a measly 22% for that poor, poor Australia. They are out of luck. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to jump over and have a look now at Persia. Again, a reminder, the flag is broken. Apologies. Um, a little confusing, I know, if you're just tuning in. Sounds like time to tag switch before... Kenya. <laughs> you read my mind, Tyler. You read my mind. Um, Persia won the poll. We've spent more than our 30 minutes on China as well, I think. So... See ya. Um, I also want to see how this plays out. Because, of course, we can go back to any of these at any time. Um, I'm interested to see what happens. I kind of want Revolutionary China to win now that I'm not there and take over. <laughs> and then we can maybe, we could revisit them later if we want to. Um, anyway, who would you like to see me play next? I did say I would put, um, from memory, a country from South America in. We also haven't looked... Oh, I guess we have sort of played around in the mid a bit. Um, Cape Colony. Sokoto. Also some calls for countries up this way as well. Um, we've had a few calls for someone up here. Can countries be renamed? I don't think so. I mean, uh, not by me. But they can change their names, of course, you know, if they're... um political allegiance changes or if they gain their independence or what have you like revolutionary china could take over but but no i don't think so uh, no specific way for me to name one after you or, or whatever for example uh poll yeah let's do a poll okay peru bolivia i think is our first kind of a uh, an interesting enough power down here. Then we'll go... Canada, maybe. Have a look at what it's like to be a part of the British Empire. That could be pretty interesting. Canada, of course, doesn't start the game as a formed state, but has now formed itself quite well. Uh, and then for our third one, we're playing as Persia at the moment, so I might give that a little bit of a berth. The Baltic is kind of limited in choices. It is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
look! The Irish Uprising! Go you. Go you. <laughs> oh, the poor Brits. Um, oh, here's our Portugal that we conquered for Spain earlier, by the way. If you're just tuning in, we also have played as Spain. We did quite well with them. L. Um, <laughs> release Poland from Russia and create Poland, Lithuania, Commonwealth. Okay. Let's do a... Um, Russia, Poland is our third. Who next? You decide. There's a new poll live on the YouTubes. Oh, man. <laughs> Poor revolutionary China. We have a request to join a customs union. Bahrain wishes to join our customs union. And I can neither accept nor decline. Sorry, Bahrain. All right, let's have a look at Persia. See what we've got on offer. We're starting off with a reasonably strong economy. We're stockpiling gold, um, which is unnecessary. So we could look to do something else with that. Expensive Ottoman goods, paper, insufficient taxation capacity, but it's barely, barely. So... We'll just increase that government admin there in 62 weeks. That's a hard no. Um, building is slow. Probably because our construction sector is pretty weak. Um, in terms of our market, coffee, coal, wine, and hard wood. <sighs> Name a bit of Sunday afternoon. Um, we can actually produce our own coal, which is pretty neat. Let's get two additional coal mines online down here. I like that a lot, actually. Um, what's our sort of overall politics like? Ooh, neat. Okay. So, looks like we have the fairly standard layout of interest groups. The ones we would expect, except for the Shia. They are uniquely named, of course, um, looks to be the religious group that was, what were they called last time as China? Uh, scholars. They were uh, maybe Confucian scholars or something along that, those lines. Um, I can't quite remember. In terms of laws we can change, pretty limited. But again, none of these countries have police. <laughs> I'm like introducing police around the world. <laughs> Uh, we could shift away from an interventionist economy and towards a more agrarian one if we wanted to. No. Police, always good. Let's just get dedicated police and move along with our lives. Insufficient taxation capacity. Yeah, we know how long it's going to take to improve that though because look at that terrain. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we both bolster that with our technology or something instead. I reckon that's probably the play. Journal entry wise, uh, it's the, yeah, we're moving again towards that religion, autocracy, nationality. Look at all of these potential ones though. Once we, are un once we undertake certain technologies, researching ironclads, rifling, urbanized Persia. Yeah, I mean, some of those are standard. Some of them are a little more unique. Diplomatically wise, we've got lots of mates around us. And then a couple of not friends. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Inching closer to 500. Woof. Looks like Oman. Oh man, they're going to have a bad time. Our coffers are full. Let's make a play to conquer this state for us. Yeah? Take control of the Persian Gulf. I mean, come on. Persia. Hello. <laughs> um, we could sway someone to come and join us. We could get the Ottomans in here. I don't think we need to. Let's add another war goal to... Hmm. What could we do? Could take a treaty port. 
could force open market or take war reparations. Let's take war reparations from them as well. And force them to open their market. I'm going to really, really bully them here. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. Because our economy is just in such good shape at the moment. We've got, you know, our gold stockpile completely full. Um, we've actually just increased our capacity as well. Damn, I'm liking Persia. 1864 Persia. This is good. We're in a good place. Let's get railways. We haven't unlocked those yet. And this is a Victorian industrial aged grand strategy simulator. And we don't have freaking railroads. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I think we'll get those online. Outside of that... It's a little more tricky. It gets a little trickier. Although, again, not impossible for us. Thank you so much to everybody who's tuned in and liked and subscribed throughout this stream, by the way. Um, we've also gained, like, hundreds of subscribers. Uh, quite literally, like, 200 since we started. So if you're new here, big love to you. Let's war with Afghanistan. Uh, yeah. Players Colombia. Get the early grab on them oil fields. Now that is also a good idea. Let's go um, market and then have a look at... We're actually already pretty good for coal, to be fair. Coal is my big bad boy. <laughs> or the opium. Um, yeah, Afghanistan is another state that is um, not quite as friendly with us as the rest. So, sure. Let's make them our next target once we just get this little gulf online. Um, I don't really need to start damaging relations with them, but sure. We'll start damaging relations with them as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, over to our military. What are we looking like? Activate conscripts? Yes. Let's get about sort of half of those activated. Um, we'll recruit an additional general, I think. Decree cost. Grab you. Let's mobilize the generals. You can see the diplomatic play nearing <laughs> ready. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of conflict going on over here at the minute. I don't think we'll need... I think this will probably be slight overkill, but you never know. Get you on that front line. Get you on that front line. Get you there as well. It'll take them 11 days to arrive. Current date, 8th of February, 1864. Diplomatic play. Will arrive uh, in good time. They've only got five battalions and they are, and I quote, worried. They should just back down. Really? Shouldn't they? They should just back down. Come on. I would say get the Ottomans. Yeah, also also them. Persia. Very interesting place to play. Uh, yeah, they just back down. I think. I think that's what happens. Yep, Oman back down. Oman back down our diplomatic play, yielding the primary war goal to us. So they ceded the territory, but we didn't get the war reparations because they decided to leave. Okay, relatively easy take for us there. <laughs> and I love it. Um, hmm, it is kind of a shame that they have that bit, eh? Should we make them into our tributary? Let's have a look at Afghanistan's information, actually. So I've got 34 units plus 31 battalions. Okay. So they are closer to us. Mm. Let's try. We now have dedicated police force. Sweet. We're building some more coal mines. Let's try and build a little bit of extra, uh, a little bit more of an army. We'll get four up there. I reckon that looks pretty good. And then we might also want to increase um, the likes of infrastructure. Now, we don't have railroads yet, which is kind of disappointing. Um, yeah, it's a shame. 
That should be fine, though. Any upgrades to these guys? Yes, actually. <laughs> Big upgrades. We're gonna need a lot of ammunition, though, so I might just go line infantry. Yeah. I'll just go line infantry at the moment, because I don't think we want to surge them up too far. We'll ditch that second coal mine. Actually, we might move these barracks ahead, because the <laughs> coal mines are taking forever. But we can get the barracks online somewhat quickly. Um, we could bully Oman a little bit more before we move on. The true, the trucial states. Neat. You know, like, I, I do kind of want... Oh, thank you, Siri. Uh, I, do, <laughs> I did kind of want to take that. Unfortunately, we're at truce with them. And I think that lasts for 12 months in game. Hmm. So I don't think we can do much with them for another 12 months. They will, of course, go fairly quickly. Can you get Karl Marx as a leader? Yes. Yes, you can. Or loads of historical leaders, of course, are in this. And you can kind of take your pick from figures from history. Certain nations, of course, more than others. Japanese shogunate ended their rivalry with the Great Qing. Oh, look. Revolutionary China. <laughs> it's being defeated <laughs> by the East India Trading Company. Oh, man. We really left that to burn, didn't we? It's such a yikes. I love it. Okay, Persia. Let's move on Afghanistan, maybe. We only needed to wait around 20 weeks for these barracks to be online. I guess the other thing is the infrastructure. Um, we're still researching railroads, though. What else could I do to help improve that? Get rid of some of these subsistence farms? <laughs> yes. <laughs> two farms. There you go. Look, you want jobs? Have two farms. Yeah, we're stockpiling too much gold. Our economy's great. I reckon we might stretch out here and see if Persia can grab them. Standing by, standing by, standing by. 50 on that one and then 11, 11. Maybe if we have a look at our conscripts as well we could probably conscript a whole lot of dudes real fast and use the oh boy how long is it going to take me to find it decrees i found it okay and then we'll use the um enlistment efforts to speed up the training oh no we don't quite have the authority promote social mobility Greener Grass Campaign. Okay, we're just going to cancel that crap. <laughs> and instead shift towards uh, enlistment efforts. <laughs> so we've got enlistment efforts all along that side of the country using up all of my authority instead. Yup. We're going to enlist the peasants and make them fight. Great. Uh, economy's still going super strong. We could lower taxes, but, I mean, <laughs> come on. Um, let's get rid of these consumption taxes. They're making, like, no money. Mm, we'll keep the one on tea, though. Take that. Put one on tobacco instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right. Paper in the Ottoman market as well. Yeah, I mean, I could I could build a couple of paper things or, or maybe get a trade route to fix that quickly. We don't have a lot of bureaucracy, but we can afford one. Let's get British paper. And Kalat wishes to join my customs union. Well, look, I'd love to let you, but unfortunately, can't afford it, mate. Soz. Just not something I can do for you. <laughs> All right. Afghanistan. I guess we'll go for the conquer. Ottomans will side with us. Great. Oh, look, and the Kalat are going to come through too. 
Oh, it's gonna be a double hitter. <laughs> Okay, we've got people migrating to some sort of French territory. I'm sure that's fine. Uh, let's add another war goal to conquer Eastern Afghanistan as well. Sweet. Those are the only two that we can push, and you bet your backside we're going to push both of them. Uh, in terms of countries being swayed, they have pulled in two battalions from Makran. But we got ten out of Kalap, baby. Ooh, yes. <laughs> okay, it's time to mobilize. We're about halfway through the diplomatic play. We'll also activate our conscripts in these territories where we're training them faster. Try and combine that together. And maybe another one too, shall we? Yeah, go on. That should be enough. And then we'll mobilize these generals. And send them aggressively onto this front line. So we've got 50 dudes on this one. Um, let's get another 11, I reckon. And then this last army here... We could get on a different front line. Yeah, we'll keep him there. <laughs> Has this already devolved? <laughs> They're actively fighting already. Oh boy. Okay. So let's... Oh. Afghanistan back down. I'm actually kind of glad that they did that because it sort of demonstrates a little bit what I have talked about um, in my re review video, which will be coming out later. Um, warfare is a means to an end, but it's not something that you would have to do. So if you don't want to play a paint the map with war simulator, you really don't have to. Um, and this has kind of demonstrated it a bit. So Afghanistan back down and yielded their prime uh, the primary war goal. Basically, they saved face right, to protect eastern Afghanistan from, from being taken by me. Um, mood. Yep, good play. Let's incorporate western Afghanistan into our state. It'll take 10 years, but it will help us get control over the people, reduce the turmoil, you know, enact what we're doing. Oh, Bespoke Plays, thank you so much for subscribing on Twitch. Appreciate you using your Bezos bucks. <laughs> Do you know if Byzantium can be formed? Or can the Ottomans release them? I don't know that. My inkling would be the Ottomans could definitely release that territory. Don't know what would happen after they do, like how it would play out. We'll see, though. Could be something that we could try. I'm sure people will, because that's a really cool idea. Prepare for America to call you a cheater. <laughs> okay. There's also a diplomatic play over here that we could join in on. It's revolutionary Barodar, and they're fighting the East India Company. We're not really strong enough to do that, but that would be kind of fun. Mm. For the minute, though, I think we'll just um, declare neutrality on that. So, yep. Okay, the great Persian blob grows bigger still. <laughs> Diplomatically, we don't like these guys. Let's take them. Our economy, again, it's just so good. Let's reduce our taxes. That will increase our legitimacy and standard of living for people because we've just got so much money that we can afford it right now. Railways! <laughs> the Victorian age is upon us, everybody. Welcome. That's pretty cool. I want some of those. They're kind of expensive. <laughs> but I want one across the country. We're expanding this way, right? Come on. <laughs> I'm just going to build one everywhere. That's a terrible idea, by the way. Uh, but I think that could be fun. Let's get some increased infrastructure across the board. What is this? I think that's fine. War with Makran is broken out, and I wasn't even ready for that. 
Sometimes, yeah, hey, we did that. Um, sometimes these things can just pop off. The diplomatic play doesn't have to time out. We can also um trigger the war kind of at any point. This conflict, I feel like, might have also already been raging. We might have sort of jumped in on <laughs> a hot powder keg. Uh, all right, military tab, mobilize generals. Yes. Advance front. Yes. Any other fronts to advance? That one up there. Oh, actually, sorry. Terrible orders have been given. We need the 50 dudes up there. And then the 13 down here. You can just let the AI do this if you want. They tend to do an okay-ish job, I think. Um, but I've always manually controlled it myself. Uh, coffers taking a little bit of a hit, but to be honest, we could we could use with burning through our gold reserves because they're full. So I'm happy to keep taxes low, raise the standard of living for the people of Persia so they think they're having a great life. Um, and while we do that, uh, absolutely push these front lines. Take a look. Ooh. The state policy of religion, autocracy, and nationality. Hmm. Landowners get increased strength. Plus five percent of Persian pops become loyalist, and national and we get national assimilation for t for nineteen years. Or, ooh, this is a big one. This is one of the big um, journal events, and it seems to have pretty powerful ramifications. Hmm. What do our interest groups look like at the minute? Um, so we've got the landowners in. And we've got a fairly weak religious power. Landowners could get extra support. And our leader would become a popular autocrat. Hmm. This one seems like the spiciest. To add a little bit of extra faith. I kind of like that. We're going to enforce our faith. I also kind of like the idea of adding them into government as well. That will give us more laws that we can pass. Um, we, we haven't really played around too much with the likes of PB. Uh, these guys all mess with legitimacy though. Let's not put the rural folk in. Yeah, we'll put you in government as well. Welcome. This will give us a little bit of extra flex. Religious schools, for example. Extra conversion. Let's do it. We're going to slowly, we're going to quite rapidly embark on not only aggressive expansion of Persia, but also we're going to try and merge the church and the state uh, into one because we haven't really done a lot of that yet. Bureaucratic shortfall, idle mobilized general. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So they seated that front line down the bottom, which means now we can put everybody <laughs> up the top. And we should see, even though we've lost three fights in a row, now we turn this around. We're mobilized. We're at the front line. We've taken out 13 of their units. And by the looks of this slider, these guys are exhausted. Whoa, they just really turned the tide. Peace deal proposed. Conquer. Uh, oh, cool. Right, so this front line down here, which we just obliterated, <laughs> we can change this to an accept and take that territory. Done. That'll end the war up there with Afghanistan, uh, the second war with Afghanistan that we've encountered in the space of like a year. Uh, and we've captured that territory. Neat. <laughs> There's just this tiny little Omani blob, and then we'll have them booted out of here as well. I like it. What are you doing? You. <laughs> Damn. That's a really nice little aggression. Um, a nice little <laughs> aggression. Expansion of Persia that we've taken on here. Get mechanized. Uh, actually, no. Let's get distillation. Oh. Or street rail cars. We could become like the coolest place in the world. 
build up their construction sector. Reinforce concrete. Who doesn't like a little bit of concrete? Go for theocracy. Yes. This one's being debated pretty heavily. Yeah, maybe we just change the entire structure of the government first. Oh, we can't. We can't. The landowners hate it. We're going to need to maybe actually play around with this a little bit harder. Persia gets discipline focus plus 15% enactment time. Or we weaken the armed forces and speed it up. I think we weaken the armed forces to speed it up. There's also currently a little bit of a succession movement going on. <sighs> hmm. To booze, liquor, and wine made up of peasants. Okay. We'll just incorporate this state and <laughs> get to work on merging that. Play through events in Persia. I'm not sure if you can. I would imagine you probably can because the event's pretty good, but I wouldn't like to say for certain just in case. I think we'll keep going with the schools for now. Oh, but no, actually the big thing that we want to do, sorry, is um, have a look at those interest groups and see if we can muck around with probably pushing these guys down or maybe lifting these guys up yeah let's bolster the support for our religious interest group it would be really nice to kick the landowners out of government but it will cause some kind of revolt <laughs> realism unlocked another bot enters the chat i got you i got you see if we boot these guys out we lose all of our legitimacy and there's no real way to get around that just yet because we don't really have the support so we'll keep them in power for now okay there's an uprising a three unit uprising <laughs> how dare you All right, we'll just um, we'll just mobilize our uh, General Muhammad and his fifty battalions and go down here and squash this rebellion. You ready for this? Watch this guy get squashed. Splat. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, we'll kill that. Uh, bureaucratic shortfall. Is it trade routes? No. No, actually, it's kind of just in general us not really having enough built. We're going to expand the railways. God knows why. Steam trains. You could upgrade to wooden passenger carriages. Pretty flash, huh? And we could also make it government run. Interesting. Uh, how's this stupid secession movement going? <laughs> Terribly? Great. Following war goals have been enforced. <laughs> Thank you. Again. <laughs> Much appreciated. Ooh. A defensive pact. Who are you? Oh. No. <laughs> Um, no. Sorry. Let's get on top of our bureaucracy maybe before we build the rest of these railroads. Um, a little bit of extra government administration might not be a terrible idea. Skyscraper. Did somebody say Jumbo Builder Giant Skyscraper? Probably not. A little ambitious with the railroads. Cull them. 60 weeks is a very long time. Our construction sector must be almost garbage. Lucky our military is so good at what they do. Religious schools seem to have really struggled to get across the line. So we'll cancel that. Um, just didn't go in our favor this time. Not the end of the world. <laughs> we'll try again. 
could change our racial segregation laws to national supremacy. Interesting. Economy could become agrarian. What would that do? Aristocrat investment pool over the capitalists. Hmm. It's generally a better upgrade, in my is my understanding, but, a, but my understanding is a bit limited. The health system could also be useful, but it's fairly difficult for us to pass at the minute. We'll try for a local police force. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's not do that. I'm pretty happy with the strength of our police force. We'll go agrarian. Stockpiling gold still. Yep, I know. So much cash money. And pretty poor market access here. Let's incorporate that state in. They'll try and revolt, but we'll kick them out. Oh, and look, and here's why they wanted that defensive pact. Yikes. 477 likes so far. That is freaking fantastic. So cool. We currently have none. Yeah, we don't have any construction sector at the minute. Might be a good idea if we want to maybe just focus on one or two territories. Um, I don't want to be spamming them out all over the show, but I don't mind... See, 82 weeks. Like, it's such a big investment. A politician has died. <laughs> and our monthly price report. You can see the price of Man of Wars is down. Lead's down. It's great. Everything's going great. Except for... Uh, maybe our, you know, bureaucracy's not quite the best. And actually, we could bring our taxes back up a little bit as well if we wanted to. What is that graph? <laughs> Sir, we're way in the green. We're way in the red. We're way in the green. Let's check in on our pops. Peasants. Yeah. Persian peasants. Who would have thought? <laughs> Pretty immediate, or do you need to set up multiple picks? Some of them are immediate, but you'll find the best benefits, Sean, from stacking them together. Definitely. Persia gets publicly convinced. Landowners plus five percent. No, thank you. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'd love to take all of that territory. I really would. Enact no police. The rural folk want no police. <laughs> I hate them there police. Um, it's fine. I want to take this treaty port. I don't think that should be there. That tiny little blob shouldn't be there. <laughs> oh, man. Um, how is the poll going? The Russia Free Poland play seems to be the big winner at the moment. 53%. Europe is, by the way, on fire as Austria has broken out into revolutionary <laughs> Austria. Amazing. Mobilize one army and get it down on that front line. Pretty safe. I wouldn't, I w I'm honestly surprised. Ooh. Ah, damn. Could have added more war goals, but probably don't need to because they're just going to cede that immediately. Cool. All right. There's the Oman blob gone. Persia, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. Thank you, Hark. Good catch. <laughs> All right. I think we've given Persia a fairly decent run for its money. Again, like any other, we can come back and rejoin it. Um, it would have been nice to jump out and grab one more state, but it looks like not really a diplomatic action for me that's available right now. Just 
start damaging relations with all of my neighbors. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Set these guys up to really go hard. It's actually mainly Afghanistan probably doesn't need to do that. We have, I think, well and truly smashed them though, haven't we? So the 7th of May... 1871, the truce, uh, the truce expires there. Kalat is an active truce of Afghanistan until the 7th of May. Is it possible to lead African nations and fight against colonization? It is possible. Yep. Um, Cape Colony, I think, is one of the tutorial countries that you could play. They're a puppet of the Brits. Then you have some colonial territories of Portugal at the start of the game and then you can there are loads of playable ones like Sokoto through here uh these have changed a fair bit throughout this game like see the United States of America have got their land grab there a few new states have popped up around here as well that definitely weren't here 35 years ago Great Qing managed to defend itself from its revolution unfortunate and Russia. <laughs> yeah, big boy gets big. Big boy gets real big. Is it possible to destroy the USA? Oh, now that is it. <laughs> that is an interesting question. Plus 25 taxation capacity from Central Archives. A great Wii unlock, gotta say. <laughs> They're improving relations with me. I'm damaging relations with them. And then they have a rivalry with Afghanistan and an active truce with Afghanistan. That's hilarious. And then what's going on up here? Ah, oh, you have a trade agreement with the Russians. And we have a defensive pact? What? I'm ending that. Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lucky I checked. So they're improving, we're damaging, and we have a truce with them until the 19th of February, 1872. And then what's the deal with Afghanistan? What's the deal with Afghanistan? Uh, <laughs> God. Um... Oh, I really like this overview too. Although, so I've had what? Maybe about like 60 hours or something in the game so far. Um, I still probably couldn't look at this immediately and be able to tell you, you know, like what it really means. But the more you play, you know, you start to pick up little bits of extra information. It's good. It's good. Love to form North American Federation as Canada and annex the US. Where did Canada go? Of course, Canada wasn't formed at the start of the game either, so they've put in some work. <laughs> they've put in some work. Looks like the, this Indian Territory, Oklahomies. Oh, <laughs> um, okay, so Indian Territory has been taken by the US and puppeted, and then Texas is still under Mexican control. Brazil hasn't taken my strategy. Although it looks like there's an Afro-Caribbean uprising in what was formerly British territory there. So that's kind of cool. Spain still holding Portugal and all of her colonies. <sighs> no protesting. <laughs> Leave. Hey, look, Lithuania. Tiny. <laughs> We need our Poland. And then what's the deal with these guys? I think they were the, the only one that I didn't check. Improve relations and they have an alliance with the Sikh Empire because they owe obligations. Okay, so you guys are kind of in bed with each other. We've freed Tibet. Tibet going great guns. <laughs> in an ec Oh, look! Russia has instigated war. In South China, there's a diplomatic play going on right now. In South China. Interesting. 
<laughs> and the Burma conquest didn't go so hot. Reverse colonize Japan as Korea. Yeah, that would be fun. I think Korea would be quite a fun one to play as well, actually. Joe, get that science online, humankind fans. Where you at? Okay. Succession movement growing again. I think we can deal with that if it pops up. Where are we? Where are we? Pashtun. Four units in Western Afghanistan. A little bit frustrating because it might cause weird things to happen. But I think that's pretty good. All right. Shall I move on or should we go for one more um, cheeky grab? I feel like it might have been, one of them might have been close. I don't actually even have a peace treaty with you though. Oh, hello. What's this? What's this? What? Revoke Persian claims. Crush succession. Right. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just mobilize 50 battalions on that front line and we should maybe just remind them. Thank you, Huck. Great catch. Oh, your birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday for yesterday. Um, We'll just remind the Afghani people that they are currently part of the Persian state. And uh, unfortunately for them, it's, <laughs> we're just going to have to crush their rebellion again. Afghanistan uprising. Uh, they've got 11 units. They want to get rid of my claims. We'll deal to them. Pretty handily, right? Yeah. Yeah, see you later, friend. About to go to bed. Want to pop in? Say you're awesome. You're awesome too, craftsman. Thanks so much. And have a wonderful sleep. European viewer, perhaps? American viewer, perhaps? Either way. Thanks for thanks for tuning in and saying hello. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, what's our like target at? Speaking of people tuning in. 490. Get out of town. That's insane. <laughs> You're mad. Uh, all right, we can get another technology. Some of these are really great for buffing like sort of passive yields that you might not otherwise either know how to buff or have the you know money or infrastructure to do um as i say that i can't really find a very good example <laughs> plus 20 percent conscriptable battalions logistics plus 20 percent sounds good our country's in a state of civil war well i mean is it Looks like it's going fine to me. <laughs> As we push our, uh, you know, Persian flag. <laughs> the flags are glitched, by the way. <gasps> Waifu Victoria. Oh my god, should we have a look? Is she still in power? Yeah, she's doing good. Sometimes she gets booted out. <laughs> Weird things can happen. <laughs> Weird things can happen in Victoria 3, and I love it. Oh, one thing that I don't think I actually checked when we first came over was, um, first came over to Persia, <laughs> was their strategic interest. Oh my god, Siri, thank you. Great, go you. Uh, Afghanistan capitulated, neat. Oh, yeah, look. So we currently have an interest in northern India. I want an inter interest up here, though, because I want to try and maybe sneak this in. What? Well, could happen is that the Russians will declare war with us but either way it might be a good opportunity to move to the uh, next country so <laughs> let's declare it let's get a strategic interest declared there we already have this kind of under our interest area and then we did have this area but I reckon that maybe isn't quite right it's close but I don't think it's quite right uh, we're not currently producing anything uh, construction is very slow so that's probably something we should get on top of. <laughs> Have a look at the market. Can usually be a good way to figure out what to get. Fertilizer is currently super short for us. So we need livestock ranches and chemical plants. Um, 
kind of expensive. Livestock ranches are probably a better idea. Let's feed the people and also get them out of their subsistence farms. Try and provide them with some slightly more productive jobs. Um, taxation all seems to be going fine. We've got a balance of one authority, which is hilarious. Provide rail. <laughs> I tried. It was too expensive. Uh, declared interests. We're all good. Truces. We currently have their one active for a very long time. Oman. Safe. We did it! 500 likes! Oh, thanks for letting me know, Tink. That is fantastic. Thank you to the... Uh, extra special thanks to the person who was the 500th like. Much appreciated. Uh, that is insane in the membrane. <laughs> uh, and the Russians... The Russians got their war reparations because China backed down. Mood. So, my understanding is... Once we have... That declared interest done... Yeah, and we do have it. Oh, they're such a good friend. <laughs> they are. Okay, who won the poll? Who's next? It's Russia, Poland. So I think the request for this one was to both play as Russia and also to see if we could free Poland and play as Poland. They were sort of the idea. Um, industrial era Persians on humankind roll their eyes. Yeah, true. <laughs> Thanks, James. All right. Okay, I think that's a pretty good pick. Let's jump over and do the wonderful trick. We've expanded Persia pretty handily. Oh, hold on. There's one more decision we can make. Shopkeepers can please what they like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, what I'm going to quickly do now, then, is swap over to... Russia. Let's have a look. Currently in an active war. Neat. Thank you for placing your votes in chat, by the way. Much appreciate. Thanks, Tig. <laughs> um, oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Diplomatic maneuvers. Declare neutrality there. We've got... Like, all of our freaking units mobilized. Crushing this rebellion. 606 to 8. Feel like maybe we didn't need to mobilize the entire army uh, to do that. However. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so in Russia we are a monarchy, an autocracy. We have colonial resettlement, traditionalist economy. In government at the moment is the gentry, the gentry assembly, but we do have some fairly other, um, some fairly powerful other groups. An idle mobilized general. And what is this? My diplomatic play in South China. A diplomatic play between Spain and the Great Qing. Both powers that we played. <laughs> I love it. We're just setting up these agents of chaos around the world. Cut Great Ching down to size. We'll be neutral in that one. We've got our own bloody uprising to crush. And we'll remove our claims out of there. Okay. Right. <laughs> We're good. Let's have a look at what the Russian state looks like from a built perspective. Do we have... 3,000 subsistence farms. Holy cow. That is nuts. We're going to probably need to get farming down here in these Ukrainian, uh, you know, the, um, these highly fertile southern lands, definitely. Let's just spam a few around like that. Um, and get constructing our own food. A good word of revolution is upon us. Canada gets the event Echoes of Revolution. Let's give that to them. Cause a little bit of chaos. <laughs> uh, and one, two, three, four interest groups are planning a revolution against me. I don't think they're going to be able to get that done. Lithuania gets echoes of revolution. Sure, why not? 
Large numbers of Russian people are moving to Australia. <laughs> I think we'll let them do that. And let's add the restore order journal entry to Russia. I think. That's pretty cool. So at the moment we're doing springtime of the peoples. And that's okay. But I'd like to follow this. So we need to get National Guard or secret police and have an investment level in home affairs of three or greater. And that will help us bring this massive state under control. Politics wise, we should be able to get police fairly easily. And it's kind of the only thing. All right, you can get to work on that. Peace treaty annexed. <laughs> Radical Scandinavia! Woo! Oh man, I love how this plays out if you give it enough time, you know? <laughs> okay, so what we did want to have a look at was to see if I could free Poland, I think, wasn't it? Now, I haven't done that before, so bear with. Let me have a look. Release subject. Poland. Release is independent. Release is subject country. Play is Poland. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. <laughs> um, okay, so the, the request in chat was for me to play as Poland. So what we'll do is play as Poland. We are now an insignificant power. <laughs> and that is probably a really good demonstration at how that system works, actually. So thank you for the suggestion. That's a really cool suggestion. So we jumped into Russia, formed Poland, and now we are Poland. That is so cool. What we could have done was like, built up a whole load of infrastructure in this state and then released them <laughs> and built up like this little powerhouse of greater Poland. Kind of fun. Soon. Thank you so much for the $10 donation. Sending this persuasion to pay as New Zealand after this. Interesting thing about New Zealand. Oh, huh. Okay. Um, Usually at this point in the game, Australia has taken it all, or at least from what I've seen in my, you know, relatively limited experience. Um, but this time, they haven't so much. Uh, but as you can see, half of New Zealand is actually Australia. And then the other half are um, two tribes, Naitahu and uh, Ngāti Toa. Their economies not particularly playable. <laughs> Aussies, though, could be a goer. I'm happy to at least take a look. Objective for Poland, Adam is right. Survive. <laughs> Literally just survive. Um, oh, I'm just going to grab that glass of water, which is just slightly out of my reach. Alrighty. No technology. We know there are a couple of good ones from what we've played so far. What do we start with? Surely trench works is a good idea. <laughs> Let's get trench works. <laughs> okay, Poland. What have you got military wise? Uh... <laughs> okay, let's recruit a general first. We'll get the smart dude. Right, we have a general. Now we're going to need an army. We only have conscription centers. We don't have a single barracks in Poland. <laughs> okay, let's militarize Poland. There should be a decree as well, maybe, that we could 
um, put down here to either bolster recruitment or oh construction sector might be a good idea first as well actually hey eh? let's get that online two of them yeah yeah it's good i think i don't th <laughs> it's probably gonna take us a million years is it oh no they're only 10 weeks each sweet all right, I'll get two construction sectors online and then we'll just militarize the crap out of Poland so that they can at least stay alive. Check southwest of Australia. I think NZ has some. Really? Oh, I think that was a uh, um, native peoples. Yeah. It is. Ha. <laughs> they haven't quite taken all of Australian of Noongar yet. They're one battalion. I don't like their chances. I think this chiefdom could be out of luck if the Australians choose to swallow it. Um, although, you know, they haven't chosen to, they haven't chosen to take Wellington yet. Nati Toa has control of Wellington. Interesting. Hey Zach. Thank you so much for the nice words and the two dollar dono. That's super kind. Thank you. Literally watching because your videos caused me to buy settlement survival an hour ago. Good game. Good game. Oops, I didn't get, even get time to reply to that. Uh, and a new heir to the Polish throne has been born. Okay. Um, by the way, radical Scandinavia, insanity. Radical Russia. Oh dear. Lucky we broke away with Poland while we could, huh? <laughs> Should we fight the Russians? Oh my god. This is actually, um... This is... <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's Guatemala. <laughs> Sorry, Guatemala. Carry on. <laughs> okay. Um, what the hell? Okay. Anyway, sorry. Wildly distracted by that. Uh, our construction sectors are done. Now let's get to work on constructing these barracks. Ten dudes ain't gonna be enough, but it might be something. Uh, laws wise, land owner, land owner, <laughs> owner only government is a little difficult. Um, all of the interest groups are, are pretty angry with me though. <laughs> Yikes. Poland really dodged a bullet getting out of Russia, didn't we? We were like emergency eject. <laughs> that is good. Huh. <sighs> Set up steel import. Yeah, we'll set up a steel import. That's probably fine. Um, okay, professional army, national militia, uh, colonial exploitation, local police force, dedicated police force. Those are all of the things that we could push through. Let's push through... Probably professional army, yeah? Yeah. Or maybe National Militia even. Plus 5 barracks level, plus 100 barracks max level, plus 5. Armed forces political strength goes up versus down. Let's get a professional army up in here. <laughs> a very, very, very important legislative change, to be fair. If Poland wants to survive... It's going to need some damn armies and not these peasant levies. Ugh. Let's also reform the government to get a little bit of extra armed forces power. These guys now, by the way, love me. Um, can I put the industrialists in too? Damn. I would like to, but it would hurt our legitimacy quite a bit. Let's just put the armed forces in for now. Let's maybe bolster the support of the industrialists so that we can squeeze them in. And we'll also, actually, while we're at it, really muck, a, muck around with Poland. And, oh, I would have liked to suppress them, but it's going to cost me... Oh, that in government, so we can't. Okay, bit of a yike. But that's all right. We'll bolster the other groups around them instead. Let's bolster the armed forces too. We'll try and go for an armed forces industrial movement and slowly take power away from the landowners. Our professional army is done almost immediately.
let's also get a dedicated police force rather than a local one. We don't want to give extra support to them. Boom. And then... <laughs> anything else you want to <laughs> militarize it's probably enough construction wise you can see i've finished most of those barracks neat now diplomatically we have our one declared interest in the areas around us make poland great again the winged hussars yes <laughs> Government administration's really bad. Let's get um, a little bit of improvement on that. That should help to improve our bureaucracy. Um, we could also look at the buildings themselves. They could have tech upgrades that we could do. Oh, nah, guys. They're actually using a standardized filing system. Sorry. You're out of luck. Yeah, nothing we can do about that. <laughs> and we have a dedicated police force even better for the armed forces fantastic um at the moment child labor is allowed i think that's fine um legal guardianship it is what it is not a lot else we can change except for our home affairs policy i would love to get this online Let's get secret police. It's a little risky, and I don't actually think they'll move through. But there aren't many other laws we can change at the moment, so why not? And we could also become a bit nihilistic. Intelligentsia will be much more likely. The intelligentsia will be likely, or the state must ban it. Let's ban it. We don't want the intelligentsia up in here. We've had enough. God, we've had enough to do with them, okay? Hey, thanks, Timo. <gasps> You've been able to release Poland in 1836. Um, I don't see any reason why not. Couldn't say for sure, but I don't see any reason why Poland wouldn't be able to be released if they're not an independent country. Someone has to work in that almost bankrupt country. Oh my god, we are almost bankrupt. Building up our military cost us a lot. <laughs> Let's check the taxation levels. Government wages, you're out. Military wages... See so, ya. Yeah. Overall tax, it's going up. Consumption taxes, there are no goods. <laughs> it's difficult to pull a state out of nowhere. <laughs> um, it's mainly our interest in our construction that's hurting us a lot. Let's pause construction. I've probably driven that uh, a little bit too far into the ground, to be fair. Should have paid slightly closer attention. Uh, what can we do to salvage it? I'm going to have to actually enact some pretty aggressive economic policy to salvage it. Because I've uh, <laughs> driven Poland into the ground. <laughs> Whoops. W whoops. Maybe we should uh, flex a little bit of our muscles. Ooh. Could this be the ultimate way for Poland to go out? They're currently fighting... The North German Federation is currently fighting the French. Huh. French don't really love us. got 11 units though unfortunately because we're a little late in the piece there's not a lot of free land near us i'm gonna conquer it it's mine liberate subject forces austria to grant independence oh we really we don't really want to fight austria over it do we but they do have it Arrgh. Then we've got the North Germans. Plus 20% Nackman chance on the secret police. Sure. We're going to fall into a bit of a weird revolution here, potentially. 
Conquer State will face too many enemies. Poor Poland. Poor Poland. <laughs> Let's have a look at our market. Um, very few goods. And we're paying a lot. Paying through the teeth. Although, to be fair, not that bad. Get some Austrian tools. And... Also a bit of Russian lumber. I'm kind of pulling all of the strings that I can on the budget front without really sending us into turmoil. Um, could look to... Ah, we can't even increase that. Frustrating. I'll just quell that revolution for a minute. <laughs> just temporarily. Quite literally poor. Reclaim it. Springtime of the Peoples has been complete. I'm not even sure if I'm happy about that, to be completely honest. And good news, we're, we're, <laughs> we're stabilizing this economy. We need to keep the armed forces a little bit happy. Let's make our populations become more loyal to us. And a revolutionary for our time. A voice for the liberalism currently on the rise has resonated with rural folk. Eh, we'll let, we'll let them. We'll let them talk to each other. I think that's fine. We are now just slightly in the red. Uh, pulling a lot of taxation measures here, though. <laughs> the lack of consumption taxes is quite frustrating. We'd usually rely on that just a fraction to get money to. The following will be applied to Poland for 10 years. So if you declare bankruptcy, you lose basically all of your military power. <laughs> and your ability to build and if you go into debt again you pay a criminally high interest rate um but outside of that you you could in theory do it i probably wouldn't <laughs> you know <laughs> but you could <gasps> Whew, okay a defamatory article let's suppress it Defamed? Says who? Expansion-wise, it's going to be a little tricky for us. Ooh, independent Estonia, how you doing? Ding ding Who was that ding a -linger? Oh my god! Potato McWhiskey! Thank you for the Twitch raid! Welcome in, Twitch viewers! Oh my goodness! I'm typing all in capital letters, and, you, and you're going to take it. <laughs> Thank you, Potato Big Whiskey, the Potato Raid. Welcome, if you're just tuning in. We're live on YouTube and Twitch, and now Twitch has got just as many viewers as the YouTube stream does. Wicked. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're doing a, something a little bit different, in that we're bouncing around different countries, spending about 30 minutes in each one, but, crucially, playing in the same game. So all of the ones that we have played are, oh my god, are still active, I was just about to say. And then I went over to look at the Great Ching and realized that it's changed completely. Huh. Look at that. And look at that power. Jeez. So it looks like they've <laughs> turned into a military dictatorship led by the intelligentsia in China. That is awesome. <laughs> yep that is pretty cool <laughs> uh spain we played it as well puppet of portugal outside of that it doesn't look like anything too crazy has happened i'm very surprised that south america stayed so solid yeah all right what's wrong unhealthy economy yes 
I am aware. Don't look too closely at that right now. That's fine. Input good shortages. We are desperately short of coal. Let's get some from the North German market. Um, we're short of dyes. I guess we'll, we'll just have to try and import some of this at the moment. And steel. Big bad one. And all of these trade routes suck. I wonder if we can make our own steel. <laughs> Polish steel! Uh, we also need to get these government administration buildings done, but as I try to build them... Look at that graph peaking! <laughs> as I try and build them, we hurt our economy even more, and it's pushing us further into debt, which will increase our interest payments. You can see I was just sort of starting to get on top of them, and then building this government administration building will tank them again. So poor little Poland is in a really difficult spot. It might look to actually find... Oh, and look, they've formed Germany here as well. Wicked. Um, it might look to find allies elsewhere. Maybe the Germans? Let's improve our relations with the Germans. And damage our relations with the Austrians. Okay. We don't really have a military. But, if we can pull in a friend who doesn't like the Austrians. Let's have a look. What are they up to? Oof, I've got a lot of things playing out against them. Um, hmm. Might go to the diplomatic lens instead. Yeah, we've got an interest all over that territory. And also some Russian territory as well. Like, we could... We could also select a conquer play on someone else around there and try and get them to cede territory to us as well. We could maybe wait until the Russians were fighting someone else first. Like, I think playing as such a minor state like Poland, we have to be a little careful. Ottoman Empire has begun embargoing radical Austria. Mood. Sewage is unlocked. The people love it. I don't know if we really need to have our colonial affairs at level 3. Like, who are we colonizing? <laughs> You know what I mean? Where are we going with this? What is the plan? Um, North German people are migrating to North Dakota. Really? It's quite the... Like, I mean, you do you. Who am I to step in the way? Um, and, okay. Our Persia is still standing strong. Love to see it. Alright. Austria has just split into two. Maybe now is my time. Huh? Radical Austria? Oh, yeah, okay. If Poland's ever going to have a chance, within, you know, the sort of 30 to 45 minutes that we're spending on each country, it could be now. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing ever, but I love to see it. All right. We're going to need a friend. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Radical Austria, 157 battalions. Normal Austria, 245. They could turn around and just clap us instantly. <laughs> but we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. So we're going to do that. Now, over on the YouTube stream, we will get... I'd love to do it on both Twitch. And we could, actually. Thank you for <laughs> banning those bots. Oh, the YouTube stream. Uh, okay, I'm going to run another poll on who you'd like me to play next. Um, if you have any suggestions, whether you're watching on Twitch or YouTube, do chuck them in chat. But I think that for the next one, we'll add... Holy! Look at that unified Scandinavia! That's so cool! Um, for the next one, we'll go... Neural over to i think we might like to at least have a nose at the us so i'll put them in as one we literally haven't even looked at them yet um i'll do new south wales because that's become a big bad boy that's australia and then what have we got siam ecuador we've already played as persia texas will be part of the usa so if you want to see texas uh, actually, it's Mexico, isn't it? Oh, crap. 
Okay, and then the last one will be Mexico. They have control of Texas. So if we play as Mexico, we can free Texas. If we play as the USA, I'm not sure. Uh, and then we've got Radical Australia. <laughs> okay, those are those are three cool choices. Who will it be? Let me know. Um, otherwise, is there anything crazy going on that I haven't seen? Not really. I think the change of the Chinese administration is probably the biggest thing that's happened recently. Yeah, I'd say. Oh, and of course our expansion of Persia went fantastically well as well. Wouldn't mind bouncing back with them and helping them out, actually. <laughs> uh, die and steal is horrific. Taxation capacity is horrific. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to see the fall of Poland to Austria here, right? Because obviously this state is just completely outclassed. And unfortunately for it, a Europe where Germany has been formed as one power to its north, Austria will reform as a power to its south, and then it has Russia there. Oh, Poland. You always get a hard deal, don't you? Um, but let's see. Let's see. Something crazy could yet happen. We'll activate all of our conscripts. Mobilize the general. <laughs> and then... Uh, advance the front? Yeah. Get there. Maybe they'll be distracted with all of this internal bickering. <laughs> and we might sneak it through. <laughs> Indonesia looks normal. Yeah, Indonesia was not normal. Although it's hard to tell in this time period. I couldn't tell you for sure. But I feel that... Um, something is a bit amiss here. Again, though, 1878. Knowledge of this area of mine, not very good. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, nobody decided to join the fight, which is fair enough. I wouldn't have either, um, if I was them. <laughs> All they want is war reparations. Let's try it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Poland. I brought you into this world, and now I'm going to take you out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even the Austrians at war. Too much. All right. Uh, early votes look like you want to see me play as Mexico and liberate Texas. Kind of funny. Steam donkey unlocked. That's also kind of funny. What's going on on this front line? Poland? Oh, we were defeated. <laughs> oh, I thought they were almost going to do it then. Anybody want to jump in and help me out? Germany? I could violate their sovereignty. Kind of fun. Result in diplomatic incident. Germany joins the war on the side of Poland. They will not accept. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Please. Okay, fine. Against the odds, radicals, uh, squash that. Ironclad unlocked. Really great for a completely landlocked nation like us. And it looks like they fought hard. It wasn't enough. Good try. <laughs> Poor Poland. I think in 1836, Texas is fighting its war for independence, so it should be on the map. Yes, at the start of the game, Texas is on the map. Uh, in all of the games that I've started, I have naturally, as you can imagine, seen it lose. Um, let's have a look. Thank you, Poland. You were fun. I'm glad we liberated you from Russia, which ended up actually beating its revolution. Uh, and while that happened, Scandinavia also united under one banner. From Denmark, Sweden, oh, although, Grand Duchy of Finland, not so. Let's jump over now to a continent we've yet to play. North America. 
You are mine! <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Woo! Okay, what I like to do first is get a feel for where I am. Whether it's the start of a new game or an existing one, of course. about to remember the Elmo? Here yeah, we are. So here's Texas. <laughs> uh, anything particularly interesting? Texas. Mm, good distribution of resources. Mexicans. One trade center. And 310k. Hmm. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Oh yeah, the flags are glitched. If you're just tuning in, the flags are glitched. Um, Alright, I'll end this poll and then we'll go... What we'll do is we'll take Mexico off and put the other two on. USA. Australia. Who next? Oh, and I'll put um, Argentina on there as well. There you go. Unbelievable. Okay. Hey, and thanks to the people who stuck around after Potato McWhiskey's stream on uh, Twitch as well. I see you 85 viewers over there. I see you. And I appreciate you. Hey, look. 80. Cuba. Still still Spanish. Okay, let's unpause. Uh, first thing we'll do is... Do we want to free Texas straight away? I'm unsure. Let's have a look at our state, I guess. Um, so we've got a general in charge. We've got the armed forces and the intelligentsia in government. Laws-wise, take a look. This is the structure of our state. Yet again, I can't help but feel that I'm just this dude that goes around installing police forces in people. <laughs> Every time. Uh, oh, we could change suffrage completely here. We haven't done that yet. It would be quite a radical shift. Landed voting would be easier to pass, though. The people quite like landed voting instead of an oligarchy. It'll give a load of other interest groups a lot of power over Mexico. Wealth voting, census suffrage, universal suffrage. It's interesting just to look at them because we haven't really had that flexibility yet. <laughs> at all um police somewhat difficult but not impossible secret police <laughs> please <laughs> hmm yeah it is my job i guess dedicated police force let's go <laughs> and then um buildings wise little bit of a construction sector but not a lot the Mexican market at the moment is crying out for some coal. You build the... Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Okay, I know what we should do. We should build a whole load of stuff in Texas. Right? We'll just focus everything on Texas. <laughs> to try and give them the best shot possible. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just going to take a very quick break. I will be right back.
Thank you for bearing with me. Wonderful to see so many people still here. Crazy. 200 people still watching at this time. It's like nearly 3 o'clock in the afternoon for me. Which must mean it's slightly later for some of y'all. Um, I <laughs> got my, got my texts in and chat. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. Oh, man. <gasps> oh, crap. <laughs> oh, we were running. We were running fast there. A bit more than 200? Wait, sorry, what? What did I miss? What? What did I miss? Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. What is- Where did you all come from? What is going on? <laughs> I think I might have missed an alert while I was away. Yeah, I definitely did. Oh my god. You <laughs> are outstanding! Oh, thank you so much! For the ginormous raid! You actually came up on my sub feed literally this morning as I woke up. So that is pretty hilarious. <laughs> thank you so much for hitting me up! I was like, what is this? What are all these celebration emotes going on? Oh, you are fantastic. Welcome in. What a freaking birthday surprise and a half. Thank you. That is so kind. You're freaking awesome. Oh my goodness. I was like, <laughs> I was like oh, we've got about 200 people here. This is amazing. I've never seen so many people in the stream before. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. That is fantastic. That is really kind and generous. And it's so wonderful to see you all here. Welcome. <laughs> oh man, you're too kind. This is the first time ever that the YouTube stream has had like nowhere near as many people watching as the Twitch one. That's outstanding. <laughs> You've got to up your game, YouTube. Uh, that's hilarious. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you. Uh, that's outstanding. Thank you for the raid. Um, I'll stop gushing, except to say... Uh, uh, <laughs> um, yep. No, you've just, you've actually just frazzled me. You've just frazzled me. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> I was going to say, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscriptions. <laughs> Much appreciated. Uh, Sir John, Flaps, Shadowheart, Six, uh, The Flying, Unionist, Sad. Uh, thanks for all the follows. I'm just reading out a whole load of names of followers. It's wonderful to see you. Um, geez, thank you. Thank you and welcome. And a hype train as well. Goodness gracious me. Hey, thanks everybody. Um, you've actually joined us in a, a hopefully a somewhat interesting time. I left the game playing while I was distracted by your generosity and an overwhelming happy birthday wishes. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. Now, while I was distracted by your kindness, which I still am, it's a little bit of a frazzle-dazzle moment. You're right. Little bit of a frazzle-dazzle moment. <laughs> um, while I was distracted, the game was playing and it was playing out to do a few different things. What we're doing is we're jumping around different nations roughly every 30-ish minutes or so. And uh, as we do that, we kind of like to cause a little bit of chaos just as we go to leave. Because uh, that's a little bit of fun. Uh, but also we're not against trying out different things. So we'll play different strategies as we roll. You'll get the feel. Thank you, Jeb. Um, what we've done at the moment is chat has decided that they'd like to see Texas brought back into the game. So we've just left from liberating Poland over here in Europe. You can see uh, this looks a little bit different from the start game start. Uh, other previous nations that we've played, really quick and dirty. Uh, Spain to puppet Portugal. So they're sort of one thing. Oh my God. Australia. <laughs> China as well. Things happened here, as you can see. I think there are militarist dictatorship now yeah that's fine uh but what we're actually doing over is mexico isn't even playing as mexico but rather we're more sort of interested in texas uh to be completely honest so i'm just using my construction at the moment to somewhat <laughs> aggressively help the mexicans out we're just going to build a whole load of crap uh sorry texans we're going to build a whole load of crap in texas and then <laughs> hopefully secure their independence 
They'll need some government administration, I would say. So we'll give them that. Uh, meanwhile, we'll allow a little bit of migration through Mexico. I think that's probably okay. Uh, the Chinese flag. Yeah. Yeah. Neat, right? Neat. Yeah, they're completely different. <laughs> um, right, so our building menu is fine. Our markets are terrible. The tools in particular are pretty bad. <laughs> uh, for the time being, we'll import some British ones. We've got actually plenty of capacity to do that. Speaking of capacity, let's... Holy consumption tax. Uh, let's keep doing it. After all, we don't actually care about Mexico. So, maybe I should play even more aggressively. <laughs> because really we're just using them to build a Texas for about five minutes, probably. And then we'll ditch them. However, as far as nations go to play, I reckon if you didn't want to play a super duper major power, I would recommend either Mexico or Brazil. They have a good size to them. They have a good population to them. And uh, there's a few different ways you could take it. How do I feel about Vic 3 so far? Um, it's That's a good question. I was just working on my review video for it and pondering just that. And I think that uh, it's a really good grand strategy game. And people are going to have a lot of fun in it as a sandbox experience, definitely. Um, if money is an issue or if you're a little on the fence about grand strategy, I would say you could get away with waiting, watching some more gameplay, you know, getting a good feel for it. But um, I'll be recommending it to, to people. Yeah, I'll be recommending it to people. I think it's good. Uh, should we give a rousing speech? Get this police force across the line? You betcha. <laughs> you betcha. Um, Mexican Colorado. Yeah. Declared bankruptcy. Okay. Buildings-wise, I think we're okay. We're still constructing. Yes, as we can see up in the top right. Um, Market-wise, we won't look maybe too closely at that one. <laughs> I don't really think we need that colonial institution. Our government is really struggling with legitimacy. We should probably bring the landowners in soon-ish. Unless we want to keep uh, <laughs> giving them the boot. Clout, the clout graph here is just all over the show. <laughs> Good God. Horrendous. What's the game telling me to do? Unused construction production. Nearly. Yeah, actually, it's right. Okay, let's build up Texas a little bit more. The state of Texas will reign. <laughs> um, hype train success! Oh, thank you, everybody! Hope you get some cool emotes out of it. And thanks so much for following. And to everybody who used their Twitch Primes and, and or subscribed otherwise on Twitch. Super appreciate it. And thank you again both for the raid. My goodness. Never have I seen a raid so large. Seriously. <laughs> that is just outstanding. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Let's keep building up this place anyway. Um, population are Mexican. Could be an issue. Resource wise we could get sulfur, coal, fishing think we're gonna need some <laughs> we're gonna need some food goodness gracious um let's get maybe some maize farms online might be a good idea hey thanks two beans great name great name okay i think that'll do these things are very quick to build 10 weeks each barely bat an eyelid on five speed <laughs> so we'll build up some maize farms in texas that will give them a good amount of food um cotton sugar mm. construction sector's looking pretty good at six out of ten any bigger would probably be too much um a cheeky railway could be nice but 38 weeks it's killer um also maybe another urban center building Motor industries, arms industries. You know, we might want to be able to produce our own weapons. Although we're not building a massive playthrough with them. So what I might do instead is increase our ports. It'll let them trade a little bit more. It might be a better deal to try and pull things in. Rather than, you know, build a completely self-sustaining economy out of it. <laughs> I would say. 
Um, and then once those are done, I think we'll free Texas and get a feel for what Texas looks like. I think that's a fun thing for us to do. Uh, we could stay here forever and keep building them up. But the difficulty is... Uh, I fear a little bit that I might be, like, building up certain industries, making them independent, and then they end up being this really weird state where, like, the only thing they know how to do is, like, farm maize and eat coal or something, <laughs> and they end up just, like, the most useless nation. Kind of like what I did to Poland, actually. Oh, poor Poland. <laughs> I love it. We've caused chaos, but also we've done pretty good things. Persia has to be a glowing success story for us. We doubled that thing. Australia's got on top of its revolution. Yet to capture all of New Zealand, though. That feels like they should really have done that, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they definitely should have. Okay, and the ports are online. Let's set Mexico free. Uh, I keep saying Mexico. Let's set Texas free. Or, although, do we want them to have a bit more of a military first? Maybe we do. I'll <laughs> just sneak a couple more in. <laughs> okay, there's a revolution brewing. It's going to be time for us to tap out of Mexico too. The Mexicans are furious because we've just been pouring all of their resources into Texas. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Texas and Godspeed. Large numbers of Romanian people have began migrating. Welcome, Romanians! Um, should we stuff over the Mexican government before we leave? Feels a bit cheaty. I'm gonna allow it. Well, look, Mexico, this was fun and all. Uh, but I think maybe enough's enough. <laughs> maybe. There's nothing under construction now. Oh man, we're gonna lose so many people, aren't we? That's kind of funny. I'm a little bit scared to do this. Should we, should we, oh. oh. I just had another idea, which is probably really obvious to you watching, but wasn't obvious to me until just now. We could also free some other states. Okay, I'm going to also release... Oh, this could be a little bit chaotic. I'm going to release... Pueblo. And I'm going to release... <laughs> well, I don't know about this. This is our most chaotic idea yet. Oh, what are we doing? People who have just joined us are going to get the wrong idea. Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, you know what? We'll release the Mayans. And we'll release, finally, and play as the independent Texas! <laughs> Welcome, everybody! This is for you, YouTube chat. We did it. We freaking did it. Thanks for all the happy birthday messages, by the way. I appreciate that. I do. <laughs> Thank you. It's been quite the day, I've got to say. It's been quite the day. Uh, all right. We've, I, like, we've still got 600 viewers on Twitch. What is going on? What is life? Okay, now we're playing as an independent Texas, and we've also got an independent neighbor right next door. That was not an accident. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, so like I feared, um, going, in he going in really heavy on the military like that has put a lot of pressure on the poor Texan economy, right? It's not really making a lot of money because there aren't really many people here, but man, it is spending a lot on those barracks. <laughs> uh, the construction sector as well is costing us 6,000. Now that we're not constructing anything, we kind of don't need that. Uh, oh, we need that. So I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, we're still at negative 14. 
Um, next thing to do will be to check the books. Obviously, we don't need to. We're not. We're, like, we're not going to take over the world as Texas realistically. But I would like to try and balance the books a little bit. Making Arizona and New Mexico as well. Yeah. What should I do? I feel like the the world is my oyster. Oh, there's a bot. Oh, good catch. This message is held for review. Didn't even say who caught it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good catch, whoever that was. Play the UK? <laughs> yeah, we could play the UK. Anyway, back to the task at hand, Texas. Um, we've got so much authority, I think we should leverage that on consumption tax. Seeing as we're so poor, I think we will probably have to do a grain tax, maybe. Oh, it's such a yikes. Tobacco's cheap. Let's do that. Grain, it's only a thousand bucks. Let's up general taxes. Lower government and military wages? It doesn't really save much money, does it? We're moving from 5.5 five to 3.8, and then we're moving from 4,600 to... 3,200. That's not a lot. We've still got 800 authority to play with though, so we can try and save face a little bit uh, by implementing a grain tax. Soz. <laughs> um, services is a crappy one to tax, but we'll do it and we'll also finally tax liquor for 100. Okay, so that's taxes at full, wages at least, construction completely paused, and we're managing to hold the state at a loss of 8,000. <laughs> yeah, furniture. Thought about taxing furniture as well. I hate doing the service tax, but I do think it's worthwhile. I do. I really do. So we'll stick with it, even though it's a bit of a meh. Hmm, alright. I think we probably also need to, like, try and find someone to fight really soon as well, or something, because we've got this military and kind of nothing to do with it. <laughs> uh, we will hemorrhage cash fairly fast as well, so if we're gonna take some- if we want to do something as Texas, I think we need to make it quick. Let's get, um, ooh, we're quite far ahead on this military tech too, I like that a lot. Let's get war propaganda. Because that seems fitting. We've got how much in the gold reserves? Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> All right. What's your deal? You must be much worse than me, surely. Yeah, look, I'm ranked 56. These guys are 144. Okay. Um... Do we have any generals? No. <laughs> Let's recruit one. A rural folk reckless? Uh, I think we'll go with persistent. And now we will... Hmm. Content creator release. Economy even fixable? Or is this going into default? This will go into default, I would say. This will probably go into default. Um, <laughs> Liberian Texas. <laughs> Please. Uh, <laughs> okay. So we have an army now. Can't really do much with them, can we? We could try and take out Oklahomies. Not ideal. We don't want to partner up with Mexico much, but we have successfully liberated Texas. <laughs> the economy is perfect for Texas. Yeah, I wanted to try and create an independent state out of them, but you know, I haven't, I haven't, well, I've been able to do it, but um, we're not really going to be able to take any diplomatic actions. Let's have a look though. We might be able to declare an interest. Zero. Hmm. Hmm. Yup. That's a yikes. 
Hmm. Okay. So, without any interests, there is not really uh, a lot we can do. <laughs> What could, what kind of purse strings could I pull on here? Probably none, really. We could look to side up with one of these powers and then roll the other one. That could be a good idea. Probably our best bet, to be fair. Um, what do people actually think of me? Do they like me? Well, the Mexicans love me. Americans, they're kind of average. Okay. Okay. Who are you improving relations with? The Netherlands. Okay, so we've got Mexico, the Netherlands, and Free Texas. Uh, our government isn't very good. <laughs> but we might be able to pass some laws to help us out. <laughs> Again, me with the police. Goodness gracious. Uh, social security, migration controls, probably not. I think I'm looking at our economic system. Let's get the industrialists in. Let's industrialize Texas. Let's also then, because we haven't really played around much with them in power. Oh, they already are. Fantastic. Could put the intelligentsia in with them as well. Um, maybe the armed forces? Yeah, adds a little bit of legitimacy. Landowners will be a slight loser. The devout, a big loser. Intelligentsia, a small win for the most powerful group. But I don't know if that's quite what we want. So I think actually for the minute, we'll just leave the industrialists in. Try and see if they can squeeze out a law for, for old little Texas here. <laughs> and then we need to try and get it. Can you just ask the USA to bankroll you? <clears throat> well, I could try. It's not really going to go in our favor. Keen for suggestions like that, though. Start bank rolling. Mexico owes an obligation to Texas. <laughs> Form an alliance defensive pact. Yeah, it's all sort of meh. Uh, once this red bar, once our coffers reach the red, there's not really going to be a lot more that we can do, though. What I could do here to save Texas is one of two things. I could start to remove probably the military buildings, um, try and replace them with something that boosts money. But I feel like <laughs> it's probably not much further we can stretch with them just largely because of time constraints and the lack of diplomatic actions it kind of sucks that you don't start with one like to not have any strategic interests is a little lame what's this revolution <laughs> don't you dare uh the other thing we could do is buddy up with the canadians <laughs> who are the brits and um, divide up America ourselves. But I don't know if that's a very good idea. I don't know if that's a very good idea. We've played Greece earlier. Yes, we have played Greece. How does the world look? Um, actually, somewhat stable. We haven't caused enough instability at the moment, except for this situation. <laughs> I think the Mexicans are the weaker one. So we should probably improve relations with the US. And... Maybe damage them with you? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, let's go... Strategic... Interest? I was hoping to get like a big nerdy... A big nerdy, um... <laughs> rundown of it. Apparently not. These guys are actively trying to overthrow the government as we try and change the economy to a more industrial one. But I think we'll just leave them be. Um, probably because Mexico has been divided up a bit, it would either be Pueblo or Mexico who Texas should strike at, I reckon, rather than the states. We, they, we could try and strike the states, definitely. But I think, I think, <laughs> I think poor Mexico would lose that fight. Rather, rather quickly. Mm. Anybody probably would. See, they only have 30 battalions. 
These guys have literally none. Unfortunately, though, I'm reaching my bankruptcy timer. And, I, and because of the lack of strategic interest, we can't do anything. So let's move on to the next winner of the poll. As bad for the economy as it is in Vic 2. I don't think it's quite as bad, Pricey. But I, uh, how good it is? Not sure. Best adult dating site. Got to try this out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you voted for 43% of you, actually, on the YouTube poll. Voted for USA. Let's do it. Now that we've just created a Texas, <laughs> a really powerful Texas, we're going to swap to the USA. Really? That's the move? All right. USA is in some active wars. Let's get a feel for them anyway. Welcome to the United States of America. Probably a lot of Americans watching. So it's no surprise to me that we would end up playing this at some point, even just to get a feel or, or have a close look in at what's going on. Like this, the Dixie HQ. What's going on at the moment? Edward Carey has attrition. Poor Edward. Where's Edward fighting? Oh, we're fighting our previous self in the Philippines. Uh, I can maybe send some extra units there. Nah. I mean, <laughs> I don't really mind so much what's going on over there. I'm going to ignore that for the time being. If they win, they win. If they lose, they lose. I feel like what we could do as the Americans is probably... Uh, well, I think we can probably have more in impact over here. Cause the Civil War. Now annex Texas. <laughs> Are we restoring Texas to America? Was that the plan all along? You duped me, chat. You duped me into building... <laughs> Building a powerful Texas. Only to <laughs> try and take them. <laughs> I like it. Um, let's have a look at the American market first of all and see if there are any glaring weaknesses. There are, and it's our ironclads and our ammunition and our small arms and our man of wars across the board. <laughs> Nobody can even get these puppies. They are just ours and super expensive to build and maintain. Can be produced by shipyards. Okay, well, we'll get some shipyards then. Um, Louisiana. Massachusetts. Oh, yeah, we don't come over this way yet. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll get three of those online. And let's also try and plug any other little... Am I in an infinite back loop here? Uh, bullets. Munition plants. Let's get... Four of those in New York. And one in American Oklahoma for all my Oklahomies in the chat. <laughs> uh, and then... Hmm. Explosives. Hardwood? We should be able to build this ourselves. Over in Colorado. Get four of those up in Colorado. Little bit of extra hardwood supply. That should be good enough. Um, we might diversify it somewhere else as well, just in case. Like an American Oklahoma again. <laughs> Neat. Uh, strategic interests as America should look much healthier than they were as Texas. Oh my god, look at all these decrees we've got active. Oh my god. Road maintenance in Louisiana for the extra um, infrastructure? Sure. Oh man, I'm actually really short on, on our diplomatic power. That's fine. Um, we have a whole load of states that aren't yet incorporated into the United States as well. That will cost us bureaucracy and we're already a little bit short on that. Um, I might just hold. We'll unify the states. Eventually. Maybe we bolster our government administration to try and get on top of that. Let's get some extra admin in uh, New York. New York! Pennsylvania and Ohio. <laughs> Stockpiling gold, I know. High tensions? It's fine. 
input good shortages. I'm kind of getting on top of that. We can't afford to produce any more trade routes, but we can build stuff. So let's just build a whole load of crap. Build up our economy to be the freaking powerhouse of the world. You know what I mean? Oklahoma's proving really valuable. Get some coal mines about the place. Um, what else are we short of? Explosives. Oh yeah, we've got the chemical plants coming. That's fine. Um, anything else? Opium? <sighs> Give me some of that. <laughs> Apparently not. Um, and we can support more declared interest. And or release some subjects. Should we release some subjects just for fun? Hmm. No. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> oh my god. Texas, I leave you alone for two minutes and you do this? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the bloody peasants are revolting. <laughs> Interesting. We could join that play. Should we? Who should we join? Should we join the peasant revolt or the Texas that we built? We should probably build the te join the Texas that we built. Although the revolt has a lot more GDP. <laughs> Unify Colorado? Texas Civil War? Yeah, they're at it. <laughs> Okay, let's let this move through to the maneuver phase. And then get real bolshy all over their civil war. <laughs> and we'll support the Texas. Uh, well. I don't think it matters too much. Let's just crush this revolt. Take care of the Texas that we know and love. Join? Yeah, we'll join. We'll join the Civil War. Let's get in with Texas. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> and then have a look at our military... Wait, what? Oh my god, we only have 11 regulars. <laughs> okay, we definitely need to fix that. I kind of just assumed that we would have more. Yeah. Odd. Let's activate some nearby conscription centers. Kentucky in there too. Yeah, we'll just activate all of those. What are all these generals? What? Why do we- why are we having- uh, holding so many of these? Hey you! You're fired! Hey you! Oh crap. He's busy. Uh, you can't fire me, I'm busy. <laughs> Insane. Alright, let's uh, mobilize the army. Grab some more, grab some more, grab all of them! <laughs> uh, immobilize the generals. Oh, what are you all doing? Why are you all here like this? Why do you do this? Like, look at them all. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to fix that right now. I can't believe America has uh, literally nothing. It's going to take two years to get through all that crap. Let's cull that down. Maybe, you know, cut a little bit out of each one. And then bring some barracks, crying out loud, uh, into... Where do we want our military base to be? Louisiana, sure. Sure. 
Five more in Arkansas. And pump up Massachusetts as well. That's such a yikes. <laughs> I just thought, oh, you know, we'll have lots. We're America. But we're young America. <laughs> uh, and then let's bring... I'll click these right to the top of the queue. See ya. <sighs> okay, well, Texas, I can help you. <laughs> Get two generals there. Actually, let's just get them all there. Because they're going to take so long to get their way over. <gasps> huh. Okay. Job done! Ah, <laughs> oh, disease in the wounded. Recovery rate down. Uh, we'll go mortality up. Large numbers of people are migrating. Can't really focus on that at the minute, but glad to hear it. And this will increase migration attraction to Pennsylvania. Or reduce the industrialists. Um, I think that's fine. A little bit of radicalism. Who cares? Alright. We've got our conscripts in, and we should see the Texas Peasant Revolt. How dare they? After I just crafted them. This beautifully powerful thing. What do the peasants want? Who knows? War with the Texan peasant revolt has broken out. They want to annex each other. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, uh, their 14 battalions aren't going to stand up very well against my 166 conscripts. Let's get this crap over and done with. Britain people have began migrating to North Dakota. Take that, you Britons. <laughs> I should annex Nunavut. No other provinces, just Nunavut. Which one is that? Also, I feel like, um, surely we should be able to take Pueblo as well, right? Weird. Like, they should be an easy sweep for us. <laughs> Speaking of should be an easy sweep for us. Uh, hello? <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, nice. Look at this. Minus eight, minus 13, minus 10, minus eight. Just brrr, wiping them. Completely wiping them out. That's what you get for picking on my Texas. How dare you. The war is costing us a pretty penny, but we've got so much cash in our bank. I don't think we even care. <laughs> I really don't. Hmm. All right. More peace treaties, but not the peace treaty that we want to see come up. There's also a mobilized general doing nout. He's busy. Why is this guy so busy? <laughs> what are you busy with? We're at war! <laughs> oh. Standing by in New England. All right. Well, just keep standing, I guess. Um, how have we not just entirely swept over these 13 dudes? Oh, they're just about to capitulate. So you can see the war score up at the top right, if you're unfamiliar. United States of America's growing colonial empire in Africa, along with new means to prevent malaria, has made a serious contender for colonial control of the continent. Bring out the maps and the straight edges, baby. <laughs> Scramble for Africa, a new journal entry. Own seven or more unincorporated states in Africa. We already have some territory. We should probably strengthen that, actually. Unincorporated states. <laughs> should we incorporate it into the United States? <laughs> 20 years. Maybe not. 
I'm gonna get five barracks there. It's really overkill, but I think it's kind of fun. Um, and then we'll make sure that they are uh, at the top of the construction queue. <laughs> <laughs> because it turns out we don't really need them in the states. We've got loads of conscripts who are kind of fitting the bill for us. So um, let's up this power here instead. And fantastic. We help the Texans defend themselves. Nice. Now let's um, let's take this one. Return state. Uh hmm. Conquer state. Yeah. Let's take... What have you got? Color Mexican Colorado. I want it. It's mine. The rogue imperialist. Mood. Uh, we've got a couple of conflicts we could jump in on. There's a diplomatic play in the Congo. And my own play over here. Uh, accept the claim of the American Congo and upset the United States of America. That's me. United States gains a claim on, on the Congo. Sure. Peace treaty. Russia, cut down to size. Spain, <laughs> war reparations. Nice. Now what we're going to do, uh, we could sway the Canadians to come and help us. We won't. Great flag, by the way. I like the addition of the blue. Very cool. Um, let's add another war goal. And puppet all of Mexico. Conquer all of Mexico. <laughs> oh boy. Treaty ports. We could liberate California. United States of America forces Mexico to release the country. Yeah. Kind of fun. Um, what other plays do we have? I really like the Conquer State, you know? I really do. We got Nevada, California. Hmm. Let's instead cause a little bit of border gore. Let's get them to... fly around the world installing police forces and starting wars. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, is there an immigration map? That's a great question. I'm not sure if there is an immigration overview. Although, there are lots that I haven't actually delved into properly. Like, as you can see down here, loads of different views that we can play around with. So I wouldn't like to say for sure. Um, let's make liberating California part of our goals. And let's also conquer... that one I'm wondering if we're going to have access or if that's going to be a little awkward mm. let's just add these in <laughs> what's the worst that could happen I'm going to conquer all of Mexico Mm, half of it. I'll take the top half. Alright? Oh, look. Mexico's in revolution. Well, that's good timing. <laughs> what have I done? Okay. Um, Alright, so... <laughs> we're in revolution. And we've got this... War gold ticking along nicely. North German people are migrating to New York. Love it. We've got all of our war goals added. Let's now look to our military. We've got so much money in the bank that I think we activate some more conscripts. Alabama, hardly know her. Kansas, Kentucky, you're in. American Oklahomies, where you at? <laughs> uh, and we'll mobilize the generals. Netherlands gets the event Colonial Clash. United States gets withdrew from Colonial Incident. We've got Colonial Clash. Mobilize these generals. 
Activate. The crazy clicking. <laughs> we'll leave New York alone. But we'll grab people from all of these other places. And that is looking pretty tasty. Alright. So, now we're going to need to get our units onto some kind of front line. That one. War goals. Austria cut down to size. French war reparations. Okay. Get another army there. And this guy is just, just standing by with his one unit. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Um, there's also a little bit of an army forming over here too. So what we could do is recruit a general over here. Military. Uh, recruit a general. And let's get them in Senegal. We'll get a bougie general <laughs> in Senegal. <laughs> That's Abel. He's Abel. Um, yeah, I think that's good. And then maybe also actually while we're here, just to be safe, we could jump into the military screen. Ah, uh, we've already conscripted them. <laughs> we've conscripted all of our overseas. <laughs> God. I'm going to activate some more conscription centers as we head to war with uh, Mexico. Try and pull a few extra people in. No active research. Let's get, let's get some trenches up in here. Even the Polish know trenches. Can you make Kansas important? I would love to. Go for Kali. I think I'm liberating Kali, but taking everything else. Let's see. We're about to head through into the final phase. Someone was able to be swayed. Oh. Okay. So the Brits have decided that they're going to try and step in and help the Mexicans. I reckon that's a mistake. And I reckon we can take them. <laughs> Famous last words? What's this? Diplomatic play in Mexico. Revolutionary Mexico. Um... <laughs> nah, nah, Chief, I'm just going to let you do that. So they're fighting a civil war in the south. They've got a newly formed Texas to their north that we just saved, by the way. No biggie. Uh, and now we're going to break their backs in their sort of Californian northeastern front as well. War with Mexico hath broken out. Our battalions are coming online slowly. What I don't like is the British involvement. We're kind of triggering a a bit of a quasi-global conflict here. Um, I think the first thing that we'll do then to try and hold off the Brits will be to jump in while we're still paused into the military menu. Jump to Navy. Uh, we've got all everybody under command. 37 under Wesley. So you can't destroy enemy vessels along the coastline. Yeah. I want you to, to patrol this coastline. Uh, and then we'd also like to raid Mexican supply lines here as well in the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll get our main fleet patrolling the coastline. It's much weaker than the British fleet. It's important to note. Um, and then we'll get a smaller one sort of mucking about sinking the Mexican supply. Activate Michigan, you reckon? Should I just go full? I probably should, actually. Yeah. Yeah, now that the Brits are on board, we should probably um, conscript everybody. It's full conscription time! <laughs> Good luck! Let's get some boats from Brazil. Because we're gonna need war, we're gonna need war gear here. We're gonna need new explosives from the French. Uh, ammunition we're very short on. Let's get some Scandinavian bullets. <laughs> Ironclads. Unfortunately, we know how this one plays out. And uh, opium. Not really at the top of my list. Gonna be honest. And then we have literally three inactive trade routes that we can get rid of. Great. High tensions, high tensions, battalions in reserve. 
mobilize all the generals. <laughs> Get our colonial forces mobilized as well. Sure. Uh, and there's about a million notifications on the left-hand side of the screen, but we're just going to ignore those. All right. We're conscripting like there's no tomorrow. Uh, I did see a question in the chat earlier about journal entries and storylines. And as the Americans, holy heck do we have a lot. <laughs> Conquer Mexico and split out California. Spit out California. <laughs> yep, agreed. All right. The war is on. somewhat fear what will happen when the Brits arrive, but we've just immediately capitulated that. So that's great. Um, Abel is overseas. Oh, and this guy, is this guy glitched or am I missing something? Does anybody, can anybody see something I can't? I can't seem to retire him because he's busy. He's been busy forever. And he's just stuck on standby. Because he's busy. Busy doing what? Who are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, uh, fine. Um, Alright. You're advancing that front, and you should be advancing that one as well. Yes, you are. What's going on over here? Oh, God, yeah, of course. So we're going to have to get old bloody Abel uh, over here. And I've got 97 units traveling towards this. Are you kidding me? What? I wonder if we can get there before them. Seven days. Forty-six days. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it, but we'll do. He's busy getting paid and not fired. I know, right? Okay, so we'll push there and see if we can try and, try and quickly take that from them. Although, good luck, because look at their colonial foothold there. Damn. They're really starting to swallow uh, Africa. However, we're making a great push through Mexico. There's just nothing here. <laughs> it's a free line to the coast, boys! The front line's looking like they're on fire. It's a great touch, isn't it, Tink? I wish that they would add, eventually, it's not a big deal, but a few more touches like that. Especially at the different zoom levels. You know, there could be um, different ways to demonstrate where the troops are moving and fighting, you know, like there could be explosions along the part of the border or I don't know, little things like that to add to that. But I agree. It's pretty cool. Oh my God. Dude. Look at us gobble, gobble, gobble up Mexico. <laughs> This guy now has 21 of our troops. Pretty annoying. I'm going to promote our other generals. <laughs> we'll just get them really massively promoted. Uh, as we gobble, gobble, gobble up Mexico like the hungry, hungry hippo that we are. How's Abel doing? Oh, Abel. We'll chuck Abel on defense to try and reduce losses over there. Estonian people have begun migrating to Queensland. Go Australia, go! <laughs> um, and our conquest of Mexico has been... There's no other word for it other than embarrassing, really. They've got a few troops here, though. You'll notice the Brits largely fighting for them. 
This war's costing us $400,000. Amazing. I wonder if we could pull Canada out from underneath them. It's tempting. But we've just unlocked trench warfare. That's also pretty tempting. Um, accept the claim on American Congo and upset the US. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm a little bit confused about why this front line hasn't swept through. Oh, and in election news, the Working Men's Party, the Whig Party, and the Democratic Party all received within Kui of each other. <laughs> Great. Uh, maybe we could look to reform our government and make a few spicy legal changes here in America as well. Well, I mean, the Working Men's Party won. This would take us on a somewhat interesting journey. <laughs> Our legitimacy is only 17%. There's far too many interest groups in here. Let's put in the Industrializing Trade Unionists and the Working Men's Party. And... That is a big old reform for Eugene Shepard. <laughs> now that we've done that, let's um, let's try and strengthen us up a little bit. <laughs> we, 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 we won't change that just yet. Um, what could I do to push through more power? You know me. I do love a police force, um, but we already have local police, so it's probably okay. We've got colonial resettlement, that's fine. Command economy. <laughs> Let's try and push through command economy. That's quite funny. Um, and will give us a load of authority and taxation capacity. <laughs> Sure. It's going to be a little difficult. We'll see how it goes. Police state. Yeah. Yeah. We'll give the uh, evangelists that one. Now, I think what's happened here is maybe I've reached for too many war goals and then been stuck. Like, probably the smart thing to do would have been to grab, say, just California and brrrt my way across there and grab it. The other thing is that the Brits are involved, and so there are um, probably alternative goals and all sorts of crap. Yep. American war reparations. Liberate. Huh. They push for some interesting things, actually. I like that. Uh, uh, eh, okay. No, we're doing all right. Let's have a look behind the scenes. Maybe we can add a little bit of extra power. Um, oh, actually, we already have a really nicely upgraded military, though, don't we? Crap. That's so good. Um, this is not so good. Let's try and... Uh, we've got a lot of bureaucracy, so let's try and quickly import the resources that we need. Looks like the French are just all over us, which is great, because we'll use them to buy a lot of guns. We'll get guns out of the Dutch as well. We could use some more artillery. Um, go for the Dutch there too. Okay. Convoys raided. Unhealthy economy can support more declare interest. 211 battalions in reserve. Let's recruit a new general in Dixie HQ. There's 118 battalions waiting there. We'll get an armed forces leader behind them. And then we will promote the ever-loving crap out of this guy. There we go. <clears throat> 
and we'll mobilize him. And then we'll get him on... <sighs> I think we'll just get him to squeeze that front. Because if we can get rid of that one, then we can divert our focus elsewhere. And at the moment, it is proving a little bit tricky. Also, the Mexican Civil War. <laughs> it's kind of annoying as well, but we'll leave them to it. Um, triumph for the Intelligentsia. Intelligentsia gets new communist government for five years. <laughs> Uh, it's a little chaotic. But sure. And the PB demand the promotion of Brigadier General Abel Cabot, touting his history of loyal and effective service. Well. Okay. Uh, and we see an opportunity to call in the obligation of Scandinavia! Look at this guy! Yes! Owes us by requesting their service of their commanders. Just what our military needs. The obligation is worth more than the skills of one man. Um, becomes employed by America, Scandinavia. So we'd basically just get this this badass. Nah. <laughs> I don't think we need that one guy. We're fine. <laughs> Migration attraction in Guinea. Okay. Let's do this one because it increases the trade unionists more migration that's fine and then these these colonial events were getting sort of again and again and again conquer Mexico I'm just stuck staring at the North Pacific and I'm not mad about it. Large numbers of Polish people, a country that I'll remind you we created, are also going to South Australia. South Australia has so much migration, man. So much. This is real ugly over here. But we'll just... <laughs> Disrespecting our maps. Maybe we... Oh, nah, Abel, you're stuck, mate. The following war goals were enforced on Great Britain. Capitulation. Oh, yes. <laughs> With the Brits out of the way, watch as we gobble, gobble, gobble this territory down. It seems like the Mexicans have now been abandoned by their British allies. Unfortunate for them. War proving too expensive. We've burned through our entire treasury now. We're burning through 480,000 bucks. It's insane. This war has been so costly. <laughs> wow. And now that the Brits are out of the way, we're going to try and do a naval invasion down to the southern part of Mexico. And hopefully that will round this conflict out. So let's go to our military, uh, navy, and naval invasion. There. Send Simon. 120 dudes. Yes. Uh, and then we'll also get another naval invasion, probably. Um, these guys don't have as many ships. Hopefully they'll be all right. <coughs> we could send them around the other side. Yeah, go on. Uh, and here we'll send... Ooh. Morton. <laughs> all right. Good luck. And Godspeed. <laughs> I'm talking a lot of tough game over here in this colonial territory, but to be fair... Not really enforcing it at the minute. How did we do on this naval invasion? Oh, that's actually them fighting. Hmm. On hindsight, I would have joined that conflict as well, I reckon. Oh, yes, we did it! <laughs> we just rolled over them in the south. Oh, man. Look how American Mexico looks right now. Liberate Albania. 
AI seems pretty random. Mm, it's, I wouldn't say it's so random that it ruins the game, but as you can imagine, in a simulator like this, where the butterfly effect is very real, you will naturally end up with oddities playing out. Um, yeah, there's probably some value in it. What just happened? Oh. I think what's just happened is the Mexican Civil War ended. And maybe there's a bit of a strange interaction um, where the Civil War ended and their agreement overrun the territory that I had taken. That's my theory. I don't know. I've never seen that happen before. Probably a bit of a, um, a slightly more like late game niche situation. <laughs> but let's do this naval invasion again because we know that that worked last time. Um, yeah, that's my theory. I don't know. If you have a better idea in chat, sing out. We'll be making tutorials. I love your vids. Absolutely, Sebastian. You can beat your backside. In fact, I've already got... Um, both my review and also a, a beginner's guide, which I think is fairly manageable and, and paced pretty well, but I'd love some feedback on that. Too complex, not complex enough, that kind of thing, or, or just right, Goldilocks zone, that'd be great to hear. But yeah, absolutely. I am really enjoying Victoria 3. A lot. Yeah, it's very cool. And the replayability on it, oh my god. You could do so many things. You know, like the scale is mind-boggling when you think about it. <laughs> Take one country, apply 10 different types of government to it, apply I don't know how many different military and economic strategies, you know? Like, it's it, it's pretty surreal uh, just how many things you could do. Teleport. Yeah. We'll get our naval teleport online. <laughs> oh. Okay, so our war support is falling, but we're still in the green just. And our troops have arrived. <laughs> it's time to perform what I like to call the Mexican sweep. <laughs> oh, they only have two units. They should really just roll over at this point, shouldn't they? Hello, Stefan. Thanks. Thanks for the feedback. Revolution check? Oh my god. Say it ain't so. Nah, we're, we're all good. We're all good. We'll ignore that. Uh, and that. Uh, oh shoot, the trouble is we're entirely bankrupt because this war's been going on too long. Because I think we got shafted by their civil war ending. That's a disaster. <laughs> What we could do maybe is, oh no, we can't, and we can't stop mobilizing the generals until we beat them. So we're actually kind of stuck a little bit in a death spiral. <laughs> we'll have to raise taxes and cut wages. And even then it's not going to help. Look at the cost of our military buildings. $480,000. We really went all in on the American military. And it's worked. Like we're incredibly strong. But we just can't seem to get the war score any higher than this 88%. My naval invasion maybe failed. I think we should try that again. Tiki have launched a native uprising. That's fine. America is falling apart because we're stuck in a war for too long. I don't like it. I've got a command economy online though. That's pretty nuts. Uh, I haven't used that one before. <laughs> Let's woo the people. No, Americans don't like that. <laughs> Guaranteed liber liberties, they do like that. Let's get a dedicated police force up in here. That's what I do best. Checking in on the peace deal, I don't think we can secure a peace deal with just a couple of the goals. Another thing that would be nice to have... Um, you know, like, it, it does feel like a bit of a weakness to be stuck in this debt trap 
clearly winning this war, but unfortunately just unable to reach through. Is Pueblo playable? <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> they are. Do, should we emergency exit? No. War with Tekke has broken out? Who is this? Let's get our, um... Oh! Sweet. Let's sneak a hundred troops in behind there and just blitz out Mexico. Please! <laughs> we'll forget about the colonial territory for the minute. I need to get this push done. They're at minus 100! Yes! <laughs> okay, there we go. We got disrupted by their civil war, and that cost us probably millions of pounds. Millions of pounds. Six hours and counting. Yeah, Chris, we're six hours in. Not quite how, as long as I had intended, but thank you anyway. <laughs> Welcome in. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so it was that civil war. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we capitulate. We'll give them ticky. Now we're back in the green. Hallelujah. The economy, we can start to pay down our massive war debts. Uh, was it worth it? Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Border gore moment right there. Yeah, Adam, look at how disgusting it looks. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, okay. Well, there was our American tester. Um, I will probably end the stream soon-ish. Ish. But, who would you like me to try next? YouTube, Twitch chat. I'm watching Twitch chat as well. There are 330 of you over there still. Thanks to that very generous raid from Bo. If you'd like to request a country to see the year's currently 1886 so we're uh actually almost exactly 50 years exactly 50 years into the game it's therefore changed a lot probably from the starting situations you might have seen i mean this is a fantastic example let's puppet pueblo shall we while i'm gas bagging and you're putting suggestions into the chat let's do that I don't think we need to go to any crazy mobilization stretches here. <laughs> you know, I think we can probably just grab our battalions and sweep that over. Anybody joining them? No. The Canadians could think about it, but they're the only one with an interest. <laughs> so we'll gobble that up nicely. Canada? Oh, we could just jump further north. I love the casual imperialism. I'm with Tekke. Who's that? Oh yeah, the colony we don't care about across the ocean. Yeah, it was kind of like that. Yeah, I had to just be like, no, sorry, Mexico is my focus. You're free. Do what you need to do. <laughs> and we're at war with <laughs> the colony that we created as the Mexicans. We'll gobble that up and connect the United States of America handily. Um, that's a pretty easy one for us, really, isn't it? It's got to be said. That's fairly easy. We should also probably use the power of our government to try and change something. Whoa, 7%. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Slowly crawling our way out of this debt cycle. <laughs> annex Texas. I could annex Texas first. Switzerland. Canada. Pueblo's so strong. Oh my god, they actually are, aren't they? Look at their attitude. Minus 3,125. <laughs> What's this? Diplomatic play in Mexico is an uprising. You versus the uprising. 
Why? <laughs> I mean, sure. Let me get a few extra troops. Just a couple. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> There's a rousing speech to increase our chances of getting that passed. Uh, their war support now looks to just be almost immediately dead because look, they literally are. And now there's an uprising. Okay. That's kind of frustrating. Um, who do we want? You. Oh! <laughs> That's actually <laughs> really awkward because it's stuck inside of Mexico. You can have it. Puppet? Oh, this is our one, sorry. Um, what, what, so what do they want? Revoke American claims. <sighs> we'll just get rid of that for now. I think that's fine. Um, there was talk of us also taking California. <laughs> Mood. We might be in a peace treaty with them at the minute. Though, Pueblo was created much earlier than California. Generally, there's around a year or something like that. Um, done. Okay, we puppeted it. Great. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> there it is. The lovely <laughs> blue Pueblo. Sort of quasi-independent state operating within the United States. Um, that's pretty cool. Let's conquer Texas too while I'm here. Why not? We built this Texas, and now we're going to take this Texas. <laughs> uh, the maps are clear. The colony is ours. There's no need to cede all of our territory. Just because I'm not focusing on it at the minute. Let's incorporate, over the next 20 years, the Windward Coast as an official United State of America. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Uh, now, this is escalating to warfare, so let's get... Adna. Hardly know her. Mobilized. And on that front line. And we'll also get old mate Ed mobilized on that front line. And finally, Simon, the furthest one away from him on that front line. <clears throat> and Texas will bleed. We have a dedicated police force. Took longer than expected, but democracy is a slow beast. Americans don't want to support the poor at the minute. Social security, no thank you, we say. Legal guardianship. Yeah, we, we should probably give women the right to vote. Loads of people support it. Workforce ratio, dependent enfranchisement, down on birth rate. Workforce ratio, work, okay, so, yeah, so we can really up the workforce ratio by allowing uh, women the opportunity to vote like us. So let's do that, dudes. <laughs> This Windward Coast one. I mean, really, how many times? <laughs> uh, prestige or legitimacy. Legitimacy will help us pass laws faster. Let's go legitimacy. We are the legit Americans. Still in massive debt, but... <laughs> look at that gold reserves chart down the bottom. We're actually recovering fairly quickly. After that very expensive conquest of Mexico. Goodness gracious. It's unbelievable. <laughs> actually unbelievable. Oh, we did it. We took Texas. <laughs> we took its coal mines, we took its maize farms, its barracks, its conscription centers. We took the lot. Damn, Daniel. Yeah, and the rest of them are kind of peace locked. 
Uh, I'll hurt them, I think. Ooh. Hello. What are you doing there? Hmm. Cute. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else I could stretch here? Not especially. Your Texas is strong. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Uh, it's a shame we didn't we didn't quite push through there, but we opted to liberate California instead. I think that's all right. They're agnostic towards us. A mood. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there another request for who's next? Make the Windwards Estate, conquer North Mexico. The things we Americans will do to not make Puerto Rico a state. Um. Yeah, I mean, it is tempting, isn't it? I think we'll be locked in a, a truce for quite some time, though. Yeah, we're locked in a truce until the 19th of October. Mm, 1891. Mexico is embargoing the United States of America. <laughs> Can you believe these guys? Ships of the Air was successfully completed. Air! <laughs> Federal Republic of Central America conquer London yeah actually we do have a bit of power don't we what's the deal with the Canadians okay see you hmm Maya that would be a nice little bit, wouldn't it? Let's conquer it. Let's do that. I think that's a nice idea. Uh, radicals in Delaware over that, I think. Let's not take the authority hit. Let's add 10,000 bucks to the government expenses. That's not too bad. Um... Colony growth speed also doesn't really matter too much. Army offense from our ships in the sky. You bet your backside. Uh, and commander commends civic coalition. How dare you. <laughs> How dare you. Okay, so we'll have an active um, thing here. We'll want to also, of course, conquer their other state so that we can take both of those and then we'll have this nice little squeeze around the mexicans <laughs> revolution check whoa -oh! <laughs> i'm chaotic so i'm gonna let that just just stay exactly where it is um maybe we could punish the rural folk or something mm, no i think we'll just we'll just play that out at its 83 percent we do have 10 million radicals, although I note it's going down just slightly. Number of loyalists is also going down, though I don't love that. We should probably pay slightly closer attention um, to the interest groups in this in this government. The Socialist Party of America. Interesting. I feel like removing them will help a lot. Yeah. Let's do that. Democratic Party? Huh? Like a bit of democracy in here? Landowners? They're really angry with us. They are so angry. Oh my god. We're losing so much income off of that. It's fine. Let's kick the Socialist Party out of government. You're out. See ya. Kick to the curb. <laughs> Private health insurance. Sounds like a bit of an American thing. Pretty low chance of getting it through, but no one really cares too much. <laughs> you know, no, no, not significantly. Election in 59 days. Surge in support for the Working Men's Party. And a real drop for the Whig. Alright. Let's do it. 
let's grab this little bit south of Mexico. <laughs> Yikes. Mobilize them. It, I don't think we'll need to add any conscripts, will we? No. No. And another naval invasion there with Adna. Cool. All right. So we've got a couple of naval invasions planned. Uh, we could also be constructing, by the way. Oh, people are migrating to New Zealand. I read that, but then it, it, uh, it disappeared. We've got a whole load of inactive trade routes that we should just completely scrap. That's bad governance right there. Um, die. We are so short on die. Brazilian die and Peruvian die. United States of America election results are in, and the Working Men's Party wins 54% of the vote. Democrats also winning. It's probably time for me to reform the government as such, I think. Probably the right thing to do. Yep. Working Men's Party, and hmm, that's kind of an interesting mix, isn't it? <laughs> sure, the Socialist Party of America and the Working Men's Party shall take over. Six hours, will sleep come? Never go to sleep, keep it up. <laughs> My voice is getting a little raspy, I've, I've got to admit. I'm not sure how much longer I've got in me. But, um, the good news is, um, I won't be going to sleep, because it's only like, oh my god, it's nearly 4pm. Where did this day go? <laughs> well, can't win them all. Child labour. Council Republic? Political strength for farmers and... <laughs> I mean, that's just watching the world burn at that point. We'll keep our bureaucrats elected. Let's get universal suffrage up in here. Because everybody's suffering under my rule. <laughs> Finishes New Zealand. Yeah, I would like to have a look over that side of the world, actually. Oceania is, I think, the only continent that we haven't played in. Antarctica not being playable. Um, I think? Yeah. Oh, I'm counting my Brazil video as playing South America, actually, aren't I? Ooh, what's going on down here? Uruguay. Come on, dude. Um, there's a secession movement happening in Scandinavia. Radical Scandinavia breaking out. Radical Liberia has also broken out. <laughs> uh, Liberia. I hardly know her. Um, okay, let's get Abel mobilized. And on that front. Thank you, Abel. Maybe we want to conscript some units as well. Could do. Samuel Spiel, thanks for the $2 donation. Uh, favorite nation so far. Oh. Ah, uh, that is a difficult question, and you know it, Samuel. Um, the favorite one that I've played so far, I could give you a couple. Hmm. I really enjoyed my time as Persia, because it went well, but also it, it was a really interesting dynamic. Um, I loved playing Brazil for my video. Would recommend them if you're interested in the war side of Victoria 3, because they're at war straight away, so you can just jump straight in. What is this? The Dutch South Island. Wow. That's neat. Um, <laughs> but I'm not sure it's actually on my favourite favourite yet. Actually, maybe it is Persia. Yeah. 
I really liked their spot. I like how you have a few neighbors who you can bully and then you have a strong ally beside you who's in the middle of conflict. They're in a really neat spot in the world. Yeah, it probably is. But again, early days. Thanks for the $2 dono though, friend. Okay, so we're going to make the Mayans capitulate very soon. And then the radicals over in Liberia, how are they doing? Yeah, we're doing all right. I think we'll be able to take them out. Universal suffrage is going well. There is a revolution of the rural folk and evangelists growing stronger by the day, though. We could let that happen and destroy them. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, the Mayans have fallen. And there is our uprising. All right. Oh, sorry. This is a different one. This is the Afro-American uprising. Neat. I'll just click that a few times. And then we'll get these generals on these front lines. Who's left? Edward. And old stuck on standby boy. <laughs> uh, we've managed to bring our gold reserves back up basically into the green. That is fantastic. The American economy is doing very well. Um, we could probably actually ease up our taxation a bit now. Up the government wages, up the military wages. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, um, let's give the people a slightly better quality of life. And maybe reduce this nonsense from taking place as well. <laughs> Following World Wars were enforced on Radical Liberia. See ya. Why is China blue? Uh, we played as China a little earlier in the stream. I think this is a good moment to so reflect if you're the bad guy. Uh, no. Um, yeah, we played as China earlier and they... Um, had a, a quite a significant change in government they are now a militarist dictatorship who freed tibet and also this place oh boy persia's cracking a little bit there we'll uh look past that uh united states of america versus new africa where oh my i wasn't paying attention and now we're really fighting <laughs> America has broken out into full-blown revolution at this point, and I love it. Um, we're going to basically have to activate every single conscript under the sun. And all of our generals are mobilized already. Now we need to get them... We need to get them... Split across awkwardly a couple of different fronts. There's also some awkward logistics at play here. That is hilarious. We're going to let them play out. And we're going to jump to our next one. Switch country. See you, America. Thanks. That was fun. Bye. We're going to come over here to New South Wales, which is Australia and the North Island of New Zealand. And quickly, probably, unless there's something spicy for us to unpack, uh, get a feel for what they are. <laughs> like I say, the final continent that we've yet to play, we'll try it once. Why is the flag in tatters? <laughs> Close. Um, all right, let's have a look. I don't know what these are doing up here. I think they are not to do with us, though. Active Journal Entry Federate Australia, so we need to own Western. The North Island, yeah, right. So the Federate Australia pathline basically has them take all of modern day Aussie and all of modern day New Zealand and just run all over it and federate it into Australia. Um, I reckon that's pretty fun. There's a maybe a quick way to do it if we have colonize, uh, we don't. So what we need to do is enact um, colonial exploitation. We should probably push that through a little faster by maybe reforming the government it's a pretty messy government 
the Communist Party and the Social Democratic Party. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's potential there. But we've got the Conservatives, the Free Traders, and the Liberals. And which the Free Traders would be a little bit more legit. And can we still get, we can get secret police? Love a bit of secret police in Australia. Uh, serfdom, elected bureaucrats. Yeah. Okay, I mean, we can still get colonial exploitation. So let's do that. A more legit government will be able to pass laws faster. So we've got the Conservative Party and the Liberal Party in power. They should be able to push that through, hopefully. <laughs> Education in Australia is great. Uh... Somewhat religious. And this should be passing now, hopefully fairly easily. Success 13%, advance, debate, not a chance to stall it. Yeah, great. Once we have that unlocked, I think we can then colonize this territory, um, which isn't an incorporated state, so it doesn't really have a lot in the way of diplomacy. Um, and then we're looking at Naitahu, which we'll also need to colonize, because again, not an incorporated state. Uh, Nati Tor, likewise. And then there's the awkward Netherlands, who in this playthrough have taken sort of the top part of the South Island. Probably stretching across from the Dutch East Indies, which is also looking pretty freaking border gory right now. <laughs> Huh. Look at that. Iberia. They did it. So uh, way earlier in the stream, like hours and hours and hours ago, we were playing as Spain and we puppeted um, Portugal. And now looks like they've merged into the superpower, thanks to us mucking around with them a bit, maybe, called Iberia. Uh, obviously the Iberian Peninsula. Um, <laughs> it's a pretty big peninsula. Uh, <laughs> Sick! That's so cool! What's the American Revolt doing? Yeah, they're doing fine. They'll squish that, I'm sure. Oh! Brazil's revolting at the minute as well. Would be a good chance for Peru to jump in there. And we're making a little bit of cash, but not a huge amount. It might be enough to get us an extra barracks, though, I reckon. Or maybe some conscription centers. We'll get one of each. We'll get two of those, actually. We'll just add a, a slight militarization to Australia. Um, mm, the colonial affairs are stalling a bit. Hopefully we'll get an event that will let us sacrifice some political power to push it through. Like this one! <laughs> uh, colonial enthusiasm. Plus 20% chance. Plus 10% chance. 10% chance. Colony growth speed. Prestige. Let's just go enactment chance. Because without enacting it, we can't do anything. So we need to do that. Uh, also, the rural folk being pretty annoying. If I can get 200 authority, we can punish them. There must be a tax here that's costing that. Oh man, that opium tax is really going ham. <laughs> We'll cull those two taxes. It'll free up some authority. And then we'll suppress the rural folk to try and reduce their chances of being a strong revolutionary force. Large numbers of people in the northern Andean have moved around. It's fine. And then there's also all of this. We'd probably want a bit of a navy, though. Um, oh, and of course it's also, also, important to note, New South Wales currently a minor part of power. We are a puppet state of Great Britain, of course. Should we expel their diplomats? <laughs> Bankroll, no. Damage relations, no. We'll play that out as it stands. There's likely, um, if not unlocked already, some potential 
down the line. Maybe once we federate Australia, there could be a, a path line for independence as well. I don't know. Um, or we could just take it ourselves. North German people have been migrated. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh, revolution is eking closer and closer as we try and push through colonial exploit uh, exploitation, which is now at 43%, so it's doing all right. Well, it's doing okay. Uh, oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> the Confederate State of America, Alabama, seized independence out of that war. I love that so much. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Go you. Break away. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, mm, railway, probably a waste of time. Most of our resources are okay. Checking in on the market. Of course, we're part of the British market. Automobiles. Electricity. <laughs> Silk and rubber and we actually are probably going to have to import that <laughs> let's get the finest ottoman silk neat uh do we have interests we do have one and it's in france <laughs> uh we might leave that and instead probably declare an interest up here, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, etc. And what is this? A Hawaiian religious revolt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Suppressing the rural folk. Building up the armed forces and the industrialists. 80% of the way through. Oh, it's done next month. Neat. See someone enjoying some grand strategy. Hey, white nerdy. Sorry, I missed your message. Welcome. Hopefully uh, it wasn't too long ago. Um, Partisan papers. I mean, New South Wales. The Conservative Party has used the papers brilliantly. There's our colonial exploitation. Let's get on that. Hard and fast. Um, can probably just throw in a, a generally good law, maybe. Could change our voting rights, freedom of conscience. Peasant levies is kind of crappy, but we don't really have military support to <laughs> change that too much. Could guarantee people's liberties, but I don't really like that. We've got propertied woman, and should we just have some censorship up in here. No. I'm going to do my classic move and get a, um, get a dedicated police force. It's fine. <laughs> and now we can colonize. Let's colonize Noongar. Uh, nice. 109 days. And let's colonize the North Island. Federate Australia completed. Yeah. Not entirely sure how. New South Wales gets Australian Federation for five years and New South Wales becomes a dominion of Great Britain. Uh, in a war with newer Hardly newer has broken out. Uh, I don't think that's going to go very well. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> and there's a battle between the Dutch and Naitahu. They're making their. They're seizing the South. Unbelievable. Um. Could up our science, build some cool things, munition plants for some bullets. We do need those. Um, try and upgrade our economy a little bit, get some more advanced stuff. Arms industries. Yeah. 
Let's get arms industries and munition plants. Just so that we can make some guns. Um, revolution is so <laughs> close to breaking out, but we're just managing to hold it down. Our colonial affairs have created a little bit of extremism within the country. It's got, it's got to be said. Uh, and the Brits just can't get their hardwood here. <laughs> we'll import it from Austria. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, and look at that! The Netherlands have taken the South Island. I don't know about that. That is pretty funny, actually. <laughs> but we did federate Australia, so that's nice. Path deliveries and public trading branching out. I think that this colonial territory will change to our New South Wales Dominion purpley blob uh, once it's finished colonizing. But because colonizing tends to be a little easier early on, I haven't done... Well, I've done a little bit of it, but I haven't done a lot. Oh shit, I'm getting a red. That's a bit of a yikes, isn't it? High tensions. Yeah. Stands to reason. <laughs> right? What's this? Um, benefit from a police force and the rural folk lose their attraction? Oh, this one, they really lose it. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just completely crush the Australian rural folk. <laughs> yep, we're really trying to make them angry. We're trying to pull as much support away from them as possible. Uh, and <laughs> just completely belittle them in every possible way. Quick world check. Oh, that's just a lake. <laughs> Lithuania not doing so hot. Our cute little Poland still surviving though. As Germany fractures, revolutionary Germany takes hold. US seem to be okay with New Africa. Just just taking stuff there. So that's pretty funny. <laughs> Sorry about that. Colombia, the capital of New Africa <laughs> on mainland US. <laughs> Wicked. Oh, a bit of a bit of a mining accident. Okay, cool. So, in 10 days, we will colonize this little bit of Australia. It will also lead to tension, so I wouldn't be surprised if um, we become a tad more revolutionary as we move through. But, you know, we'll see. <laughs> Biggest can't be choosers and all that. <laughs> uh, okay, progress towards gaining additional province, 20%. Next one. Okay, cool. So that'll just sort of slowly eat away at that. And then it's just the Netherlands who, because we weren't playing as Australia early on, um, are a little bit of a thorn in our side. There's not an awful lot we could do to take that. Chinese. <laughs> I actually think they might have revolted against them. I'm not sure. Um, I reckon that's probably about all we could explore with Australia right now in the timeline. Any other suggestion? Any takers? Any calls in chat? I am watching YouTube and Twitch for change. Watching both at the same time. How is he multitasking? Uh, we could also, for fun, jump back into a state that we played at the start and see how they've progressed throughout the game. <laughs> oh, I really like the idea of either Canada or Australia forming itself and then breaking away. Um, I like that a lot. Let's actually just quickly have a geese at Canada. And I'll, I'll watch what you're saying, of course. Russia? Uh, we have already done Russia. But uh, happy to go back and take another look as well, if there's a lot of call for it. Um, we didn't spend too much time in Russia. We kind of just used them to liberate Poland, really. Canada, what do you look like? What's your... Like, what are you doing? Presidential Republic. Wealth voting, racial segregation, peasant levies. Interesting. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Not a lot. What's your market look like? 
Yeah, all right. It's just those war goods that are in high demand. Whoever has built their economy to make those is going to do really well. That could be a fun playthrough. Uh, what have you got? Canada, Russia, Soviet Union, Brazil. I love Brazil. I have a full video on Brazil. Um, they're really fun to play. All right, lots of calls for Russia. I'll just pop in whenever we know that old Russia, see what they're up to. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, forewarning, I think I am going to uh, end the stream. It's been, uh, we'll be coming up to the seven hour mark. I think that's pretty decent. Um, ugh, yeah. Probably what we'll do. The Ottomans. California. Oh, yeah. Independent California. Look at their wicked flag. <laughs> that is so cool. I wonder if they could take... Yeah, they can't quite take the Mexicans, but that would be pretty funny if we jumped in as them, buddied up with the US, ceded some territory, and then just brrr, California all over there. I like that a lot. Um, we've taken over Russia. Not... Not actively at war with anyone, which is pretty funky. Um, if we jump onto the... Uh... Yeah, no, we're, we're producing things. The AI's queued up a lot of government administration and then wheat farms. And it's going to take us about three years to build them. But that's fine. Hey! Um... Garrisons wise, nowhere near as strong as someone like China from what we saw earlier, but still pretty decent. What I am kind of interested in having a look at. Oh my god, the states. It's outstanding. Uh, we're a little bit bankrupt, but we're making gains, which suggests to me that we were probably at war. <laughs> That's a pretty safe guess. What subjects do we have? Because I'm nearing the end of the stream, I'm going to do uh, a couple of chaotic things. Just to test Victoria 3 and see what happens. What would happen if we just said in 1893, Russia broke up? Huh. Perm. Interesting. That is pretty cool. What's even cooler, of course, is that we could play as any of these states. So if there's a particular playthrough that you have in mind, you're not even limited to, say, I don't know, the starting nations in 1836. Uh, to get through to something like this at this stage, we might need maybe extra starting times. At the moment, there's no way to start at a different time. You just start at 1836. Makes sense. Um... But what you could always do is jump in as a nation, break out a piece of it, and then play as that piece. Like I've just demonstrated here by completely destroying Russia. China would probably be another good one. Uh, we know that the US and Mexico, there's a lot of varied interests around there. Brazil has done so bad. That's embarrassing. And then we can play as Perm, or Yakutia, or Siberia. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Finally found your Twitch after watching YouTube videos for a few days. Oh, nice. Yeah, I stream on uh, both YouTube and Twitch. Today's Twitch stream, thanks to some very kind raids from a bow and a potato, um, have brought in a lot of new viewers. So welcome, if you're watching this. Um, YouTube is my primary platform, but I do live stream across both of them almost every time, um, just to make sure that you can watch it wherever you like. Oh, man. And look at this. Of course. Ha. Huh. Oh, that is fantastic. Just out of curiosity now. Let's jump back. We haven't we haven't visited China since we finished. I might finish with them. Since we started, I mean. <laughs> oh, my God. They're just about to break into... They, they, <laughs> it was a terrible time to join China. They just broke into revolution. I think we should lose it. On purpose. 
Switch sides. Switch to the Peasant Revolt. <laughs> so now we're playing as, as the Chinese Peasant Revolt. <laughs> this game is pretty good. Yeah. I think you'll, um... I think people will have a lot of fun with this. You caught both the raids? Oh, man. Oh, you were jumping around. Okay, I was going to say, like, oh, man, you've been here for a while. That is even more impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that is even more funny. Um, India remains super fragmented. I think there'd be a fun play there. I've heard good things about the Sikh Empire. Um, I haven't tried them themselves, but in a developer Q&A, they said that the Sikh Empire could be a really fun one to play as well. If you're looking for interesting nations to play that aren't necessarily just, you know, like Great Britain or Russia or Austria or whatever. Um, apparently the Sikh Empire can be quite fun. If we have a look at their political overview... Oh, God. Well, not a particularly happy people. Something radical changed back there. <laughs> wow. Autocratic monarchy. Traditional economy. Yike. Fun enough, though, I reckon. What do their populations look like? What's that? You want charts? <laughs> Uh, peasantry. Yeah, peasantry and laborers. They're going bankrupt? Oh my god, they are. Look at their terrible economy. And they're on f very high taxes. And look at all their consumption taxes! Oh my god. They're not constructing anything. We could cut their wages to save like three grand, but something's gone horribly wrong. Import some Ottoman tools will make the economy a little bit better. <laughs> we're not actively at war, so we're not funding any warfare. We're not constructing anything. Yeah, ma maybe start at the start of the game with these guys, because... Uh, <laughs> jumping in with them now, probably not the best move. Let's, let's go back and have a look at Persia, another one that we played at the start. We were pretty happy with them when we left them, so I'm hoping to see a, yeah, look at this, a glorious economy. Fantastic. It's not perfectly balanced, but it's pretty good. I could build some more coal mines. Fifth best coal mines in the freaking world. Oh yeah, and look at that. Nice one. Persia. A strong economy. <laughs> this is what a strong economy looks like. We're 20 likes away from 600. Oh my god. <laughs> Insane. Uh, yeah, we did play Persia earlier. And it goes to show, doesn't it, Tink? Because look how well they're doing. Lol. <laughs> Algeria, Morocco. Iberia was one as well. Let's do a quick revisit of them. They're probably actually our greatest success story. More so than Persia. We started as Spain, puppeted uh, Portugal, and then left the AI to it. And they actually did a great job. And they've got their little colonial territories. Look at their diplomatic power. Holy crap. They're doing, they're raising so many relations. That's nuts. Stockpiling gold, flotillas in the reserve. Yeah, I'm really proud of these guys. I wonder if they'd consider fighting the French. They would consider it, but it would be really terrible. <laughs> um, oh, and I'm sorry, we should probably finish with Victoria, actually. Did Ethiopia implode on itself? Um, I'm not sure it ever existed. I can't remember. 1836. What does Ethiopia look like in 1836? <laughs> I don't... I can't actually remember what this territory looked like at the start, but <laughs> here's, some, here's the Horn of Africa. Um, Egypt and the Ottomans are kind of the two most significant players in their broad area. Persia as well, though. 
And so here we are as Victoria. She has goals like build a skyscraper. <laughs> a world of a difference. We are, of course, the number one world power. Kind of weird to see that flag behind them, but again, they're glitchy. Um... Let's end the game without any preparation by making the Brits fight the French. The 100 years war that just goes on and on and on. And I think that would be a pretty cool way to end this. A couple of quick things I could do. Military. Conscripts. Just every single one. Just go. Yep. Just do it. I want you all inside. Great. Uh, budget. Budget. Oh my god, they had taxes on full. We'll scrap that a bit. Um, any inefficient taxes could be removed, but they look to be doing fine. Holy crap, that services tax. 41,000 on furniture? Okay, the services tax is going to produce $103,000. Insane. Let's remove the opium tax and tax the drug that the English like more. That's right, it's their precious tea. <laughs> and now we're making 150k. Uh, we could recruit a general in the English HQ once more. Let's do it. You look great. Armed forces, love it. And... Maybe, what, uh, what is she building? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, university, fair enough. Uh, and then what we'll quickly do maybe is just get a couple of like, I don't know, barracks or something. On the home counties. Just give us a few extra units. <laughs> and then we'll make a push. Let's see, the Napoleonic Wars, V2. I think that's a fun idea. Uh, let me guess. Do we have a peace treaty with them? Oh, no, hold on. There's just like a million other diplomatic plays. Okay. Um, I'm going to declare neutrality. We've got the Nile. It's actually me that I've initiated it. Just going to back down. Not part of our plan. Um, Niger, you can do your own thing. And then what have we got here? Revolutionary Russia. <laughs> As if what I did to them wasn't enough. We'll declare neutrality there as well. Cool. All right. Now we can fight the French. <laughs> Let us see if we can conquer some of the French mainland. We're actually massively outnumbered, so we, we probably lose. Do I want to end the game with Britain losing? Yeah, actually, I kind of do. All right, let's give it a whirl. <laughs> we could have some potential allies come in, maybe. Who could we sway? Iberia? Sure. Egypt? Austria? Iberia won in. And they want in if we humiliate the French. That's all they want. <laughs> sure. Let's start a world war. You can humiliate the French on my watch. That's totally fine with me. Nice. Egypt, not so keen at the minute, but that's all right. We've got 93 out of Iberia. They've got 100 out of Brazil. <laughs> Stupid ass. All right, <laughs> let's um, activate more conscripts. Have you ever seen anybody click this fast? There's probably a way to do them all at once. There should be. Before the war starts. How many generals do we have? Heaps. And admirals too. Sick. 
We're going to have to do a naval invasion, of course. It's going to be a little tricky. Just to make it that little bit harder for us. Man, it would be great if these guys would join. But they're not going to, as you can see. There's nothing I can do to convince them. Even offering an obligation won't do it. <laughs> All right, and now we move into the war phase. It's Victoria v. France. And I feel like she's probably going to lose. But we'll see. We might be able to catch them off guard. All right. Jump into our military. And... Oh, hold on. Firstly. <laughs> Click that bigot. Oh. My game crashed. I tried to mobilize the British Army and my game crashed. Hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, <I> <laughs> I don't have enough RAM. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually never happened to me. The game's the game, even though it's in this weird, like, not yet released preview build version, aside from a couple of glitchy like country names um on agreements, or that glitch with the flags, a couple aside from a couple of little things like that, I have not uh personally had any issues with crashing. That's pretty hilarious. Get wrecked. I lost before I even started, Luke. <laughs> I lost before I even started. Unbelievable. <laughs> like, what? Okay. Um, back to it. Are we at war? No, not quite. Okay, it's back here. Uh, and there's also a diplomatic play in the Congo. I'm just going to be neutral. We're not researching anything. We should get our... Holy crap, look at this tech tree. We're going to unlock plastic. <laughs> okay, war is on. And our allies in Iberia are pushing through already, which is hilarious. I wonder if this will crash the game again. It did. Okay. <laughs> Conquer London? I am London! <laughs> Invade Korea? Game drops at 1 a.m. AEST. Is, is that right? It's I know I think it's 6 p.m. CEST. That much I know for sure. Okay, so there seems to be some sort of thing that doesn't... That when I click mobilize all, it seems to crash the game. Obvi I obviously have no idea why that is. So I can't really playtest around it. <laughs> so what I'll do this... I'll just try something different this time. It could be... Something has just glitched out behind the scenes. I don't know. What I'll try doing this time is not mobilizing all of my armies at once. It might put less pressure on my system, and it might be able to actually mobilize the unit. <laughs> In what is absolutely a global conflict. <laughs> oh, actually, another idea. Maybe if we try mobilizing... Yeah. If we mobilize... Individually like this, we're alright by the looks. Okay, cool. Okay, the war's broken out. Neat. We've got our armies mobilized because I duped it. And now we should be able to <laughs> do a naval invasion of France. Good luck. They've got 140 dudes on the Iberian border. Okay. Let's naval invade Normandy. Nice. We'll send Uit. Ew. Over there. Um, and then we'll jump back into the military. We'll conduct uh, a naval invasion with Aaron. Aaron will invade Aquitaine behind their front line, eh? Uh, Benedict. Okay. <laughs> and then lastly, let's get... Actually, hold on. Let's recruit another admiral. 
17 boats on that guy. Jeez. Naval invading, preparing their forces 50 days. Preparing their forces 50 days. Naval invade... Flanders? Nah, it's kind of awkward to get across, isn't it? Let's do Brittany. We'll get old Bertard in there. And last but not least... Provence. And, oh, actually, if we can get one more boat, we can send 23 more dudes over. So, let's do that. One more admiral. Shame we can't. <gasps> yes. Oh, no. We have no boats. You're out of luck. Okay, that's fine. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I think the French will probably win this, but we'll find out. Um, okay, so on the France versus Spain or Iberia border, they're already fighting. It's going to take me about 50 days to get across the channel. So Iberia is kind of on its own. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oz. Um... Oh my god, look at all this! The world is just freaked out. <laughs> I'm freaking out! So many notifications. It's no wonder the game crashed. These things are one of the things that I don't quite like about it. I think that there's, there could definitely be a better system for notifications. Even just being able to turn some on and off, or uh, I don't know. It's not manageable, and I find that I just ignore it. We'll go plus five percent mortality. Let them embrace and take that wig party. Okay, lots of stuff's going on. There's a newly formed party in our country. Oh god, war in the mud has been successfully completed. And <laughs> can I get a uh, in the chat? Because <laughs> our naval invasion was freaking successful. Uh, and that's just the first one. It looks like the French have got all of their forces, or at least half of them, preoccupied, preoccupied on the border with Iberia. And what that will do is let us sweep through the double naval invasion, pincer move against the French. Look at this. They're pushing here, and they've lost. They're doing quite well, but now we're going to be able to get an encirclement on them, I think. Let's get an extra force, our last dudes overseas and on that front line. And let's absolutely ring fence this in. As the French desperately come back to scramble, it's kind of too late for them. Although they have the numbers over us and their push in Iberia uh was kind of successful actually they were able to break through there unfortunately uh allies didn't do so much for us we have them at negative 41 in terms of capitulation though this is going to be interesting um i wonder if i can quickly yank no we can't we're, we're fully active yeah we're fully active okay kia ora bdsm um you're joining us very near toward the end of the stream, but welcome in nonetheless. We're um we're ending this with a big old bang, sending Victoria into France to see if she can teach him a lesson. All we want to do is take one territory. We just want a foothold. We're not asking for too much. We've got our ally, a country we also used to play, <laughs> in with us. And there we go. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> We took a chunk out of France, and honestly, that was really successful. Having the Iberians as our ally meant that the French just went, oh, let's fight Iberia, rightly. And we went naval invasion, one, two, three, four, five, and just swept across them. A really successful war. Um, and now we have a foothold on Europe as well, some French territory. Incorporate that into the old stateroo. <laughs> uh, it's quite interesting. We were able to really blitzkrieg through there pretty effectively. Well, somewhat effectively. And with that, I'm going to be honest, like five hours longer than expected. It's almost dinner time. 
Uh, I'm going to end this one here. <laughs> Thank you very much if you joined us, particularly on Twitch through the Potato and Bow Raids. I really, really appreciate you all tuning in and hundreds of you sticking around. Uh, I have two Victoria 3 videos going live um, when the embargo lifts, when the game comes out. That's on the 25th of October, of course, at 6 p.m. CEST. Um, early in the morning for me. I think it's about 5 a.m. New Zealand time, hence why the videos are prepared early. Um, thanks to everybody who wished me happy birthday. I don't think I've ever had hundreds of messages like that. It's a little overwhelming <laughs> and really awesome to see. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, apart from that, I think all I wanted to say was I'll have a beginner's guide going live. If you like Victoria 3, you might like to see that. Holy, holy, shameless plug. Um, and otherwise, I think that'll do. Thanks to also the massive um, donors earlier in the stream. Whether it was a small $2 or, or a massive 50 bucks or some gifted memberships. Um, Aaron, Huck, Block, Scott, thank you. Thanks to everybody as well over on Twitch. We had some nice new follows and subscribers. It was wicked awesome. It was wicked awesome. Uh, very fun. I will, of course, be playing a lot more Victoria 3 this week. Maybe not a live stream tomorrow. The seven-hour one today takes it a little bit out of the voice box, but I'll see how I wake up in the morning. Uh, and otherwise, I'll probably see you live in two days from now. Enjoy Victoria 3 as it goes live in 12 hours time-ish. And I'll post a poll on the YouTube community page for who you'd like to see me play next. We might sit down for a few hours with One Nation next time, seeing as the game will be released. And, um... And get a feel for a, a proper playthrough. Maybe establish some cool historical goals or something like that as well. Uh, we finished up on 589 likes on the YouTube stream. Hundreds of viewers across both.